mousy. There. And we can't show you details of these because you have to check them out. But look at him, isn't he cute? So you've got that one, and then you've got, where's my other mouse? And you've got this one here. Yeah, you need these, because they're just fabulous. And I think with something like this, it just finishes the card off, doesn't it? Especially inside. You know, if they're inside your card, I think they look fab. I would, even with these ones, I would put a little bit of a, a floor on them. So with that, I will put just a little bit of a, a line on the bottom. So you've got a little bit of floor. And that's it. But inside your card, I think that looks really cute, doesn't it? Boom. Anyway, right, that, that, that's me faffing. Pop that one to one side. Right, I did promise that I'd do one just showing. And this is such an old um, technique, but it's such old but gold technique because... Um, get your stamp. So I'm using watercolour card this time because I'm going on to watercolour card. Um, I'm using my stamping platform because obviously that's got a little bit of texture. I'm using a distress oxide. Distress oxides are brilliant or distress ink or, you know, a, a dye-based ink that will allow you to get movement. So try your dye-based inks essentially. It doesn't have to be an oxide. So when you stamp on, and this is the one with the little pillow. Um, please make sure you check your baskets out with that one. Um, what's, are we all okay? Phone lines. Right, get on the website. We're having wobbles with our phone lines. Um, so please check their website out at chanda.com. You can still order, but get on the website. Don't rely on the phone lines for the moment. We'll let you know as soon as we're up and running. So with something like this, okay, now keep it in situ. Keep it in place. And then just take your water brush and just go around the image. So I love that it. it is such an old technique, but it's such a good technique. So if you're not, you know, if you're a bit unsure about your work and you don't really like what you're doing, this is the simplest technique. So what I'm doing, I'm taking my water brush. The water brush is literally dragging that ink. And what it'll actually do is colour the ink in, but it'll immediately give you shading. So I'm just going round the edges like that, and that'll immediately give me shading. Do it along the bottom, and again, it's just dragging it. So I can go down those lines just dragging that ink. And this is so... I mean, it's not just for beginners, is this, because it's such a good technique. It's, it's for everyone. Inside, literally, just on the edges like this and dragging it again now that other one that i was just finishing the card our very happy cat wow limited uh limited stock again please check your baskets out don't let it sit in your basket because if you don't check out within 10 minutes we do refresh those baskets so you do need to check them out it's not us just harassing you it is a thing that happens okay then with the cat so what I'm doing now is just going in and moving some of that ink inside the little putty cats. I'm not completely moving the full ink because you don't want to do too much because you will um, you'll kind of obliterate the image. But I've still kept it in my stamping platform. So right, let's be how much time have I got? Right, eight and a half minutes, right. You know how I said don't go for it, go for it. I'm going to go for it because I've only got eight and a half minutes and just to show you something, still in the platform. So that means I can go back again. So where you want open space as a colour, don't drag the ink. So you might want a bit of shading. So leave some, don't, don't drag the full ink just to give it a bit of tone, like that. So as I'm going down... I'm not dragging the whole thing. I'm being quite wishy-washy, like so. Okay, the other one is now technically sold out. Um, so I do believe, is it only Mommy's, Mommy's little kitten that we've got? So the one that sold out is um, Have a Perfect Day. This one is Mommy's kitten, so I think this is now the only one that we've got left, isn't it? I... 
are any of the cats left? Yeah, this is the only little puddy cat we've left. Right, so, now when you look at that, you think, yeah, but Leona, you, you've nearly like, you know, the, the image, you've nearly taken the whole image away. So what you can do, now it's up to you what colour you go back in with. You might want to go in with your brown. If you go in with the brown, for instance, so if I stamp back in again with this, that card is wet, so there might be a bit of movement. You might want to leave it to dry. But if you go back in with the brown, can you see how you sharpen that image up? It works really well. That is so easy. And you've created something that does look really, really pretty. Honestly, for a quick and easy card, that is absolutely gorgeous. If you want to go around with, um, to create a drop shadow, if you get a very light grey, and this is another thing that's a really easy technique, but it's a cracking technique. I'd work on watercolour cardstock as well. If you're new and you're not sure of yourself, work on watercolour cardstock. It'll, it'll be very forgiving. Uh, get a stamping platform because they make life a lot simpler. It took me yonks to work, use a platform, but I love them. But look, so you just go right up to the edge and then drag that out. You take the ink off. That means you're not just dragging colour, you're just dragging water. And look at that, that immediately gives you a drop shadow. So if you just go around that image, so you just go around the edge and then get your water brush and drag it out. Obviously this is all practice, but, and then just really simple matte and layers. I think when we start off, that's where we go wrong. We get, um, we get a little bit, you know, we get a bit giddy, we stick everything we own on a card and we've all done it. You know, you put like all your sentiments and you put all your little cat paws on it and it can look a bit heavy, but with that, it just looks perfect. And then all I want to do with this, I'm rushing because I do want to really quickly show you a bit of pattern building, but where have I put it? I want that one. You make me smile. Because I'm not being funny, but I look at that image and that makes me smile. It's just so restful. It's just so peaceful, isn't it? So popping that there, like so. I might do it there, actually, not... Leone, you're meant to be rushing. <laughs> Oops, take the actual other stamp off. Doesn't matter, to be fair. Oh, I had them all organised and now within seconds I've managed to create a right mess. And I'm going to stamp in the, the brown again because it just looks, this looks so um, warm. It's such a warm colour and I think for the kitties it's really nice to have a look at that. A really beautiful, isn't that just gorgeous? So that's how to do a very, very quick and simple card. Matte and layer that, literally like I did with the other one. And I mean, just matte and layer it like that and it will look beautiful, honestly. Um, yeah, if you do want that one, you need to check your baskets out. It is so busy. Okay, dead quick before I run out of time. So I've got four and a half minutes. Where did I put him? Bear with, bear with folks. There it is, that stamp. I love this stamp. I must admit, on the counter, this is one of my favourites. Right, when you come in to place this, so I know my, ink, my um, stamping platform, whatever this is, my block is a bit mucky. Yeah, acrylic block. So what I'm actually doing is, let me get black, 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 black card, because you'll be able to see the lines better. So see on your stamping block, you've got your white, uh, your grid. So with this one, if you line that up, so I'm lining that line up with this. That means I know that is straight on that acrylic block, which means I can use my acrylic block to help me with my positioning. So then when I come on to lining up, oh, this will look nice. Black cardstock, because distress oxides on black cardstock, that'll look a bit cool. So this is such a cool image. So let's start with it just there. Let's hope the, the, it does look as good as I think it will with the, the, um, the Distress Oxide. Can you see that on camera? Mm, not as well as I can. Okay, okay, let me just stamp it again and then. Because what I want, in fact, I'm not going to, I'm going to be really good because I want you to really see this. So I'm not going to, I'm going to use, I still use blue. It will look good with that. Spritz it with um, water and it'll pop. It looks better in real life than on, on uh, camera. Okay, so stamp. Now, 
why I adore these. You're taking that square, ink this up again. You'll take loads of time for this. For pattern building, these are strong. Whip it round. Now, what you're doing, you're looking through your acrylic block, and I'm sorry if you're going to see my head and all my roots, but you want to line that block up. Can you see? So I'm going right over the top. I'm literally only lining that square up. So when you stamp it again, look. Now, I'm a millimetre out, but that doesn't matter. Look at that pattern now. Look at the symmetry. How cool is that? Doesn't that make one square to get a tattoo? I just adore that. Right, take this one again. I mean, it probably doesn't make you want to do that, but it does make you want to stamp and create some incredible patterns. Take this again. Now, the beautiful thing is you can go back in, so that can go back in there, or, of course, you can twist it because you've still got a point. And I think this is what makes these so interesting because, you're again, visually lining that up, so you're lining the edge of the stamp up with the stamp that you've already done. And look at that. Look at that pattern that you're creating. I love how everything merges, but it works. So I'm going to do that again on that other side. You need to play with this. It's seriously cool. Um, check your baskets out. Um, the mom and, mommy and kitten, that is now limited stock. If you want that, that literally the whole collection of Nearly Gone, of all the kitties. I'm not surprised. I mean, they're beautiful, aren't they? Only 11 99 limited stock. That means less than 10% remaining. Please do not miss out on that. 906467. Look at that design. How cool does that look? And that looks like it's taking you hours, doesn't it? And then if you went in with, because that one's a lot simpler it's not as intense so then i mean you could if you wanted to i've only got seconds but you could if you wanted to then fill in with that one if you wanted to or drag the lines out of this one because you've got your water brush where well, i don't know where i put my water brush but you can easily right next to me see i've only got seconds now but you can easily start shading that ink just like we did look how good that looks Adding a bit of shading. Oh, I love that stamp. You need that in your life. It's well cool. Um, okay, I will be back at two. We have got um, the rest of the collection um, at two o'clock, so please join us then, and thank you so much. Enjoy your stamps. At two o'clock, I do want to see photos of what you've done with Leslie's stamps in the past, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> What a lovely hour, and you're going to love the next hour. We've got Fabric Freedom, The Essentials, The Two Haley's Will Return, we're our one-day special. After that, we are crafting with clarity, and then uh, the wonderful Leonie will be let loose for a second time at two. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings-on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member, which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts. They tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. 
Just give us a call or go to our website, quote the item number, 888888. So, don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge, and members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hochanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hochanda family. Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss The Mill Shop Online shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and join Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy and Percomano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. I'm Cathy and I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Cathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Cathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hochanda we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, Get Inspired on Hachanda. Well, hello there and welcome back. Well, it's midday, so it's our penultimate opportunity to have a look at our one day special. And it is a corker, it's been flying out. And our lovely Hayley Smith is here. She's going to be demonstrating for us during this particular hour. She's busy getting herself ready there. Um, so we'll pop over and see her in a little while. <laughs> she's just, you know, she's busy, busy, busy with some of the deals that we've got coming up now. One day special is a deal that we launch at six o'clock every night. And that's what um, was happened last night. Two thirds of the whole day stock has gone. And this is something that I envisage many of you may well have got a launch last night um, and lots of you revisiting thinking, I wish I'd got a couple, which you can come back and get more. And it's one of those staples. It's what you should have in your, your crafty pantry, especially if you are a quilter. And let me explain why. In your one day special, you're getting four fundamental elements that we use all the time as quilters. Your wadding, naturally, that's going to add that gorgeous loft and that kind of sponginess to your quilt. You're getting two meters of your wadding in there. It's polyester wadding, so perfect if you're looking for something that's hypoallergenic. Allergenic. Is that the right word? Allergenic. Yeah, that's the right one. Um, and then next to that, you've got your fabulous calico, um, a lovely soft weight calico, as you can see there, um, two meters of that one. You're also getting two meters of your cotton, um, which you can use for your backing if you're wanting to. Um, and uh, they're actually in the wrong gold. <laughs> As me going through. That's your calico. That's your calico. I suddenly thought, that's not right. That's not right. <laughs> so you've got your calico, you've got your white, and you've got your polycotton all in there, as well as your wadding. Basically, you've got eight metres of your fundamentals, your essentials that you have, and that's why it's a fabric freedom basic essentials that you've got there. £29.95 is your price. So how are you doing over there, Hayley Smith? Glue in, Hayley West. I'm gluing. You're gluing? Gluing. <laughs> oh, I 
say. Oh, look forward to seeing what she's up to. So, yes, <laughs> what Hayley's doing, she's working with, we've got loads of things to share with you. We've got buttons galore in this hour. We've got some happy hour deals as well. But, of course, we've got your one-day special. Details there are on your screen. Lots of you taking advantage of this and lots of you taking advantage of those other deals that we're bringing you. So, for the time being, let me give you those details. 287019, as we tell you more that's in the show. Now, we've got all sorts going on. Bottom of the screen there, we have got one of our, um, our happy hour deals. I'll tell you about that in a few moments. But what about your calico? It's not often we see it on the bolt in. You've got 10 meters of your calico. Just to let you know, it is folded over as well. So it's 160 um, wide. So that is a good width of a fabric bolt to start with. But the fact that it is folded over means it's double that width. You're getting 10 meters in total. Um, it is lit literally what they call loom state. So it's come off the loom, um, been bundled up quite um, to um, obviously the bolts. And that's where you buy and get from us here. What I would say, um, and Hayley would reiterate this, when you get it back, do wash it before you actually use it, just because there could be um, some shrinkage, but also it softens it up as well. It makes it much nicer to work with. 70% of the stock has gone. It's one of the most affordable ways for you to get hold of your calico. Details are there, £29.95, 176552. So if you fancy that one, pop it into your basket. Looking at um, wadding earlier on, and this, now, it's not going to come to you on a roll. Don't worry, it's going to be folded up. Mind you, half the fun would be if it was on the roll, where you're going to put it. But with this, you're getting 10 metres of your beautiful polyester, um, um, well, wadding, batting, whatever you want to call it. Now, again, look at the loft that you've got in there. This is so, so soft. It's beautiful. And if you like me, perhaps when you think about um, uh, your kind of your polyester wadding, you're thinking about your, your kind of your real, really thick, um, kind of quite, quite, quite itchy, scratchy. It's got a purpose. Certainly has a but with this one it's much more pliable much softer to work with and brilliant value 49 pounds and 95 pence but it is on flexi buy so you can spread the cost over two payments which of course means you can add other goodies in that is one worth stocking upon and that's lots of you have been doing with this one width of this one perfect if you're working on your larger quilts as well you don't have to do any joins with those but nearly half the stock of that one has gone so 833945 if you want in those now we have had sellouts um, which is your muslin. Two different options with your muslin. You've got your unbleached, which we're calling your natural, and then you've also got your white, which obviously is your bleached version. Two meters, really good size pieces. You can lose it, use it in loads and loads of different ways. I know that Jo um, was uh, very interested in this with her mixed media project earlier on. Things like your power text. And of course, you can use it not just for your sewing, but you can use it in loads of different ways. Even in the kitchen, if you want to do steamed puddings or your cheeses, things like that, you can use it in there. There you go, it's always useful. Interesting fact, there's 262319, and you're getting two metres, whichever of those two you're going for. Because it did sell out, it's now on extended delivery, dispatched on the 17th of July. So, yeah, if you want in yours, then the details are there on your screen. Lots of you going for that, not surprised. Now, have a look at this, this is beautiful. If you're looking at home decor, then you can't go far wrong with this one. This is beautiful. Now, you've got a jacquard weave with this one. It's tonal, so you'll notice you've got your stripes with these. And the way that this is actually manufactured, it's quite a, a lengthy process. It's an intricate process to give you that difference that you've got between your two different calicos. You can see there you've kind of got your paler one. On the flip side of that, you will get the opposite and so on. So it's kind of like an interwoven look. Really nice. Fabulous weight as well. This is kind of upholstery weight or a home decor weight. So the fact that you're getting two meters of this for $16.99 and $19.99, that is brilliant value for money. Um, I'd be expecting it, well, yeah, a lot more than you're paying there because this is the quality that you've got with this. Now, um, 463525, if you are wanting to get hold of that, then uh, yeah, do take advantage. And if you go for continual runs, uh, so multiple, should I say, you'll get a continual run with that one. So if you're thinking home decor, curtains, things like that, definitely um, worth going for your multiples on that one. So there you go, 464525. Next one is your cotton, and this is beautiful. Um, again, it's just a lovely one to use. Maybe you don't want to use calico on your backing, then uh, yeah, you can go for this one, but you can use it in loads of ways. It's your cotton, lovely um, kind of weave on this one. Um, quite a tight, well, not a tight, tight, but kind of your, your, six, um, your 68 um, cotton, I'd say this one is. Um, and it's 150 centimetres wide. Again, it's folded over when it comes to you, so it's double the width that we're looking at here. Um, um, and this one, two flexi buys are £32.50. This is what I tend to use on the back of my quilts. 
goes with everything. And you can change the colour of it. So if you want to dye your fabric, want to do any fabric painting, then this is worth going for. And over a third of the stock has gone. So uh, 300474 if you're wanting to get hold of those. Now, I promise you buttons. And that's exactly what we've got in abundance. We've got loads. Now, we've got the ability for you to get hold of these as picking mixes if you wanted to. So you can see you've got your purple, your pink, your blues, your greens, you've got your blacks, orange and your yellows as well. All of them available together if you want in all of those colours, £20 and £31. But what if you want to choose colours? Well, you can do. Which are you going to go for though? tricky one different sizes within these as well which is nice you've got some transparent ones there they all come in their fabulous little kind of purses here as well and you've got 75 grams worth of buttons so the thing is with them obviously it's going to be a varying quantity because you'll have some larger some smaller um, and the holes interesting fact are the same distance apart regardless of the size of your button it's one of my little facts emily's just telling me that i've reminded her of that several times you're welcome but you don't have to stitch them in place, you can glue them in place. And that's what our lovely Hayley was doing. Working with her heart glue gun, creating a lovely design, as you can see. Isn't that fabulous? Like a little collage. Now, this is a nice one as well, because you've got your different sizes with regards to these. You can literally stick them one on top of the other. Uh, mount them on top of each other, you can mount them separately. There's a couple of pictures that are behind you where they've actually been stitched on, so we've used the calico, just stretched it across uh, an old picture frame and stapled it in place to create the backing and then used the buttons to stitch pictures in. So there's lots and lots of different things you can do. You certainly can see it, and of course, having the different sizes makes it really useful, doesn't it, as well, to, to fit those in place. Look at a little puggy wuggy face. Love that one. Or maybe you can go very artistic. Look at this very glamorous and of course you can see here the fabric's being used here along with some fabric paints which really do give a fabulous result there so one two one two one eight if you fancy getting hold of those um lots of you going for the pick um, the pick well the, all of them together oh okay popular yeah good idea don't blame you so uh, yeah if you pop those into your basket you can see they're 20 pounds and 31 pence makes sense too really doesn't it now ha is this a happy hour that we've got here oh okay right so this one isn't a happy hour but it is a fabulous deal you're getting three meters worth of denims or two meters of denims and a meter of your chambray technically it's still a denim it's a lighter weight um i love this with that gorgeous paisley on there isn't that pretty then you've got your indigo and you've got um, your black featuring with these as well really good weights of denim as well they are really sturdy um just fabulous value um 19 pounds and 98 pence just reminds me i need to order some i'm just wondering whether that would work i think it will do so there you go if you're wanting those at 724053 now oh my goodness look at all this sparkle well these are beautiful we've got two different options with regards to these and i'm guessing we're going for red and we're going for green are we hey there you go up here for thinking down there for dancing um now look at this oh my goodness shimmer and sparkle galore within here got three and a half meters in total so you've got some gorgeous organza in there you can see you've got some fabulous kind of cotton print there with gold on there um a little bit of it oh that's pretty as well again with the gold print in there a bit of alarm eh um you've got kind of like stags feature on that one which is kind of cute it's kind of that way around there you go nice fabric 24 pounds and 99 pence for all of those coming together three and a half meters in total so i'm guessing we've got seven and a half meter on each of them i think I didn't count, but that sounds about right there. So there's loads you could do with these. Um, you could cut this into strips, make bows for your Christmas trees. Maybe you can put something spangly on an outfit, make them into bags lining. Loads you can do with those. So those are your reds. Next option, you've got your greens. Now, some of them will cross over. So if you do go for both of them, you'll end up with two pieces of your gold, as you can see there. But again, the same style of fabrics, lots of kind of uh, gold prints coming through on these. That's a nice one because that organza, this one here, I mean, you can see it's like a duo tone with that one. So you've got kind of that gold look to it as well. Really nice. And then, of course, oh, look at that. Mossy greens. £24.99. 066161 if you're fancying those. Now we've got the happy hour deals for you. And these are fabulous ones. Now, you've got a couple of different options. You've got um, your geometrics to start with. Now, these are going to go up in price at 1 o'clock when we get to the top of the next hour. So take advantage while you've got the chance. These ones, your geometrics, 9 is going to get you two metres, one metre of each of them. Really nice fabric.
but it's perfect if you're into English paper piecing because of course you can isolate certain areas of these and um, 176046 if you're wanting to get a hold of them really nice fabrics like those ones next one these are cute like these we've got your planes there you go um, and you can see here you've got black white and blue um, 14.99 oh you're gonna get a piece of each of them that's nice because side by side you kind of got your positive and your negative there haven't you that's a nice one to work with those denims as well that kind of uh, almost air force blue that you've got there 14.99 you're saving 18 pounds wow that is a good buy isn't it um, 691260 and we've got another happy hour I'm not going to here in the studio but this one's a pretty one look at this this is cute see little bumblebees in there in the center of little hexagons lots of florals there as well and this one you are going to be getting um, a full meter of this one it's your, your cotton poplin so it's a really nice weight be a nice one to use for dressmaking this one as well um, 10 pounds and 99 pence like a little smocked summer dress cute um, at 949152 if you are wanting those. Um, oh, now, since we're talking about bargains, should we have a quick look at some of the seven day savers? Now, oh, this is a nice one. This is a really fabulous bundle. That box kind of bag that you've got, it's very clever. It's got lots of little eyelet holes in there to feed through your yarn if you're knitting on a project with lots of different colours. And that's the one there. And little compartments for them all. And then you've also got your larger kind of dump bin both of which for £12.49, and pence, but the price will go up on Sunday morning at 8 o'clock, so take advantage before then. So, hey, Miss Hi. Nick, what are you doing? Okay, so I have uh, one of the MDF letters. I have a D, D for uh, Dave, the only dog. We started this one last night. Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> D for Dave. Uh, so, what I've done is, this was it's just with a hot glue gun, and I'm just kind of showing how you can blend these buttons together so you can get kind of the colors merging from one to another clever now you can sew these on like the ones that we showed you earlier mm -hmm. or you can just stick them on so it doesn't necessarily have to be you know a really long and involved project with lots and lots of sewing you can just stick them on so uh what i've done is start at the top and done taken just the solid green kind of split this into into thirds really because you're looking at the the top third there being solid green mm -hmm. and then the middle bit is where your blend's going to happen and then the bottom third down here is going to be solid yellow from kind of here on down is going to be solid yellow so to start that blend i've added um, a solid green top solid yellow at the bottom and then as i'm coming through you can i don't know if you can see there's just the odd one of the okay, yellow in yeah. and then it gets to one more and then a couple and then two or three and then it, this section here that i'm working on now is about even now if you are, are blending them, whatever your starter colour is at the top, they need to overlap. You can just see there, that one there and that one there. The colour at the top is going to overlap any of those little ones that I've put in to start bringing that other colour down. Okay. And vice versa from the bottom. In this middle section, you can have either or on the top because you're kind of blending that through. And it is literally just glue on and buttons on. Now be careful because with buttons they've got holes in the middle and if you've got holes in the middle the glue will pop through the middle oh, that's and uh, if you are using a hot glue gun then you probably do want to be just a bit, bit mindful of not too much glue and the glue popping through and going through your fingers. So with these you do get a big variation in your buttons so you get right from, um, let's do the yellow ones because they're already on the side here. You get right from big to small, and you do get plenty of small ones because when you're working on this type of thing, it's almost like you're doing a mosaic. Mm -hmm. That's what you're kind of looking at. I mean, that's not even half of what's in there. There is absolutely tons in there. But you're effectively working on a mosaic, so you're going to be wanting to kind of, you know, pick through, try all the sizes. Are you happy with that? Mm, yeah, that's not bad. I can probably get a slightly better fit with one of these little green ones and then pop that over the top. But it's a case of kind of playing about, you know, kind of chopping and changing. So we'll stick a few more of these on. Mm. It's useful. If you've gone for the um, kind of the complete collection of these, then you can have all your different colours in the chip to play around yeah, with. You can you have just want to go for three of the colours, and that's OK. You can do so. Pick a mix there. You can see 9.99. So you could be going for your green and your yellows, and, it's, and maybe it's nice throwing in a to, blue. to layer them up and mm. have that bit of kind of texture, because absolutely, you could just put one layer on there. But if you haven't painted your MDF first, or maybe you haven't painted your uh, fabric first, 
then you're going to see either bits of brown or bits of white popping through. But by adding those extra layers, you're going to start to cover a lot of that. So you're getting a more kind of bit more depth to it, a bit more texture to it, and a bit more of a kind of finished project straight off. I'm just going to add a few more on. And I'm kind of sorting. There is a little bit of colour variance through it. There won't be a huge amount, but some of the ones that are um, the more translucent ones, they'll kind of come out a little bit darker. So that one looks a little bit more of a, an orangey colour. Whereas you can see some of the ones next to it are a solid base, so mm -hmm. they're coming through on more of a, a white. And there's a lot of ones that you can flip over and use in different ways. Where am I looking? Um, oh, I've just seen one. And then I'd put it down and I couldn't see it anymore. <laughs> Hang on. Some nice ones with like, like little recesses in them as well. Yes, oh, there, there are. So some of them I'm turning them. upside down and some of them I'm putting right way up. But it also means, say for example, that one there, because it's got that little bit of a, a recess in it, I can add a little bit more glue to that and actually stack them up inside each other. So you can add a lot more kind of texture to it as well. So, And it's just a case of keep going, keep going, picking them up, sticking them in, filling the gaps. And then when you get to these edge pieces, because obviously circles aren't going to have the, the straight edges, I tend to overlap them a little bit. Okay. like that and I tend to go over the edge rather than stop bang on the edge let's have a bigger one in there there we go and then that it's one is just doing this. that it is it is and it reminds we used to do a lot of mosaicing in in our shop and and um, this is exactly like that and there's something quite kind of pleasing about when you get that little one that fits in that gap nicely <laughs> there's something like that one there's something Come quite off. pleasing about it as well. <laughs> a bit so it, I mean, with a hot glue gun, it dries instantly. So you're, you're going to get this coming together very, very quickly. And don't just think about maybe one solid colour. Think about blending them through. And even in those greens, you can see you've not got a solid colour. The um, absinthe lady that is uh, the other picture that I've done. Again, that's a similar thing. It's not one solid colour. It's taking the buttons out, looking through them picking out the ones mm -hmm. that are right and sometimes when you get big um, button blends you can get quite a lot of the large ones because mm -hmm. obviously that takes up quite a lot of space takes up quite a lot of weight but with this they've actually given you lots and lots of small ones which is you get the odd big one which is nice for a, a feature piece but it's really really nice to be able to use all those little ones to really build up the density mm -hmm. as well it's nice to make the most of the ones like the one that you've got there that have got slots rather than holes in yes some of them have got text on them as well and so yeah. you, if you don't want the text you can just flip them over the other way because you can see there's three or four there that i've got with text on and if you don't want that you can flip them over and you also have where's i just saw it again where there's ones with um, kind of matte sides and shiny sides. Mm -hmm. So you can, you know, you can have a little bit of a play because that one looks completely different. If I, which way am I going that way? Oh, dear me. There we go. That's better. So that way and then turning it over, they look completely different. So have a, have a good play with these because it is essentially like mosaicing with buttons. Fabulous, love it. There you go. Now, details are on your screen there for your buttons. So if you do want to get hold of those, then you can do. Um, so, yeah, all you need to do is pop those into your basket. Um, now, obviously, we've not had any sewing so far in this show, but no. I know I'll that do some sewing machines... Oh, That's no, all right. No, it's okay. That's okay. Um, we've been busy as well for sewing machines today. Now, we've got the details on the screen for the FAF Smarter machine. This isn't the one that um, we've got on the show. Um, the reason being is I don't think we've got any handy. Sewing machines at the moment are so tricky to get hold of. You may well be doing the research yourself. So, yes, yeah. <laughs> If you wanted to get hold of this one, um, yeah, it's a brilliant one. It's, I was involved with the launch of this with FAF um, when I used to work with them, and it's a cracking little mechanical machine. It's got loads of different choices with regards to your stitches. You've got stretch stitches on there. You've got your one-step buttonhole. Um, you can alter the length, alter the width with your stitches. But you're also getting things like the um, extension table, which is key if you're working on larger projects, especially things like quilting, because it's going to support your fabrics. Now, you're also getting those threads as well, Madeira threads, 18 of those. 
this in with that bundle and it's a brilliant idea i mean this is a fabulous price when you look at that price they're 218 pounds but your first flexi buy is only 72 pounds and 82 pence this is quite key because i know when i was first shopping for my first ever sewing machine i kind of saved i think it's about 100 quid which was worth a lot more than 100 quid is worth now um, and you might think to yourself, right i've got 100 pound i'm going to go and get myself a sewing machine i would say to you and i know hayley reiterated wait. this earlier wait. wait yeah if that's all that you can afford at the moment then that's fair enough but consider getting this one on flexi buy the reason being if you are looking at getting for a very very basic machine within that bu uh, that budget you're going to be disappointed because you'll outgrow it and you won't get the best machine something like faf you've got buying a solid brand company there um with your, uh, your machine there and it's definitely worth going for so zero three four zero two zero three flexi buys 72 pounds and 82 b how are you okay. getting on with your buttons right. Hayley? I, i'm gonna uh, stop this and we're gonna do some sewing in a second just because uh, it's a it's really a, it's a sewing hour but we just wanted to show you something kind of alternative and different you could do with it and you can see how those blends run through really really nicely and it comes together quite quickly um, last night I had about uh, about that top corner done up there so this little bit up here and I've added all of this just in the kind of 10 to 15 minutes that we've been sitting and chatting at the beginning of and the show. Right. I know we get lots of paper crafters watch at this time of day and this is you might not be into your sewing but buttons are fabulous for decoration. And if you've got the chunky because these are um, the six mil letters that we cut and you can actually get the buttons oh, yeah. down the side That's of them cute. because they're not that thin three mil MDF yeah. that's the slightly chunkier stuff you can get buttons down the side and really finish that off nicely as well wonderful there you so go. I have to have a bit of a tidy up now no problem and um, then we'll swap to uh, swap, swap around to a bit of sewing details oh. on your screen if you do want those buttons then of course you have got the ability to get them all together but what you could be doing is going for your pick and mix and of course what you could do is add it in alongside your one day special it's been a busy one this hour lots of you taking advantage oh. yet again oh. 28719 it's not the most exciting of pictures but it's what you do with it and it's one of those things that you cannot do without stock up on this one if you've not invested in this one yet then why not if you're a quilter if you're into your soft crafts then you need this one because they're all elements that you will use time and time again might not have an immediate project with this in mind but when you do you will be glad that you saved 21 pounds in the process so 2870019 if you're wanting this one and your one day special is made up of four elements so you're getting two Two meters of each of these so you've got your wadding and this is beautifully soft I mean it really is the weight of this as well is incredible it's um, the kind of weight that you would feel a quilt around you nice and um, nice, nice and weighty because sometimes when you look at the wadding you might look at it and think oh it's not very thick it's not gonna be a really warm um, warm quilt you'd be surprised it does really have that effect when you're using it it's nice as well because it's a polyester wadding as well so you might not want um, natural fiber this mum made can be a lot help, um, a lot better with regards to allergies and things like that. So it's just really, really soft. So there you go. If you want to get hold of that, you're going to get a two metre piece. You're also going to get your calico, and your calico again. You're going to get two metres of this. Um, again, brilliant quality. Uh, this is something you could use to back your quilt. If you are, then I would certainly suggest you wash it first. Um, the reason being, it comes to you as loom state. It's one of those ones that literally it's come off the loom. It's been bundled up and then you've gone into your order. Um, so yeah it will allow for shrinkage it will also soften up those fibers as well which makes it a little bit more appealing when it's next to your skin under a quilt or you might want to use your cotton because you aren't going to get 100 percent cotton within this as well and again it's just a lovely base nice bright white as you can see there you could be potentially using that into your backing also you've got your poly mix now i know a lot of people kind of go <gasps> polyester thinking that um, it's a, a it kind of devalues things it doesn't at all you've got the durability with your, your polyester in there and this is the key thing you've got a mix of the polyester with the cotton so you've got the benefits of both of them you will find that um, poly cotton is used in a lot of different fabrics in clothing in very high-end stores as well and it's one of those ones that adds the durability and if you're washing a quilt or any project over and over again then that's the thing that you want you need to make sure that it is going to be beautiful when you are working with it and you are of course when you're using the project that you created so um 287019 incidentally you can go for multiples of these if you wanted to but bear in mind that approaching 70 percent of the stock has gone if you do go for multiples you will get them in continual runs as well so just remember that so 287019 talking about continual runs how about 10 bolts 
10 bolts, no, 10 meters on a bolt. That's what I meant to say, all the bolts. Um, so here you have got your calico. It's a similar calico to the one that we saw in the one day special, but obviously on a much larger piece. You just roll that out of the way so you can have a proper good look at it. Comes to you folded. Um, and uh, so you've got double the width that I'm showing you here, which actually comes out at 160 centimeters wide. Three quarters of the stock has gone, 29 pounds and 95 pence. Again, you can go for multiples and it will be a continuous continual run. Can't remember the maximum length with this particular one, but um, yeah, 10 metres uh, is your you price on the screen. You're saving £15, so really good price that one. 176552. But I do remember that with your wadding, I think the maximum that you can go for is a five of these to get your 50 metres because it, the practicalities of transporting it. So if you're wanting to go for a 10 metre bolt, you'll notice it's on the roll here. It doesn't come to you on the roll. It will come on a bolt folded. Um, and uh, then obviously you, you take, decant it. I'm going to come this side so you can have a little look and see it because it's really soft and fluffy. It's beautiful. Re all of the time. Yes. Obviously we, we print stuff and yeah. we send rolls of fabric out all of the time. Yes. Now, I know for a fact that a roll that size yeah. because it's over the 145 limit that it's the got fit carriers into have because it's got to it? fit into the van and um, that would cost us 17 pounds to send yeah yeah and look, I, I mean i order wholesale obviously when i'm doing yeah. my handmade by Haley shows and it is a case of that you have to spend a lot of money um, with regards to your shipping and to get this for 3.95 or delivered to your door if you're a freedom member then that is phenomenal because usually you're having to pay probably heading for 10 times that to get a carriage paid yeah order with it that from a wholesaler. particular one being a belted um kind of weave to it so all the fibers are just needle felted together and um, what you can actually do is although it's 150 wide if you give it just a little bit of a pull you can usually get it up to about 180. So if you're doing a, a full, quite big quilt, you can probably just tease that little bit more out of it. And it's so, so soft as well, beautiful. Um, you can see there, as Hayley says, you've got that elasticity in there, so yeah, you can eke it out a little bit if you're wanting to. 883945, pounds and 95 pence. Two flexi buys on those, so adding anything into that basket will spread the cost of those items as well, if you so choose. Now, the muslin's been popular, um, very popular, so much so that it has sold out once already. Um, so we're on extended delivery. You've got your white, which is your bleach. We're calling it white on this occasion. Um, and you can see that that fabulous finish there. It's a psychological thing. They both do exactly the same with regards to the weight, but for some reason, some people prefer to use the white, but it depends what you're working on. So um, white, if you wanted to add color to it potentially, because you've got the crisp whiteness there and you've got an open weave, as you can see there. And of course that's fabulous if you are wanting to kind of distress the edges, if you're doing things like your mixed media. That one is your white, then you've got your natural, which is kind of the unbleached state that you've got. Um, and again, exactly the same weight, exactly the same um, kind of properties, where you're going to be able to use it to do your wispiness if you are doing things like your mixed media as well. 9.99, whichever of those you choose to go for, you're now looking at the 17th of July with regards to dispatch of these because of the extended delivery. Happy hours, by the way. Oh, happy, happy, happy. Not so happy for this one if you were thinking of getting it because it's gone. It's gone. It has indeed. Um, so, yeah, thank you to everybody that's taken advantage of that one. Um, we have got some others that you could have a little look at, though. The planes, like this one. Not planes, trains and automobiles. Planes 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 and more planes um, 14 pounds and 99 pence if you want in those ones six nine one two six zero three quarters of the stock has gone my goodness i wonder if that'll last the next half an hour because if not it's going to go up in price by 18 pounds um, so yeah if you fancy those ones do pop them into your baskets don't forget this one with the little bumblebees on there 100 percent cotton poplin again a really pretty one 10.99 nice weight as well nine four nine oh one five six is your item number on that one what okay, so Smith? in uh, hour number one, we used the calico and we made uh, a little bag. Handles, not available to Sunday, but... Uh, <laughs> Was that last night's launch show that you yes, did that? Yes, okay. we did a little bag. We just used the calico. Nice. And uh, we first of all started with attaching the handles and then we did a basic tote with straight sides. Then we just nipped them in and boxed out the bottom so you can see really kind of... You could, I mean, you could paint those up as well, and you could decorate the bag, and you could make something quite special out of that. So that was last night. Lovely. And then uh, this morning, we started with our poly cotton, 
and we are in the process of making just a little kind of just a little kind of carry wallet okay. thing that you can put all your bits and bits and bobs Things in. Need to hand. Um, and we've been we used the pom pom lace on this, so we did one pocket. Let me just whip these pins out so you can you can see how it's put together. There you go. So we did one pocket on the bottom, which is just the panel folded up at the bottom. We did one pocket in the middle there, which is just a, another piece the same width folded in half and stitched and we, again we've added the pom-pom lace onto there so to create this one into a pocket we just need to stitch along the bottom there it's difficult i know because it's white on white on white let me just stick that in there so you can see so that just needs stitching along the bottom so we can make that into a pocket rather than a, a just a sleeve okay and um, and same on this side we need to just stitch up these edges because I'm just putting a tacking stitch around the edge because eventually this will be bound mm -hmm. either side so again maybe use a, another kind of pink bias binding or something like that just to do up both of those sides to hide those raw edges and then we use one of the pom-poms that we cut off the edge because when you're adding that pom-pom lace then you need to make sure you're not too close to that edge because you're going to need to get your, your binding in there so we cut off a couple of those pom-poms uh, added a buttonhole to that side and then when we fold it up that spare pom-pom has been used to create a button it's a clever idea why not <laughs> why can't pom-poms be buttons <laughs> they can be buttons if they want there you go Cute. come pop through properly come out there we go and that's ready to go so this is using the poly cotton now the poly cotton that you're getting within the one day special bundle is this piece here now I've had a little chunk off the end but this uh, one thing we haven't said is most of the uh, fabrics that you're getting so the calico the cotton and the batting are all about 150 160 wide this is a monster an absolute monster it is 96 inches wide which is 244 centimeters it is an absolute so it's two and whopper. a half meters wide it is yeah and you're getting two meters in length yes wow so if you've got a you know a double bed size quilt mm, easily that's yeah. exactly yeah. what you're looking at backing easily with this absolutely and there's no easily. joins because so often you have to no. join the fabric don't yes you? you do and because this is an extra wide mm -hmm. perfect Lovely. Absolutely perfect for that. So, um, yes, we did that one. The, the last steps to finish this off are, as I said, mainly binding because we've, uh, we've done most of it already. Let me pop my pom-pom button out. So we, uh, we've done the lace trim. Uh, it's just to stitch up that side just to secure everything along the bottom of there just to make sure that it's a pocket, not a sleeve. And then that one is done perfect. and good to go with just a little bit of binding. So that one is done. And then we did uh, going through how to put the pom pom lace in different ways because you can have it just as it as it is with the kind of lace or the joining edge along there sticking out or if you sew it slightly differently you can just have those pom poms going through and it doesn't necessarily have to be around the edge of something it could be in the middle of something so you could add it within a seam okay. and have all those pom-poms coming through and it'll look like you've individually sewn all of those on but you haven't and obviously you said earlier as well if you um, had two layers and maybe even in contrasting colours because they're spaced nicely apart you would actually be able to get those to sit next to each other and have two different colours at the same time if you wanted to or extra pom-poms it's entirely up to you so and also you don't necessarily have to do them both in the same way at the same time because maybe you don't want a really bulky two layers of trim on there mm -hmm. and you just want one layer of trim so you could top stitch this piece on mm -hmm. but have so you'd still get that pink bit showing but have those double layers in there so you've got that real density of pom pomage I like that's it. the word we invented earlier we isn't did, it yes. pom pomage <laughs> can never have too many pom-poms, can you? No, no now, you can't. Um, you, you really can't. You can't. No, you can't. The pom-pom um, lace is at the bottom of your screen. You're going to get a 10-metre <laughs> piece on there. It's loads of different colours. Um, the only one that you need to be aware of that's on extended delivery, I believe, is the black, although the white and the ivory were very popular in the last hour, so they may well be on extended delivery now as well. But you've got your white, you've got ivory, you've got your black. There was pink, purple, loads of different colours. Red was in there as well. Maybe if you're going for one of the Christmas bundles of fabric, you could add some of those in. So six. Four eight seven five four. If you want those eleven ninety nine, whichever of those ten meters you go for, they're all on the same item number though. So if you do decide to go for a couple of them, there's no additional post and packing. So Haley, what are you up to? Uh, so 
I am going to. Uh, sorry, I should really warn you before I do that. <laughs> right by your microphone. <laughs> should come with a warning, shouldn't I? <laughs> so lots of people would say that. Um, <laughs> right. So I am going to go for. Uh, oh, well, actually, we'll do a couple of little things because I've got the um, the cotton here. I was going to make another bag, but I have now found my handles for that. Uh, so we will make another bag, or we'll at least start another bag. And. Um, but we have also, if you're thinking about um, the little buttons again, and earlier in the show you saw one that was done in a hoop. Now maybe, I mean, embroidery hoops can be expensive, and maybe you don't want to permanently kind of disable that hoop because you've got them. Actually, I could, pr might be a bit big for that one. As I say, do you want to chuck me one over and I'll see if I can get it in the... Oh, it's like a frisbee. It's like a frisbee. Isn't oh yeah, I haven't brought up a hoop that's quite big enough. But if you're not wanting to permanently disable one of your hoops, because obviously you, you'd want to be able to be sewing other things, and yes, it's nice to have it for display, but you're going to lose that hoop. Yes, you're not going to be able to embroider no, with it. you're not going to be able to embroider with it anymore. So we do have some of the, um, the MDF ones. And this one goes on the bottom. And then that one goes over the top, and they literally just kind of push, oh, fit, clever. with a bit of a hammer, into each other. So that means if you are doing things like that, and you don't want to lose your hoops to d display them, then you can, you, you know, you can use these as an alternative. And also, oh, all these are shut. They've all still got their little special tags on, so we'll have to have uh, green again, because <laughs> that one's open. <laughs> But it means you can also decorate the edges if you want to as well, because they're nice thick edges. And these, again, are in the chunky 6 mil stuff, so you can go around the edges as well. Some nice sayings and verses that are kind of button-related um, as well. So you could be doing an embroidery yes. within the, the, the frame itself yeah. and then decorating up the, the frame uh, Absolutely. It's just another alternative that you can use. But what I will say is because these are cut on the laser, they sometimes, and this one hasn't, but uh, sometimes they can put like little, um, not scorch marks, but you know, off the off the cutting of the laser because it obviously burns through the MDF. So just make sure that whatever you put in there, it, it should really be something permanent or something that can be washed if you want to take it back out. So that is another alternative for them. Wonderful. Oh, do tell yep, on the screen, <laughs> screen for those. You've got your different shapes. You've got your round, you've got your oval, and you've also got your square there. And you can obviously get two um, to fit together to make your four inch, your five inch, and your six inch hoops. As you can see there, 999, whichever of those chosen shapes you go for. So 439, 414 if you fancy them. So the fact that this is on at such a good price, you have got um, lots of options to kind of experiment with patterns, and especially with that calico on the big bold. If you're looking at experimenting with a new pattern or something that you haven't done before, you think, oh, would that work? Calico is a brilliant thing to do that, and especially with three pounds a metre. Yes. It's, uh, it's a very cost-effective <laughs> way to do it. <laughs> so with this, it's, good. it's two bag handles that we've got here, and what we're going to look to do is create learn to create a bag pattern that will work with this because obviously okay. they're shaped mm -hmm. and we want to make something that's going to kind of work nicely with it but without actually um, committing to necessarily cutting the whole thing up straight away. Did I bring my pen with me? I don't think that I did. Oh, Shana Banana, can I have a pen please? Just, just wait now, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got some numbers you could possibly do while I just wait well, for the pen. Well, if you get hold of your calico, is it the calico you're working Thanks. with? So, yeah, uh, um, the uh, one no, day special. No, I've got special. the cotton. Oh, it's the cotton you're working I've with. The, the one day special, that's where I've you've got your calico. cotton. Um, you've got two meters for peas within your one day special. Don't forget, you have got your bolt of your um, calico, uh, not your calico, well, your cotton. Um, you've got a 10 meter opportunity to get hold of that as well. So, uh, yeah, check out. It's up to you, whichever way you're wanting to work with this. But the bottom of your screen there, you have got a discounted price if you're going for that. Um, the cotton. Is it 64 dollars Oh, 
course it. Keep, I don't keep know going. The pen doesn't work. Oh, the pen's not working. <laughs> okay. Um, so, so, yeah, the carton's going to pop up. I knew he's on two flexi buys. I don't know what I'd got into my head. Um, I've got a different price. I don't know why I got that. But it's anyway, third, yeah, three zero zero four seven seven. Perhaps it was the calico. I yeah, don't know. the calico is about oh, no, thirty. Oh no, I know it is. It's the wadding. I've got, oh, I've got, okay. I've got fifty pounds in my head, and that's pretty much where it was. So that's where the wadding was. So yeah. So well, since we're talking about it, we might as well bring it up. So the wadding, as you can see here, this is the one I was thinking of. Forty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Eight three three nine four five. I knew there was a logical way of thinking of it. It just didn't look obvious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, are you all sorted now? I think so. Thank you for that, because, uh, yeah, the pen didn't work. Oh, we've got a pen that works so, as well. Um, ideally, pens. you'll do this with um, heat erasable pen. Okay. Because we want to uh, get get rid of it afterwards. Um, so, that is my, that's the width of my handle. And because I want to add the handle into the design for the actual bag itself, um, that's why I've drawn both the outside and the inside line on. Okay. Because what I'm going to do is cut this out and then I will stitch that a quarter inch inside of that. Mm -hmm. Use that as my guide and I want to make it that little bit bigger because I want a little bit of wiggle room. Okay. And what I'm also going to have to do is I'm going to have to place that in and stitch the handle in situ right. as well because okay. it's a, a complete piece. I can't slide it in yeah. in any way so I'm going to have to stitch it in situ. So. Um, I haven't decided what shape the rest of it's going to be yet, so we'll leave that as a big piece for the minute. And it's just, really, we're going on a little voyage of discovery I love together. This. Well, that's fine, though, because I think that sometimes you've got something and you, you're kind of inspired by it. You want to make it into something, mm -hmm. but then it's kind of how do you go about it. And there's nothing wrong with a little bit of experimentation, mm -hmm. because especially with the calico, with it being that kind of, you know, that inexpensive then you can play about with things, chop it up, change it, mm -hmm. and use it to create your pattern. Yeah. Then take that pattern to your fancy fabric and cut it out in mm -hmm. that. And maybe you reuse the calico as the lining for it. Yeah. You can absolutely do all of that. I'm just going to whack a couple of pins in here because, well, I love this because it's a bit it, floppy. If you don't work well with patterns or you don't even have a pattern, then this shows you how you can adapt. And some of the kind of the best patterns evolve by kind of draping or experimenting yes, or, or kind of you and, know and moving with thing. it i'm just going to move that along a bit so i'll get a, about a quarter inch maybe a bit tiny a bit more there we go that should do us so i'm going to use the edge of the foot as a guide and just stitch that round first because remember we're going to have to build this because it's a circular one we're going to have to build this hoop in as we go so Using that line that I've added on there as a little bit of a guide, um, I can probably go a little bit tighter than this even, but this is what we're going to do. We're going to experiment with it. We're going to keep chopping it, changing it, and using the, well, this is the cotton, but I would probably do this ordinarily in the calico first to create that pattern because the way you create uh, patterns for fabric is very different to the way you would do it maybe if you were making something in cardboard because yes. it, it has that kind of uh, floppy property. It's probably not the thing I'm meaning to say, but you know what I mean? It moves in a different way to, to cardboard. If you put a stitch a straight line in, you're not necessarily going to get a straight line when it's finished. It might curve. Um, so we're going to have a little bit of a play, a little bit of an experiment, and then uh, whip that one out of the way because it's going to come right where I need it to be. Okay, so that's our first bit. And then, to get the hoop in, I'm going to need to just chop this in half, because at the minute it's, it's one continuous piece, because I haven't decided how big I want my bag to be, how, you know, there's, there's lots of variables at the minute. So if I just whip that in half, that means, where did I put those hoops? There they are. And this is one side, this is going to be the front and the back of one side. So we will go that way out. And I need to snip this bit out the middle because that's going to stop us from moving in the middle. And with so that's these kind of circular, like the semicircle. yes, with these circular bits as well, you've got to remember that uh, you're going to need to snip into it to allow it to turn right side out. So, oh, like your little kind of um, yeah, like little minis. Yes, with a little because I need lots of little mini snips in there as well to turn it right side out. But that looks almost like a collar, doesn't it? 
You could almost say, <laughs> come on, we're away. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to thread that through one side. And again, I need to snip into this a bit more because uh, we've not taken all of that out. But you can see oh, yes, how it will to start shape. to take shape. Yeah. And then I would stitch that in, so I'd run another... I, I need to put a few snips in and just get it sitting right and work out how high I want these f bits of fabric yeah, that, to come up on thing, that yeah. handle as well. I actually think I could probably stitch um, a good bit tighter on that as well. And then I can, I can kind of plan my shape mm -hmm. around that. So I'm actually going to take that out for a second. Okay. I'm going to stitch that a bit tighter because I'm, I'm actually going to go right on the line and then unpick that first line because I think we can go and get a much better fit from this. Okay, wonderful. So, um, we're going to go on a little the, bit of a The fact that you can discovery. kind of experiment, that's the key thing. We've that is the key to that's... this type of fabric is, especially with that, that calico bundle, if you've got something, maybe you've, you've kind of found something or you've got a fantastic fabric and you just, I've got two or three that are sitting there and I'm just so scared to cut into them in case mm -hmm. it's not right. Yeah. Make one in calico first, and then you'll have that absolutely perfect pattern to work Sometimes from. Sometimes as well, if you, you're making something that you want to be a perfect fit for you as well, you might have a pattern, but rather than, like you say, using, maybe you've got, I don't know, you've got some Liberty fabric and you wanted to make yourself a, a blouse or a, a top or a skirt, and you're a little bit nervous about taking that first cut, then of course you could use the cotton within this set that you've got um, to, to give it a little go, or the poly cotton, and again, just do, do they call it a toil when you do it's toil, 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 toil. It's like it's, a, a yeah. practice. I know what piece. you mean. Um, I know and what you mean, and I've I never. Think, well, I can never remember it's, the right it's not words. Quite, yeah, it's not quite the words. Yeah, the like letters two words in, joined together. Yes. If you're watching from home, you've got about two minutes to email in. Yes, tell us do that. Email us in. <laughs> right. Have I got my? I've got my big scissors with me, so I'll be all right. Now, also, what I need to do is um, uh, hem those edges. Okay. As well, because obviously I don't want that raw edge of fabric. I, I mean. This wouldn't be so bad because I've used the salvage here, so it wouldn't be quite so bad if I just put the handle in and, and used those. Okay. But there's lots of different things you could do. If you wanted it to maybe be a bit more, whoops, a bit more rough and ready and you wanted to see kind of the workings of the bag, That's you could have it yeah. this way around. Yeah. You could have it with um, maybe a zigzag yeah, on the edge. Make a feature of it. Make a feature from it. Oh, I didn't unpick the first one, so it's not going to look any different. <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> error, error. It's not going to look any different because I didn't unpick the first one. Um, but, and that's what's causing that extra puckering. So if I just put some snips in, I've got time to reckon get some couple of snips yeah, in indeed. here and then pop yeah, it back indeed. on. Um, now, don't forget, we're here because it's a 12 o'clock one day special show. And of course, it was a deal that was launched last night. There's one more show that um, Hayley's going to be here with you for, and that'll be the four o'clock show. Of course, um, you can take advantage of your one day special up to six o'clock but I don't know if Paula's seen this deal yet she's going to be very excited by this one because I think oh she is yeah um, and this is one that um, if she wants to get hold of it she needs to be quite quick because we've got um, three quarters of the stock having gone so 287019 don't forget you're getting two meters of your wadding you get two meters of your calico two meters of your cotton and two meters of that poly cotton mix and don't forget it's a poly cotton mix that is nearly two and a half meters wide so it is a huge piece and of course you're going to get a two meter length with that so uh, perfect for any large quilts so now you can see the difference where I've actually just snipped this side. Oh, that has made a difference. And you can see how it, it yeah. sits quite nicely now. And then what I'll do from here is I'll snip that other side out. I'll just hem these top edges so I've got nice kind of straight lines. And then when we come back, we'll actually kind of fix the rest okay. of it and decide what shape we want that bag to be. No problem. And when you say come back, you mean come back at yeah, 4 o'clock? Yeah, come back at 4 o'clock. Not come back in the next 30 oh, no. seconds. Not quick. No, I want me Not lunch. Quick. <laughs> yeah, I want me lunch. I don't play that <laughs> um, So, yeah, do make sure you pop back a little bit later on. But on the website, that's a place for you to shop and find all the fabulous goodies that we've been chatting about. Let Hayley um, carry on with her little bit of um, kind of creativeness, though. I love that. Just going with the flow, that's what it's all about. And when you've got 
affordable fabrics, you don't mind doing that. Lots of other goodies that you might like to add into your basket. So you can see that you've got zips there, bundles and bundles of zips. 8 inches, 14 inches, 20 inches. Um, and of course, you can alter those. So always get a zip that's bigger than you need. And then, of course, you can make it smaller. And of course, if you want to make your own D for Dave, then you can see there you've got your MDF letters there. Um, some lovely um, kind of blender fabrics. You've got your happy hour as well. So there's lots and lots for you to peruse on the website. So have a good old delve and a good old kind of um, mooch around and you find all sorts of goodies in there. You won't have to go far to mooch for this particular deal though because this will be on the main page of our, um, our website because it's a one day special. And that's where you'll always find our one day specials. And this is a brilliant one. As a sewer, I was very excited to see this um, be launched last night because it's just such a usable fabric bundle. Because you've got your fundamentals, you've got your kind of all the elements that you need. I'm going to move those ones out of the way just for a few moments while we have a look at your wadding. So your wadding here, this is the bit that you would use potentially for your quilting but it could be that you're making a large quilt it might be that you're making lots of cushions and you're wanting to use this on the front um, there's loads of ways you can use it your bags as well if you're making bags and you want them to have a little bit of sturdiness then you could use that quite easily then you're going to get your calico now your calico i would suggest you wash this before you use it just to take care of any shrinkage and also to soften up those fibers as well because they are quite firm when they come to you your cotton then that's something that we um, saw Haley working with a few moments ago um, and again it's just a lovely piece piece to work with. Could be a backing for a quilt if you wanted to. You could change the colour of this with your fabric paint, your mixed media elements. You're getting two full metres of that. And then this particular one, wow, this bad boy is two and a half metres practically in Y. So it's huge. Perfect for you to make your quilt backs if you wanted to do that without any joins at all. But what it does mean that you're getting a, a piece that's well, it's nigh on 20, um, two metres square. Um, so, it, well, four metres square, isn't it? Because it'd be two metres by two and a half metres. Really big piece there. So that is one that I would potentially be using for the backing of a, a quilt. So uh, all of those coming to you for £29.95. 287019. Now, we do have the ability for you to kind of go in and, and go for specifics with these, starting off with your calico. Now, your calico we've got available for you on a 10 metre bolt. You can see here you've got everything that you need on the bolt here for you to be doing any projects with your calico, whether it's a, a test piece as we've been chatting about or whether you are using it um, for the backing of your quilts. Again, it um, comes loom state, which means it's literally manufactured, popped onto the bolt. So you do need to give it a wash. It's not pre-shrunk and it will soften it up again. £29.95. pounds and 95 pence. You've got a £15 pound saving on that one. It's folded as well, so it's 160 wide. Um, just open it up. But 80% of the stock of that one has gone. So 10 metres. You can go for multiples of that if you're wanting to. Um, I don't know if there's a maximum on that. Do you know with the calico if there's a maximum on that one? Um, Again, I think it's about 30 metres yeah, on that one. Yeah, so it's more to the weight and the, the kind of the um, couriers being able to carry it. It's the weight of it you have to be careful with. Next one as well is your wadding. So if you're wanting your wadding, but you're wanting your wadding on a greater scale, then here you've got 10 metres here, beautifully soft. Um, we think that probably the maximum that you get on a complete run of this one will be 50 metres, but it's 150 wide, beautifully soft. £49.95 for each 10 metre piece that you get. And it will be on the bolt. It will actually come to you on the roll but of course you could pop it onto a roll if you want to. Muslin as well, this has proved to be very popular yet again during this hour. Has sold out previously, um, sorry, 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 sorry. Um, it has sold out previously. You've got your natural with your unbleached there and you've got your white there which is your bleached. Two metres, 9.99, whichever of those two you choose to go for and they're on extended delivery so we're looking at the 17th of July with regards to those. Um, of course we've got lots of others that you can consider if you fancy that gorgeous two-tone um, with your um, your calico or your white cotton all of those are available on the website Hayley Smith thank you so much we'll see you at four o'clock <laughs> yes I will see you well wait oh it's power at four o'clock that's right yes Yes, powerful. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> Power up for you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if you've got anything in your basket, now is the time for you to be checking those baskets out. And don't forget, come back at 4 o'clock and you'll be able to see how that bag is kind of forming. And if you can't make it at 4 o'clock, make sure that you do tune in on Sunday and you'll be able to get hold of those MDF handles that hayley has been tempting us with. So, um, I will see you tomorrow now. I'm all done for the day. But Yanis is coming up after the break, so uh, make sure you stay tuned. We've got a fabulous clarity show coming up. We've got Leone coming up a a little bit later on, two o'clock with our second um, Let Leone Loose. I don't know what else I've got coming up later. I'll have a look. 
So, yes, we're going to be crafting with clarity straight after the break with Yanis. Then let Leone loose. And then following that, we've got happy hour deals. Do check out the schedule. There's lots and lots more coming up here at Chanda, and I'll see you tomorrow. Chanda News. We are excited to announce that our broadcast hours on Freeview have been extended to 10 p.m. each day. We know that many of you were missing our live shows in the evening and we can't wait to see you there. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques? By watching and crafting along with your favourite Chanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are very excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. The John Next Door brand is designed to bring high quality, innovative products to the crafting market. The range includes stamps, dyes and new products such as the media plates. I'm also looking to expand the brand and bring you lots of new techniques, new ideas and new products into the next few years. So don't forget to tune in and watch the John Next Door shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty.
well a warm welcome. We've got a fantastic hour ahead, all featuring some goodies from Clarity, and we've got a brand new item as well, so please do stick around. Before I do anything else, I can tell you that the legend that is Paul Church is waiting to have a little bit of chinwag. Paul, you're looking, you're looking very debonair there on your Skype. Thank you very much. <laughs> but is this, is this uh, Clarity HQ? It is indeed. I'm actually in um, Barbara's office. What the? What? It's, the, it's, it's like going to Hogwarts and finding yourself in Dumbledore's office there. This is the, this is the special office. It is, yeah. She doesn't know. No, she no, does know. He snuck in. Uh, <laughs> sure, she'll be watching. So, um, yeah. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I'm in at headquarters in Barb's office, all safe and secure. Brilliant. And that's what we would like to see. Look, uh, we, what I would say is Clarity always bring us something really, really special. There is a sense, and I know I, I talk about this all the time, every time we work together, the sense of community for Clarity is incredible. When I say community, go to Groovy Worldwide, Clarity Worldwide, and you will see how many people are part of that community, share their inspirations. Your design team are incredible, but I think the real crux of it, and the point I'm trying to get to is, you always bring us stuff that catches the imagination. That's right. I mean, as you say, the community is a big part of being a sort of the, the Clarity family, the same with the Hochanta family as well. Mm -hmm. And um, we've gradually built up the Clarity Worldwide and the Groovy Worldwide. And there is so much inspiration and ideas on there. Um, and people ask questions, they get answers. Um, and what we brought today, um, this brand new A4 Groovy plate, this three-way um, tall letterbox, was an idea that, that Barbara came up with. We had the two-way overlay stamps, and Barb said, wouldn't this be great as a groovy plate? Um, so when we, um, Barbara and the lovely Lucy, one of our in-house designers, put their heads together, they came up with this. But it's not like a two-way stamp where you have the positive and the negative. This is a three-way, because you've got some art boards behind. I have, I'm um, gonna show it. Paul, I have to say, this is genius. Look, what you're seeing here Imagine if we had three groovy plates of this size, so three A4 groovy plates for you, how much would you be paying? Because that's exactly what you're getting here. Uh, the concept, I'm just lifting this up to show everyone now, Paul. So this is the three way, so you're getting all three levels of detail coming through, and it looks that's fantastic. So that's if you just trace it out exactly how yep. it is on the plate. And it looks beautiful, that double line art. Yeah, yeah. Um, you do white work, you can add colour, or you can just leave it. It looks beautiful just as it is. But this is where it gets interesting because now we've got a totally different feel. So it's a bit more like bubble, uh, a bubble font coming through, just yeah. working so off of the outside the detail. Out yeah, so, so this would where the, the two way stamp would come into play. This would be the outer line yeah. art in the stamp form. Um, and mm -hmm. then the next one we're going to look at. Um, would then be the infill. And this so now is very elegant. The, it is, it's so delicate. And again, you've got that double line as well. So it's perfect for applying color. I mean, this was sort of like a, a last minute thing. And it, so that's why there's only a couple of samples there because we didn't get a chance mm -hmm. to get it out to the design team. But you've got these beautiful letter boxes as well, very which you'll clever. also see on the starter kit. Yeah. I have to say, Paul, I really, the more I look at this, the more I, I, I realize how clever it is because we've got our words coming through and these are the big ones we're going to be using all the time. The happy birthday, uh, thank you, with love, best wishes, and on your anniversary. So you've got those. Then you have the alphabet, the ordinals, the numbers, everything to really personalize. But being able to have three very distinct looks. So going through here, this to me, uh, the feel and the inner detail, it's very elegant, it's delicate, it's fine. Then you've got something with the outside detail, a bit more bubble, crypt, uh, bubble script, it's a bit more fun, playful, just screams for white work inside or to use maybe your Pergamana pencils, uh, the B liners. And then we've got all the detail. So the plate as is, if you were to use all that detail, which again is another very distinctive look. That's right. And so, again, the, with the groovy system, it gives you that versatility. Um, so I say in the stamp form, it would be a two way. But then in this, you've got the three way because you just pick out the, the different designs. And it's just a fantastic idea. It really is. I love it. And what, when you think about customizing, because whatever 
inspiration you're going to make if it's someone's birthday if you want to write someone's name if it wants if you want to put maybe uh someone uh, home decor say a cra this is your craft place so it could be paul's craft place it could be anything that is the beauty of an alphabet is then it's up to you how you're going to go on and use it and the groovy system there is no better example of customization than groovy that's right and it, again it's about the personalization as you say i mean if you've got someone that's got um not a standard name like zelda or something like that you're not going to find a stamp or a groovy plate that's got that on it so yeah. by having that choice you can it's all about the personalization it really well, is i'm glad you said that because i'm fortunate being called yanis i often find groovy plates and name tags with my name on it but if you're someone who struggles I'm kidding, Paul. I can never find. As a kid, I was a little kid. You know, when we went to the gift shop uh, in the museum on a school trip. Sam, he could find his. John could find his. Yanis, I'd always have a look at the Y's. Nothing. Nothing, Nothing. Paul. Yeah. It's all about the personalization um, and making it special for the person that's then that going to actually receive it. Oh. Well, Paul, it's always a pleasure. Uh, over 10% of the stock's already gone. I say, in speaking with Paul before the start of the show, I know how passionate he is about uh, what we're offering you, and I know how hard the Groovy team have worked, Barbara, the in-house design team, have worked to bring this to you. You will use this. I think this could be uh, one of your go-to plates with the Groovy system. It really is going to be the one you're going to reach to every time. Paul, you're an absolute it's, star. It's, it's, now, I do believe we're going to be chatting to you again at 5. Yep, you will indeed. Brilliant. How's the whole team? How, do you know what? I, I'm going to email Barbara. I've been meaning to email Barbara just to say hello because I haven't seen her in ages. How is the whole team? How's Barbara? It's all about adapting, isn't it? And sort of working with what's in front of us and um, the current pandemic and everything else. And just keeping everyone safe and secure. Yeah. Um, and obviously just, I mean, Barbara does her Facebook Live every day at 10 o'clock on the morning. Mm -hmm. um, and it's all about the community and just making people feel safe and secure and comfortable. And with Pochanda, it gives us that opportunity to do that as well. Excellent. Before I let you go, and I know we've got to be very, very quick here. Final question. You're in Barbara's office. There any, uh, any bickies in there? Anything? No, no? no I've already checked. No. Drawers no. are empty. <laughs> She's hidden them, Paul. You've got to look harder than that. Uh, Paul, thank you so much, buddy. Uh, you're going to be back with Fiona at five. Do make sure to tune in. You're an absolute star. Thanks, Paul. Okay, so uh, we're over 10% of the stock here. Once you start seeing it in action, but uh, what I would say very, very quickly is the fact that you can get three distinctive looks. So in effect, and this is what I love about Clarity and Groovy, they push to give you maximum value for money uh, and to think outside the box, even though you have got your boxes in here, the letter boxes do it. So effectively, you've got three of these plates because if you work on the outside line, the inner line, or put them all three together, that's three distinctive looks on one plate. So imagine how much you'd be paying. Well, I can tell you, if this is 19.99, imagine three of these groovy plates, A4, you'd be looking at 60 quid. So uh, that's just wanted to put that into perspective. What we're going to do is go to our first demonstration with Barbara. Enjoy. Hello. Delighted to be able to showcase this new A4 plate for you. This is a really cool alphabet uh, nested plate, something new to Groovy. And uh, let's take a closer look at it and you'll see that there are letters within letters within letters. So loads of usage here. If you, if you check it out, you'll see that there, are, there is an alphabet within the alphabet. If we have a look at it embossed and um, and traced out completely, you'll see here we've got uppercase, lowercase, we've got numbers, we've got popular words, and then we've got these really ingenious uh, letterbox, uh, letterboxes down at the bottom, one, two, and three. Uh, I'll tell you all about those in a minute. Now, keep your eye on that particular font, because that's very pretty, isn't it? But let's take a look what happens if we only trace out the outer edge. It looks completely different, but really excellent too. Much younger, uh, great for infill, for colouring, for pattern work within. Very, very interesting how different it looks. Now, let's take a look at the third option. Now, this time, we're ignoring the outer edge and we're just focusing on the inside. So you've got a completely different looking font. Look at the words as they, as they read on, on the actual plate. 
really funky letters. Now, these are all in a straight line, so in a minute I'm going to show you how it looks when you go jaunty, how it looks when you can tighten it up. I just want to show you a couple of tricks and tips on how to get the most out of this magnificent nested alphabet plate. So the first thing, for those of you who uninitiated uh, of you who are new to the groovy world, we always work from the back. So that's why it's actually really good to have words already um, for us, especially popular words. But you need the alphabet if you want to custom uh, write names, for example, or different words or addresses. Now, let's have a look at this. I've already started with love, 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 because you can't get enough love. If I take the word here, you'll see that I've used the I've used the number one tool from the um, starter kit and I've traced out love in its entirety here. Then I've taken love again, but this time I've only gone around the outside. Then I've taken love again, but this time I've only gone on the inside. So straight away we've got three different looks. Let's have a look up close interesting all from one from one plate but what i want to show you now is how we can make this nudge up very very easily because this is literally traced out exactly as it is on the plate let's take this love and let's tighten it up to take up less space it's very easily done i'll just show you a, a trick because what it does is it shows you the um the versatility, the plate itself becomes your guide. Let's take a, a white pencil and a ruler and let's, this is a good, a good tip if you want to go in a straight line. If you want to go in a jaunty angle even, it's good to have a guide so that you know you're going along the right, you're not going off at an angle. Even if you're going randomly with the letters, it's a good idea to put a pencil line in. I'm working, I put the pencil line on the back so I can rub it out easily afterwards. And then what I'm going to do is take my, I'm going to use my groovy tabs just to hold it in place while I'm working. Usually this would be a good idea. Maybe for the sake of speed I can get away with not doing that. But normally you would hold it in place. So I'm lining up my, the line, the pencil line along the inside because I want to tighten this one up, don't I? So I'm going to just use my tumble dryer sheet. This will help give me a bit of, um, it will help the tool glide in the, in the groove more easily. So let's just concentrate on the inside letter. And straight away, as soon as I get in the groove, my voice slows down and I start to enjoy the process. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to slide this along a little bit until the the letter hits the outside, which is not the line I want to use. And then I'll go back on the inside and I'll just add my inside O. Slowly does it. Then I'm going to take that O and I'm going to slide it along, keeping my eye on this line here. See, so I don't go off at an angle. And then I'm going to hold that edge there to the outer line and then in comes my V. So if you're pressed for space, you see, you've got that you've got that versatility too. You just come along like so, line up along here. When you're new to this, I recommend that you also um, always secure your artwork with groovy tabs. Right, now when I turn this over, what you'll see is that it's, look how much tighter it is than that. See how the gaps have tightened up. So this is just a trick using a pencil and then an eraser afterwards. You can just turn this over and you can rub this out easily with a, with a pink a pink eraser. If I had one, I could show you. I think the white one might be a bit, oh no, the white one works as well. So there you go, you just rub it out like so. And no one will ever know that you used a, a white line. There you go, see? 
magic. If you wanted to do these let me show you what happens if you want to go in a kind of a jaunty angle. So you can see here, for example, I've done a happy birthday Oliver card. And, and I've used, actually, I've used blue parchment, baby blue parchment, because he's only one year old. So what we're going to do now, you see, we're going to look at what's the back and what's the front of the parchment. Because using this eraser, even on the lightest, I can see, if I go do a little test in the corner, I can see that that's actually taken the colour out. Do you see how it's taken the colour out? If I turn it round and I try this on the front, it doesn't take anything away because the parchment is only saturated with colour on one side. So especially on light, on light parchment, it's important to do a little test first. I've even put a little buffer back in the corner so that I knew which side to work from. And then you see, when you work on the back like so, which is what I've done here, but instead of working, I've, I had a straight line in place, but then what I did was I, I went in on the light one and then I just went in at jaunty angles. So I took the A like so, then I went to the P and I moved it round like that, then I moved the P like so. So you're going along the white line but you're, you're moving at a jaunty angle. So this changes the look again, doesn't it? Let me take that away for a minute. If you compare that with love, you see, it, this is very uniform and this is very jaunty. And when you look at Oliver, you'll notice that Oliver is a different font. Now, where did we find that? We have a starter kit for the Groovy system. And in the starter kit, it's got a Groovy plate mate. The idea for that is that it holds all your A5 square plates in place while you're working. See now our big, I digress here, our huge alphabet plate is the size of a groovy plate mate. We don't need a plate to hold, a plate mate to hold this huge plate in place, it'd be like a coffee table. But for the smaller plates it's definitely good to have um, a framework to work within. And you actually included in the starter kit is this nested square, which works off the same principle as the letters, doesn't it? Shapes within shapes within shapes. And this nested square is where I found the outer edge for my, for my little Oliver card. And the lettering for Oliver I found up here, you see? Because we've got a really standard font on the, we don't ever waste any acrylic space. And you can see here that I've gone along and found my Oliver in here. When you when you look at it, you'll see that I've rubbed out, I've erased um, the area. You see the white area that's been erased. You can see exactly where I've gone and where I haven't gone. So for example, here you can see I haven't rubbed this area out and I haven't worked on birthday yet. So you can see exactly the difference. See, I like this look. It's very, it's very, um, yeah, it's, it's just very gentle, isn't it? And what's interesting is even though it's blue parchment, because it's translucent, let me take a piece of Waimea Falls parchment. Look how fabulous that looks. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how you can change the look by changing what you run into the background. See, and then depending on which part of the paper you use, it's great, isn't it? But going back to this one, you see, um, the letters, I've used an eraser pencil to get in those letters. It really isn't hard. And all you do is when you're working on lettering like this and you want to take out the colour, what you do is you just use a sharp, sharpened eraser pencil, the white one, and then you'll see, as you work on a dark surface, and then you'll see exactly um, which bits you've worked on and which bits you haven't, okay? But it comes out really easily. And then on the really tight letters, my suggestion is that you sharpen your pencil, and then you hold it upright, and that will help you. That will enable you then to get into the letters and just make sure you've got a little, there you go. And then you just use light gentle strokes 
and you'll find that you can you can erase the colour in the back really really easily and effectively and then when you when you mount it on on white you can see exactly which areas you've done and which areas you still need to work on so so this particular um, alphabet plate is going to fast become your 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 favorite lettering groovy plate because of its multifunctionality and its versatility there are so many alphabets in one a4 plate beautiful demonstration i think barbara summed it up the best in her final statements that you have got so many different alphabets in one plate so what we're looking at here it is your left letterbox alphabet plate so you have got the letterbox feature uh, down here and this allows you to frame your words to make them a real statement uh, in a project but where it really comes into its own I'm just going to show you because what Barbara said <laughs> it's clumsy uh, Barbara said you're getting so many different styles of alphabet so here is the groovy plate as it is if you were to use all the detail that is afforded to you and that is just a stunning script that you're getting uh, you've got your ordinals you've got your numbers uh, you've got your letters you've got your big words in there and the letterbox so that's one look but then exactly the same plate very different feel so now to me this has got a bit more of a playful nature uh, that bubble kind of script to it again alphabet you still got everything you had on the first plate a lot of space though for uh, your pencils or think about your shading in there your white work so a lot of space it's crisp it's bold it's legible and that's so uh, important and then finally we have same plate but very different now we've gone from that outside line which was it was they like say a bit more playful this is a really elegant font so it's kind of font you kind of see you know in a beautiful old book that you'd find uh with gilded lettering you know the kind of feel uh there so that is the virtue effective i'll just put these on the front this is what you have three very distinctive styles it's as if you have three a4 uh groovy plates in one and that to me what you're seeing right now that is the real essence the virtue the joy of this release it is brand new today and over a quarter of the stock has already gone in the first 22 minutes of the show that gives you an indication of how busy we are uh, and we re the, look it deserves to be busy for 19.99 this is going to be a go-to alphabet for you so it allows you to customize you've got your big uh, sort of feature uh, sentiments on there your happy birthdays your thank yous your best wishes you've got the boxes to break them up Barbara was showing you as well in that wonderful technique uh, the inspiration she just shared how by adjusting the position you're getting a totally different feel as well 19.99 can I just show one inspiration is that all right guys have a look here and you can see, and here you're going to start to discover different permutations. Now, I talked about using the outside, using the inside, but by coloring in the inside of, uh, so that was the one where I was saying it's kind of like a, a bit more of a bubbly, playful thing. So it's, that's your outside edge colored in. Another great feel. Okay, so uh, we've jumped to 30%. I know how many fans of Groovy are there. I know, I know, because watching in, I just uh, Groovy Clarity. I'm such a huge fan myself. You are going to use this. I really believe it's going to be. If I had that at home, it would be one of my go-to's. Uh, we're going to be showing you more demonstrations this hour. If you have any questions, please get in touch. Something else I want to share with you: maybe you've been thinking about joining uh, the community that is Groovy and Clarity. We've got a deluxe starter kit for you. Fifty-four ninety-nine is your price. You get absolutely everything you need. Now Barbara is actually using this in her demonstration. So you've got your tools. You've got your different ball tools, you've got your parchment, uh, you've also got frames in there. So at the bottom right hand corner of the uh, picture, those are nested frames to frame your work. You've also got your tags, your circles, the trees are stunning. You can use the frame around so you can go through all seasons effectively, spring, summer, winter, autumn. You've got the mountains, the sky, the moon, the sun, 
and you've got your plate mate in the mix. It is a phenomenal starter kit and it's exactly what you need to get going. £27.50 is your first fle uh, flexi payment or £54.99. We also have the Groovy Go Mini. So another starter kit and the Groovy Go Mini is a really, really, really popular option uh, if you just want to dip your toe into the world that is groovy. So in the starter kit you're getting your plate mate, you're also getting your plate, uh, your plate mate mat, uh, you're also getting your parchment in there as well, uh, tools and your free travel case. All of that for $26.95. I think I said plate mate. Yeah, I'm getting the masses in there as well, yeah. Uh, okay, so all of that for $26.95, freedom price is incredible. So do take advantage of your freedom membership. Okay, something else I wanted to share with you. Have a look at this. We're talking stamps and stencils. Beautiful uh, stamps. Right, the thing with with clarity in the stamps. Can I, am I alright to pick this up guys, just to show? Is that alright? Pick that up? Can I have to pick it up up there? Just want to show you, look at the thickness of a clarity stamp. They are incredible. Hand poured, uh, well ha we're poured in-house, not hand poured, poured in-house, so created in-house. The quality, Barbara was the creator, the innovator, the first person who had that spark and thought, and hence the name Clarity, clear stamps. Why, rather than red rubber stamps where you struggle to see through, it's having that clear stamp. The quality is exceptional, but the designs of these uh, dandelions are stunning. There's a beautiful uh, fluidity to them. It's that you get a sense that they're blowing in the wind, the detail, and so many wonderful illustrations here from the, the design team. So let's take a look. Because remember, you are getting the stencil and the stamp, so both they play and coordinate wonderfully together. Think about creating your background. I mean, they're lo lovely. See how they, they bow? You really get a sense of the breeze coming through a summer meadow. Uh, that one was by Andy. Love your work, Andy. There's Julie now. That's clever, Julie. So changing the angle, and it affords such a different feel. Or if you wanted to get even more playful, Jane, oh Jane. Now Jane, that is very clever. Very, very clever. Pattern building at its absolute best. Maybe you wanted to go for something very elegant. This is by Sarah. See Sarah? I mean, beautiful little border detail there, but then you just let the elegance of the design speak for itself. And another example here, clean, crisp. This is from Barbara Lancaster. Or what about this one from Maria? Oh, yes. Maybe, all right, now we're going to start exploring different looks. There we're going to start getting imaginative. Not that we haven't already. But Carol, look at this, using the stencils to a fine effect. Got another one. This is by Sam. But do you see how everything I'm showing you here is so different? I mean, markedly different. And that is the real beauty. I'll show you two more because I know we've got to move on. Debbie, that is stunning. Ah. Oh. And then one more. Elaine, that is stunning. Okay, got to stop there. I could. Carry on going, uh, going on. Uh, Barbara's waiting for her next demonstration, so uh, uh, you can shop ahead, by the way. We have got matching uh, dyes to go with your dandelion. We're going to get to those in, uh, in a moment, but first, here's a demonstration from Barbara. Well, here we are with these gorgeous dandelion stamps by Mel Turner. Just beautiful designs. We used these in the uh, masterclass or the classroom uh, last year, and... Uh, they're just spectacular. Let's have a closer look at them and you'll see here, this is what we, we, we did in the, in the classroom uh, at Hochanda. And what you'll see is on this indexing sheet, for example, I've mounted my stamps up ready for play, but these clever patterns, they actually tessellate. In other words, they tessellate in all directions. So you can make um, endless lines there, there's, there are joins in here where they join up so they move like that. I'll show you in a minute. And what I want to show you today is a different one. Uh, this was the one we tried in the classroom and this is the one I want to show you. Doesn't that look fabulous? So I want to show you how I did this. And instead of using this particular design, I thought today we'd go with these. And, uh, and I'll show you how they work. So the first thing we need to do is take our stencil card and cut it in half. 
and that my friends will give us that panel so that's an easy start isn't it and what I'll do first of all is I'll establish my my panel at the bottom my tessellated panel because that's going to be our base for the uh, for the dandelions so I'm going to use a black archival ink pad and I'm just going to ink this up now and then we'll see how these stamps tessellate so in other words let me just come to a different camera so that you can see more closely and I can get my head over the top so if I for example I'll stamp there like so right and then I'll take my my pattern again and then I'll line it up like so and I can see exactly where it's going to go oh and then I've got my my seamless pattern look you see you can't see where the join is and that's the magic of tessellation so once we've done that then the next thing we want to do is add you can see exactly where the tessellation is only because one of the stamped images is a little lighter than the other one and I didn't do that deliberately <laughs> but the thing is once we've colored it all in it won't make a blind bit of difference so we shall crack on uh, what I'm going to do now is take some masking tape because I want to put the let's get all the stamping out of the way first so I just want to cover up that edge like so so that when I add the dandelions I don't go straight into the border now the thing is I can also make it shorter but then I'd have to cover up more wouldn't I so let's just stamp the dandelion in place the other thing about these is they bend you see so if I wanted this one to hang over a bit more I just use a different mount okay so you can you can make it straight if you want look it's entirely up to you how you want it to sit on the mount and it will cling to the mount they, they cling don't they so let's just ink this one up next black archival ink pad right and then we'll pop that into position and we'll decide where we want to place that and then we will just lower it down gently it's a very delicate stem so we'll just press gently till we're happy with the position perfect and then we've got a little guy as well again this one has got a natural bend but we can we can straighten him out we can make him even more we can whatever you fancy but he's got a natural bend to him he's got a natural curl so we'll go with the curl and then we're just going to ink this one up as well but you can see how these stamps would lend themselves beautifully to all manner of design uh, or occasion you know these are beautiful just beautiful greeting cards just nice artwork isn't it there you go and the thing is now that we've done that you see when I take this away he sits on there perfectly so just basic masking trick but it works really well so let's take a look at where we're headed and what we've done the only thing we need now is a little bit of time and a little bit of patience and a micron pen so the first thing I want to do is put on my other glasses so I can see better and then we'll we'll come in here and I'm using the 005 the finest one so let's just establish the border first and you'll see that what I'm doing is I'm going along and I'm catching randomly look I'm just going along and I'm picking up the edges as I go so I'm really I don't want a ruler because I want to catch look I'm coming in and I'm going to catch it then I'll come round and I'm just establishing my baseline like so and once I've done that then I'm just going to settle into colouring in and you can see how easy it is let's go to the one that we've nearly finished see it's nice half done too it doesn't have to be completed but the whole idea is once you've got your base in place then what you're going to do is go in with your micron pen and you're just going to colour in the background so this is a real beautiful doodling session and it doesn't take it doesn't take long but it's very relaxing 
and this particular image lends itself beautifully to colouring in the background. See, so you do that and you just take your time and just fill in. So you could do all different colours, couldn't you? Now, if you wanted to do all different colours, the black micron pen is just perfect. On the tessellated area here, all I've done is gone in and I've decided if I wanted it to be solid black, then I just go in solid black. If I want to add a little more interest, then I add a few lines and then I decide maybe I only want to colour in that bit. Maybe I want to do a checker. You see? And so you just build your, your pattern. Don't be afraid to colour in the whole thing black. But this time, instead of concentrating on the background, which is what we did in this one, we concentrated on the background in that one. Do you remember, I took, um, we took a black pencil. For example, we could take our, our pergoline of pencils. Let's just grab a pencil. There you go. Look, I'm going to take the black one out of the pergoliner box. I can take the watercolour pencil or the blending pencil. And all I want to do now is on this one, I digress, but I just want to show you. I've stamped it. We put the background in with, um, with a brush, didn't we? We inked the background between two bits of masking tape. That's easy. And then we just add shadow. So what we're doing here is we're concentrating more on the, on the background. See, on the backdrop. See, so you, you add in a drop shadow in the background there and that makes the the tangle the stamp pop as well by by creating an, a negative color you see in the background so this one what we're doing here is we're concentrating more on the other one so what I'm explaining is in my clumsy way that you could reverse these techniques you could do the back the shadowing on this one and concentrate on the background and do the other with this with this one as far as coloring in these lines go we have the perfect solution and these are called perga colors because what you're looking for to to do coloring in let's go to this one i don't want to spoil that one because that's going to be really lovely when it's done um these these pens are very very good because let's pick a color that you'll be able to see easily there you go that's a nice color that peachy color right oh hello these pens have got two ends so you've got the you've got this end there right should we pick a darker color so you can see it better let's pick a darker color right that's more like it so you can see more what i'm doing right so you've got a really good bullet end but you've also and i love this about these pens you've also got this really fine line and when i say fine i mean fine and it doesn't dry out it's brilliant so when you're going to instead of doing black like this let's say you wanted to do color You've got two choices. With this, you could either go in exactly as you did with the black on the inside at the back, or, and this is where it gets good, these pens are so fine that you can easily get into the tightest lines. You see, so now what we're doing is we're actually colouring in the, the dandelion art. Look, and you can get in on the tightest lines. This is cool. And there are n not many pens out there that can take that kind of detail. You see? This is how fine they are. And you just go round, gently does it. And it's like a maze, isn't it? Just gently go round. But you can get a brilliant look. It's like the London Underground, this one. I love it. But what a great solution. For coloring in as well so so you can see now you've got the positive and the negative on these stamps and then of course notwithstanding you've got a completely different design from the from the other set so the only thing to do now if we wanted to present this art is how to present it so what I've done is I've taken a piece of um, designer paper and this particular paper is really cool it's called toffee apple Dee Paramore designed this particular set really really lovely 
nice. Also very Christmassy. There's a lot of beautiful Christmas papers in this one. Uh, so, so this one's called Toffee Apple. Look, gorgeous. Double-sided, uh, 12 designs, four of each. Beautiful. Okay, uh, 48 in total. And so what I've done is I've taken one of those. This one is nice, isn't it? And I'm going to use that in the background just because I can. There you go. This will look lovely. In fact, you know what? That really would look nice on there as well. The only thing I've got to do is edge it in black with a, uh, with a Sharpie pen. There, like so. And then I'm going to take one of our card blanks, cut it in half. This was an 8x8 eight eight card blank, like that. See, so I cut it straight down the middle, so now it's 4x8. And then that goes on that, that goes on that. That goes on that, and then the last thing, which is what will really make this whole thing make sense, is a message, a sentiment. And I'm going to take my Barbara sentiments, and I think I'm going to go with Seek Sweetness and Wisdom in black. Now watch, this, is, this will make it look, and it's almost like we've created a banner down the bottom. Let me pop that in there like so, like that. Maybe a little bit more in the middle. Nice. The good news is these come off and you can reposition them like that. That'll do. Anyway. So I'll sort that out later. But you can see how you can create. There's so much, so much playtime with these stamps because there are so many different colouring options, either positive or negative. You decide. I could watch this all day. Thank you so much, Barbara. Uh, Barbara described about playtime, and that's exactly what you're getting on the show today. I've got to be really quick, because we've got one more last demonstration to uh, squeeze in. Very quickly, the alphabet plate is busy. We're over a third of the stock here. Look at what you are getting. That's not what you're getting. Bear with me. This is what you are getting, because within that one groovy plate, you have effectively have three distinctive styles. All of that at your fingertips, the uh, outside edge detail, the inside detail, and then putting it all together. So the three steps of detail there. It is less box. When you consider all of that design work at your fingertips to really personalize, 19.99 is in Incredible, and that is a massive compliment to Clarity. The fact that they wouldn't just create one with the outside edge and then offer you another one that is what makes Clarity such a fantastic company. Uh, now, the demonstration that you've just seen using the fantastic stamps and stencils what I like about Barbara, she loves sharing techniques and she gets excited by it. And what she wants you to do, Barbara is passionate about making sure that you uh, get the most out of your sets. You saw that in the demonstration, 1998. For clarity stamps of this quality, the stencil, you're saving five pounds in the mix. Uh, your item number is triple zero two two one. We did mention we had dies, and we've got it here. So you have got the dies, that beautiful daffodil die that accompanies the stamps and stencil so well. I mean, nineteen ninety nine for your fresh cut clarity aperture die. Yes, please. One five five nine five zero item number. The best way to showcase how good this die is is to see it in action. I think that's exactly what we're going to do with Paul. Hi, thanks for joining me. For this demo, we're using the beautiful Five Dandelions Aperture Die. And what I've done, I've created this beautiful background using the gilding flakes that we have on the show. So I love the colourways on this. You've got some reds, and some coppers and golds. It's a really nice variegated um, colourway. And what I've done, I've removed one of the dandelions because you can see one, two, three, four. And I've removed the fifth one in order to put my little greeting in. All of these designs, I can cut these bits away, I can take that one out, you can use them independently. And when you look at some of the samples, you'll see that some of the design team have actually die cut them, snipped them up and sort of built beautiful flower wreaths and different elements from them. Really, really beautiful design. And because you've got the five different elements of it, they work really well. So where do we start? To start off with, what I'm going to do is I've taken one of our card blanks, I've just trimmed it down, and we're going to die cut the actual die from the centre. So we're going to pop that in place and hold it down with a bit of low tack tape, and then we're going to run that through the machine. So whilst that's running through the machine, let's have a look. So 
it looks as if it's embedded because of the beautiful gilded paint. And this is all super smooth because we've burnished it to give it that beautiful background look. Okay, so we're going to remove our die from the machine. There we go. Carefully remove the low tack tape. There we go. I'm going to bring my little waste bin into play so it doesn't go all over the floor. And what you'll see is that the die just carefully ease that away. And because our dies have got a special coating on, it just falls out of the die. And then you've got all the little bits in there. Give it a little tap. You can use a little pokey tool just to push out the ones that are clinging on. Don't want to let go. There we go. And now we've got our nice, beautiful die cut. Okay. So what we're going to do now is, let me just bring a white piece of paper in underneath so we can see what we're doing. So this is the die, how it's been designed to work. But when you look at my card, you'll notice that what I've done is I've removed this particular one. So really easy to do, just a pair of scissors and we're just going to snip away that particular dandelion. There we go. So I could keep that and use that as an embellishment on another card. Or I could build a wreath from it if I cut loads of these up. So there you can see we've now removed that element. The next thing we're going to do is bring in a piece of the double sided adhesive. So I've already cut this down, this is from the A4 sheets. And we're just going to peel off the backing. Okay. Very, very sticky, sticky. So I'm going to position this so that the words Clarity Stamp are face down. So I've got the shiny side there. I'm going to turn my die cut face down as well. And then I'm going to use the finger and thumb technique that Barbara suggests, just to position over the top and then press down. So I can now make sure that's all in place. And then we're gonna rub that in, make sure it's completely stuck down, which it will be, because it's a really, really high tack, double-sided adhesive sheet. So we can peel that off now. And now we've got choices. We can go with gilding flakes. We can go with perg glitter. You could put micro beads behind it. Um, so many different things that you can go with. But before I do that, what I want to do is embed my greeting. So we've got this sticker word collection on the show. I'm going to go with Barbara's for this particular one because I had a really nice... Um, which one did I go with? I went with Amazing, I think it was. So there we go. So we'll just peel that off. So these are great. For me, these are a must have because they just add that little finishing touch to your design. So I'm gonna take my tweezers so I can position that where I want it. So I reckon about there. And then I can just press that down. I mean, it's sticky, it's a sticker anyway, but it's super sticky now that it's got the double-sided adhesive behind it. So now it's time to get messy, but it's a clean type of messy. So I'm going to bring in a large piece of paper to pop underneath. And then I've got my gilding flakes in the pot. Okay. So make sure you've got the windows are closed, the animals are not nearby. Try not to sneeze. And then I'm just going to take some flakes and then just gently press it into position. So again, depending on the colours you use, you'll get a different look. And that goes for the same for the actual card itself. I mean, I could have gone with the craft card and I would have got a different look. So all I'm doing is just pressing in so I can't feel any sort of stickiness on my fingers. So I know it's all completely covered. 
Okay, then I'm going to just tap off, carefully tap off the excess to start with. Pop that to one, ooh, nearly. Pop that to one side. Then put that back in its pot. And then I'm going to use the yellow sponge dauber. And I'm just going to now burnish and buff up the colorway. And what this does, it really pushes it into all the areas it needs to go into. And it gives it a really nice metallic sheen. So I'm just going in a circular motion, just to make sure that it's all nice and smooth. Okay, so let's just pop that to one side for a moment while I put the rest of this back into its pot. Okay, pop that to one side. I'm going to pop the lid on now so that I don't have any accidents. <clears throat> and then if I take a piece of paper, I'm going to just take a stencil brush and I'm now just going to dust it off. It gets rid of all the fine dust. Gorgeous. So then the next thing I'm going to do is just some basic matting and layering. So I've got, again, the black and white car blanks. I'm going to turn that over. I'm going to remove the double-sided backing. So that's what it looks like on the reverse. Don't need any more sticky. Oops. I'm going to bring my white bit of card. I'm going to use the same technique as before. Just going to go over the top. And fingers crossed. There we go. So I'm going to turn that over and press down. That's in place. I'll take my double-sided tape or tape runner and so we can mat and layer this on. Look at that, gorgeous. And then we'll position that onto our car blank, press that down and now I've got two cards in the same colorways, quick and easy to do. So again, just to recap, I've used the gilding flakes, you can use glitter, um, you could cut more away if you wanted to, if you just wanted that pair of um, dandelions or you just wanted these two and the one that I cut away. Have a play, just cut out onto some scrap paper, um, have a play, chop some up and see what you come up with. So I hope you've enjoyed that and I'll see you again soon. Absolutely enjoyed that, Paul. That was amazing. Uh, can I just say a big thank you to Barbara and Paul? I know the Clarity, the whole ba uh, Clarity team, put so much effort into bringing you those fantastic demonstrations. You are absolute stars. Thank you. We got more demonstrations, brand new demonstrations at five o'clock. So please make sure uh, to tune back in at five. Right, I've got a few minutes just to tell you about this brand new groovy plate. It is proving extremely popular. We're approaching 40% of the stock and it's only the first hour and we had a um, thing is stock updates are relative with a company like Clarity they can bring a huge amount of stock with them so the fact that we're at 40% in the first hour it really means we are going some I just want to show you here because what you were getting, and I apologize, I know I've done this a couple of times, but for me, I kind of had a eureka moment and I thought the best way to showcase this, because I kind of feel as a presenter, I'd want to show, I want to show what I'd be uh, thinking at home or what I'd want to see. This is what you're effectively getting with this one plate. Now, you'd be forgiven for thinking this was three individual A4 plates. But that is the detail that you are getting from this wonderful three-way tall letterbox alphabet plate. So we've got our alphabet, we've got our numbers, our ordinals, and our words, and also the letterbox details. But you see how everything, you've got the one we're seeing right now, very elegant, that's your inner line. Uh, the one in the middle was your outer line, so it's a bit more playful, bubble script. It's got scope for you to color in, and then you've got this one, which is uh, all the layers together.
it is just a phenomenal groovy plate. I've got so much time for this plate. Um, if you're a groovy fan, I think there is a very, uh, well, there's a, a great position in your arsenal to have this. Use it, enjoy it, love it. Clarity will be returning at five o'clock. So don't go anywhere. Got plenty more, though, coming up. Let the Only Loose is coming up next, and we're going to have a great time. After that, we've got Happy Hour Deals, and then our one-day special, Fabric Freedom Essentials, coming up a bit later on. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. We are the Stampin' Sisters from Stamp Haddocks. We'd started our family-run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in-house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got Scenic, we've got Cute and Furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hojanda. It's time to celebrate All and Create's third anniversary with us at Hachanda. Tune in from Friday the 17th of July at 10am to Monday the 20th of July at 5pm to join in with the fun. Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just the water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps and we've got a great range of inks which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly inks are loaded with mica so they give you amazing results on your projects. We hope that our products bring you as much fun, creativity and inspiration as they do to us. We love all of our products and we hope you do too. So make sure you don't miss our shows on Achanda. I'm Ali from Ali Stitcher Fingers and I'm here to talk to you about the Stitched Up Ruler System. The Stitched Up Ruler System was uh, born in America and I saw how um, unique it was and wanted to bring it to the viewers on a chanda. So what we've done is we've been designing these rulers and they are specific depth to work with the specific foot that you need but this enables you to be able to use this on a domestic sewing machine at home. We now design and manufacture the rulers and the feet here in Yorkshire. We've got lots of new designs and uh, new shapes coming to you and we can't wait to bring them to you at home. So make sure you don't miss the Stitched Up Ruler System with me on a Chanda. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. 
Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with a Chanda easier. It is uh, Wednesday, 2 o'clock, right? So you know, we know what that means. We are going to let Leon loose. So I'm going to kind of social distance and I'm going to go in. Like this, this way. This way. <laughs> <laughs> Turn back. We like doing that. <laughs> Thanks, Miss <Miss>. Pete. <laughs> literally, literally, that, that was the only thing we wanted to do, weren't it? <laughs> like, let's do that then because it's fun um anyway it's lovely to have your company i am indeed leone that was miss p she will be back in a little while uh, but we have got the beautiful artwork um that's brought to us uh from lesia's uh Zagard. i nearly said your name wrong then lesia um beautiful we had a show early on at 11 o'clock which was so so busy um so if you do want anything please check your basket so um i love these because you can't get them everywhere i mean they are are so original they're special they're different um i love her artwork i mean she's a absolutely exquisite at coloring in i mean if you look at the the card the finished card Lessie has done all of these look at that she colors in with pencil crayons isn't that just phenomenal i mean her skills are just incredible now what you've got with this stamp you've got that beautiful butterfly and um, within uh, we were chatting about this me and i miss p were chatting about this because i couldn't think what it was called what it reminded me of and um paula said it's like sacred geometry or spiritual geometry or uh, symbolic geometry so whichever way you want to look at it but it does it's got a lot of meaning behind it and it's just so beautiful within the symbols of nature as well now you've got your butterfly kisses I absolutely adore that now that has been the busiest I've got this one ready to demonstrate actually so hopefully we'll have that left uh, by the time I come back but that's your first one it's already busy uh, butterfly kisses stunning absolutely stunning um seven three I will get down counter well quick, so hopefully it'll be there by the time you get back. I'll do that. Sorry, very my hands are fire like that. <laughs> a plaster in the middle of all the gesso. Uh, 763234 is your item number. Oh, her artwork is gorgeous. So that's your first one, that's your beautiful butterfly. Next, we've got for you again absolutely beautiful so with this one you've got the same butterfly but it's actually smaller so if you're buying them both they're not um they're not exactly the same this one you haven't got um the the geometry around it but of course you can create your own which Leslie has done here um again look at that isn't that just amazing uh, colouring in again what she's done with this one she's actually coloured them in but then she's put a glaze over the top and the glaze makes those colours pop I mean it gives them such a richness especially on the the background because she's put the background she always uses um, the the craft card but and the pencil crane so because she's glazed it it just makes it stand out so well on that background and I love that so rather than um, you know cutting it out decoupaging she's done it flat but she's made the you know the richness she's used another another way to get that richness now you've also got with this one um your other stamp which is just beautiful and actually look 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 see really really that should have been with the cat one shouldn't it so you've got you were never alone and do not forget how much i love you definitely should have been with the cat one this one unless you have got a furry butterfly i mean some butterflies do have little furry bodies don't they is that more moths but anyway it's more moths with furry bodies isn't it but let's just pretend this is going to be with the moth one or the cat one but it doesn't matter because i do like that you are never alone i think is beautiful it's a really really nice sentiment and i think in a stamp that's something we don't often see actually stamps you are never alone i think that is gorgeous so if you do want that bundle 13 pounds and 99 pence 682108 is your item number now they are coming over from Poland so we have got extended delivery um, so they're going to be going out from the 23rd of July so not long to wait there at all okay bug some wonderful nurse look at these gorgeous things so you've got the beautiful moth 
And again, the way she's called these in is ridiculous. You've got the moth. He's gorgeous, isn't he? Absolutely gorgeous. And I think with that one, I mean, it could be a moth, but its body, its body's got a bit of a sort of hornet or wasp kind of look to it as well, hasn't it? Do you think? I just think it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And then you've got your three beetles. I mean, look at her colouring in. Look at the vibrancy of those wings. They are sensational. And then your wonderful beetles. And again, the way she's coloured them in. This one, this last one that she's done, that's actually on fabric. And I think it's like... um. Actually, it's more of a canvas card, is that, rather than fabric. It's more of a canvas. Absolutely gorgeous, again. And, I mean, these ones, you kind of want to cut them out and make them into to brooches. Do you know what I mean? Maybe um, maybe put them on shrink plastic. Or um, one of the techniques um, the Pink Ink ladies did um, are melded. And she did um, it on a, a, a can, didn't she? Do you remember? I don't know if you remember. Anyway, I'm waffling now. Uh, but yeah, if you do want these, these are really busy. I love those. £13.99. pence. So you've got your... Now, I can't say that. Cicada. Am I saying that right? I'm not, am I? C-I-C-A-D-A. Cicada. I knew I was saying that wrong. So is a cicada, like a... Is that a large moth? Uh, is it a large so, moth? No, it looks like Or is it more of a bee? Oh, I don't know. Google. I thought it was more of a grasshopper. Uh -huh. It's more of a grasshopper. Oh, she's yeah. on it, she's on it. Right, we're looking up what it is, because I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, you've got four stamps in total there, only £13.99. 539181 is your item number. If you look. It's a jumping bug. Yeah. So it's going to be one of them three. It's one M3, and they jump around a lot. So there you go. That is your cicada, or however you say it. <laughs> or Miss P has a different... Do you have... Cicada? Cicada. Cicada. Yeah, but you're... Spa that's all. That's proper <laughs> Spanish, that, isn't it? Because I don't even start with T. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> Spanish and Northerners, no wonder you can't speak right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, breathe, breathe, Paula. Uh, so what we've got next, <laughs> what we've got next, and this is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, the flying beetle. I mean, I love these because these are brilliant on paper but not so great in your bedroom. I absolutely adore them. I love them because, again, with that phenomenal um, symbolic geometry, I think, and it is all about nature. It's all about, you know, absolutely loving all of nature and all the wonderfulness in these. I mean, when you look at a beetle like this, you know, when it tucks its wings in and its little hard body protects those beautiful wings, Wings. And it looks so scary, doesn't it? But they're only little beetles. Um, just absolutely wonderful. And the detail of that artwork, as usual, um, with Lessie, is stunning. Only £9.99. Now, 153663 is your item number. Really, really beautiful. Please do not miss out on any of these. Uh, remember, these we don't see these much in the... Oh, I forgot to show you my things. We don't show these much in the UK at all. It's hardly ever um, we see less, less of stuff. So while we've got it, please check your baskets out. I forgot to show you my, my beautiful bug in my book. Um, again, doesn't I love this in my journal? I just think that works beautiful. And I have done another one on um, there as well. See, look at him. Again, in that fantastic pattern. Isn't that amazing? And I love it because I've got all this prettiness and then I've got my fabulous little beetle sat there as well. And I love them because you can do them in all colours. You know, because that's the lovely thing about beetles, isn't it? You know, when it hits the light and you see all the colours, they're just magnificent. OK, next, you've got a really nice collection of words. Now, you would have seen these in the last hour, but I've put them again in this hour because they mix and match perfectly. Um, so you've got... I love this 
hello hello um so you've got that big beautiful hello you've got my friend it could be love fall spring winter or summer the next one is be wild and free which i thought really worked with all our wonderful um little critters you've then got you make me smile and i really like that i just think that's a beautiful sentiment and this one i specifically put for the bug ones because i thought that were marvelous everything has beauty but not everyone sees it and i think that is so true when we think about all the lovely bugs and the creepy crawlies because they are magnificent but sometimes yeah we just like go Ooh, which i mean we're so big compared to them aren't we now You've got your beautiful hello there. Hello, my friend, which again, absolutely stunning. Unfortunately, the cat one did sell out in the earlier hour. Now, if you do, oh, however, have we? A mice? Ah, oh, 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 she's told me now. She's like the cat out of the bag. See what I did there? Yeah. See what I did there? Is it? Have we got some more then? Right. Okay, we have got some more. We didn't think that... Oh, I hate saying this. <laughs> um, anyway, um, it's going to be dispatched 27th of July. So if you do want... Now, that cat one, so obviously we've been in touch with Leslie. Thing is, it does take a little while because obviously, um, you know, we're, she's she's in another country. So getting in touch can... Um, it can be a little bit slower than normal. Uh, but £12.99, that is all. We have got that. So that's going out on the 27th. Um, if you do want to go for that one, um, so please, we've got extra that because it is absolutely exquisite the other one that we've managed to get going out from the 27th is um so that one's 439205 we've also got it's going to zoom in oh look at him um have a perfect day so he's also going to be going out from the 27th again only 11.99 for those ones 273.953 hurrah See, it is good. It is good the way we've got extra. It always annoys us because we hope we're, you know, when we say it's gone, we, we, but and then it's like, oh. But anyway, such is life. We're glad we've got extra. Okay, now, I love these. I did babble on about these in the last hour. Wanted to bring them back in this hour because um, they're ex I, because I adore them. That's why. Um, they are they are just so interesting. And like we were chatting about, they have got there's so much symbolic meaning within these. You know, so many different um, different religions, different beliefs that they will equate to. But also, they're just really, I think, really appeasing to look at. You know, when you actually when you actually start working with them, the ability to create so many beautiful designs with them. Honestly, I find this really, really addictive because you just start building them up. And if I just hold that for you, because it has to run, I like it to run that way. That's the natural path of it. But isn't that just beautiful? Such good stamps. I really, really re recommend these. You can tell these are a bit of a favourite, favourite. And again, because they work with so many things. You know, they work with everything on this counter. I love that Lesia used these with the cats as well. I mean, she really does. She mixes and matches these with all sorts of stamps. She's mixed, mixed and matched these when she's brought um, all her, 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 the world stamps that she brought, the earth stamps and, you know, all her, the whales. Oh, my gosh, these will go so well with the whales. So they really, really work. I adore these. Yeah, I've made my point. Um, if you want to go for these, £16.99 is your price. 630042. So that's your item number. Now, you will see the others on the website. Do remember, you've got extended delivery on the ones that we've got back in stock. You've got extended, extended delivery, uh, but you will get them eventually. And it is amazing because, obviously, we don't see Leslie's stuff enough, do we? So they are very special indeed. If you would love to go for these, check out the website at chanda.com or, of course, you can ring us 01733602000. If you've got any questions, email us in studio at and um, if you've got pictures send your pictures in i love seeing what you've been doing especially with lesia's stuff because it is very 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 special so um and i know you've um a lot of you out there have already got lots of lesia's goodies so please email in and send pictures or how many have you got or um we wanted stories in last hour didn't we cat stories and i did say my favorite cat story is obviously paula's <laughs> <laughs> um, but what what what? Oh, people are.
an email and in descriptions of the bugs. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you, everyone. I do. I love our customers because it's like, you know, you, I kind of need you to be with me all times because there's a lot of times in life I go, I don't really know. But, you know, as soon as we say something, it's like, yeah, I don't know that. You all sort of jump to action. It's amazing. So thank you. So, I, yeah, Cicada... Whoa, really? So, really? So the cicada is as that isn't the one, then, is it? So I wonder which it is. So they're as massive as they're as big as your hand. Then they make their noises at night. Ah. So Jane from Warwick went to a butterfly farm and one dropped out of a tree on her. So Jane. Here we go, Jane. It's you I'm going to be chatting to today. So, Jane, what did it look like? Did it have wings then? Was it like this? Because I'm sure that were the one. It's not that one. Is there a pack of three? <laughs> Sorry, everyone at home. This isn't exciting, Sally, is it? Me trying to work out what bugs what. We'll get back to me. We'll get. We'll figure it out. Fig we're figuring it out. We're on it. We're on it. <laughs> It's like spring watch, isn't it? How exciting. <laughs> oh, who knew? Spring watch on her chanda. Okay, so the butterfly. Love, love this one. Okay, now I'm working on watercolour cardstock, so I'm really hoping this actually works. Um, I've got a frame, so because I want to frame this one because I thought it looked beautiful. And I've already um, cut it out mm, somewhere, but I've got to put it. Oh, no, it's right there in front of me. Um, so I've already cut him out so I can raise this. But what I actually wanted to do with emboss it, now because I'm working on watercolour cardstock, sometimes embossing. Um, it's not as crisp as you want it to be because of the watercolour. But I'm, I am already making excuses. When you're doing things like this, cover yourself. You know, cover yourself with all, all eventualities. Blame everything, including the cardstock. So if it doesn't go right, you've already, um, you've already covered yourself. So inking it up. I'm hoping I've got that even. I'm hoping I have, but I don't think I have, you know. Oh, it'll be okay. See, that'll irritate me. Now, it's funny, isn't it? Normally, it not being even, you know, I mean, normally that wouldn't bug me because it's because of the symbols. It makes it more, um, you know, you want to be more specific because of those. Anyway, I'll let it go. So what I'm going to do is pop my embossing powder on here. Now, I'm going to use white embossing powder because I want to use um, some colour over the top of here. So popping my white embossing powder on as such and I am going to build up this image uh, the lovely thing is if it isn't perfect I am kind of going to be covering that anyway pop my emboss oh, no, I keep putting my embossing powder over the stupid so pop this back again because I'm not gonna oh I might emboss it first or otherwise I will knock that off Lorna come on Leone know yourself so emboss that um, now, I'm using white embossing powder on white card. On TV, that don't look great. But it will in a moment, I promise. It will look better when I actually put the colour on it. I'm doing this because I like the results. I, I just love colour over white. It just looks really, really interesting. Now, um, if you do want the cat, I think that's, is it all being loaded, that one? Yeah. Yay! If you want the cats, they're active. Active cats, so you can buy them. <laughs> okay, so pop that on. Now, next, we're going to use the symbols. Because, obviously, what works beautifully are these. So this is essentially, bless you, darling, that is essentially that. Okay, so you've got your trimming through, and I am going to emboss this as well. So I'm just lifting that out, and I'm going to emboss it. So I'm actually going to do it twice, just to be sure, because this bit I do want the embossing powder to really, really be seen. So I'm going to do that twice, because I'm making sure we've got some embossing on that. Okay, so that's that one. 
Okay. And I know it takes a bit of time, this process, but it's always worth it. Pop my powder on. I'm not going to emboss it yet because I am going to do the other side this time because I'm going to trust myself. So pop that over there like that and that on there like there. And then again, bringing this over and lining that up. So now this time I've got my triangle there, triangle there. So I can literally bring those triangles. So again, your pattern building. And I, this this makes me as you well know if you've watched me a lot i adore this i love pattern building i love being able to build this up and create something different every single time and i think because you will see a lot of these symbols throughout you know whether whether you are looking at different religions whether it's spiritualism whatever it is you know um these symbols are, are something that you'll see represented throughout life and they're very interesting indeed. So now I'm just going to put my embossing powder on. Oh, I've put my embossing powder on there already. Okay. And then popping that on there like that. Brush off your excess. Super. Oh, I've brushed off too much. There we go. Now, let's just move that. Now, you know how in the first hour of our lesson here, the phone lines are having a bit of a, a wobble. They're still wobbling. Poor phone lines. Um, so, probably scared of bugs. Um, so, if you um, if you do want to get hold of us, please get on that website, chandra.com. Uh, you will be able to place your orders there. And, of course, if the phone lines sort themselves out whilst we're on air, I will absolutely let you know. So, just embossing that. So, you've got that beautiful pattern emerging. So, at that side and at that side. And funny really with this one because even though I put the, the gorgeous bus butterfly in the middle really the bit that, that I really want to, to see on this are the outside edges because it's actually the butterfly that I've cut out so the butterfly is going to go over the top there which is going to look amazing okay let's get some color on this so what I'm going to do is I'm using um, powders so from Lindy's Stamp Gang, because I really, really, really like these. And just get a tiny bit of a card underneath there for any that, that fall off. And then let's pop these on. So I'm not being specific with these. I'm not sort of colouring it in. I just want colour. That's all with this. So opening all the pots, because I'm being greedy. And then let's get some colour going on. So we'll go red in the centre, not too much. We'll put a little bit of that green on there, like so. We'll pop some yellow, not too much again. I love this because, oh, that's a lot. Um, I love it because you don't really know what you're going to get. And the lovely thing is, um, the image, I think because the image, with it being a butterfly, it'll just look really interesting with lots of different colours on it. I've probably gone a bit too heavy with the powders there, but let's have a see. So pop that aside, pop, whoops, pop these aside. And I'm putting my lids back on because I don't want to spill these. I mean, they're precious, aren't they? So we don't want to waste those. So pop them aside. And then let's find my water spritzer. There it is, so water spritz. So with your water spritzer, this is the bit I love because as you start spritzing, that amazing butterfly, all those colors start to pop and start to come to life as does the butterfly. I love that, I love that yellow, just how gold that looks. I think it looks amazing. And that butterfly just looks beautiful. So let's just get that like this. So we've got, oh, I love that. I just think that suits this image amazingly. So because we've got that, now, what you can do, those beautiful powders, so with this gorgeous butterfly, because I've got the powders in there, I don't want to break that up. I love how thick and wonderful that sort of yellow gold is. But let's do a little bit of painting with this as well. So what I'm going to do is take, that's actually a dry brush. So I'm taking a dry brush and lifting some of this out. I'm not putting a wet brush into there, just in case. So taking the dry brush, putting it on there, and then, using my water brush 
to start colouring in. So, and it's lovely because the colours will match. Because I've used the, the same colours in the actual uh, background, when I bring them on here, they'll match. So, and I'm going to do this qu a lot quicker because it's live, a lot quicker than I'd like. I mean, this is the kind of thing, as Lessia does, Lessia spends time with this to really maximise those images. And we are halfway through, so I'll be a little bit quicker. So a little bit of yellow and then a little bit of the, the red as well, like this. Again, bringing that in. And I'm just going to give it a squeeze to get the there, to get that run. Look at that red. Doesn't that... Uh, do you know what? These imagery, images, you could use so many colours on these. And they're just, because there's so much detail going on, they're an absolute joy to colour. I'm doing this really quick. Please don't. When, well, you won't. When you get these home, they'll be so, so nice to colour in. Because you can get, look at all that detail. Stunning, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. So I've got the beautiful butterfly. I'll just do that for now. I mean, I'm finding it really difficult to stop, as you can tell. But I will put my paintbrush down. I do this all the time. I will put my paintbrush down, then I absolutely don't. 40% um, of the stock has gone here. If you would love to get hold of your gorgeous, gorgeous butterfly, please check your baskets out. Don't miss out on this image, it's stunning. And I like the fact you've got the two different butterflies. I mean, same but different, so you've got the larger and the smaller. There, okay, I won't faff. I really want to faff, but because these are pearlescent, you see, can you see their shine, the mica? So you've got a stunning mica, which really suits the images. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Now, do you want me... I need to blast this dry. Shall I blast this dry while Paula does a bit of a refresh? Is that the best way of doing it? Because watching me blast this dry is boring. I'd normally let that dry naturally, but just because I want to finish the demonstration. Um, okay, I'm going to remind you of what I've been using. That gorgeous butterfly is what I've been using. That's in the background. That's also the butterfly that I've cut out. So I've actually stamped it again. That's the one I've literally just coloured in and cut out. It's stunning. It's only 11 99 Then you've got the beautiful butterfly kisses at the bottom there as well. Don't miss out on that. It's such a nice stamp. Um, obviously, we've got loads more stamps on. And remember, we have got those gorgeous little cats back um, on extended extended but you will get them they will be delivered to your door and they're absolutely stunning right miss p is ready to take on over i am indeed with of course that amazing beautiful butterfly kisses stamps and now everything that leonie has said it kind of really resonates but is this beautiful image that I think there is some calmness, some serenity from every single one of Lesia's uh, um, amazing stamps. One of the things I love is that what you, we, we are calling it sacred geometry or symbolic geometry, but it's because there is something about it because it's so universal. We all the religions, all kind of believe, sort of have got that sense, the circle and the triangle. And I think because we all can relate about the how beautiful it looks, how pleasing to the eye looks. Leonardo da Vinci as well, that circle, that triangle, that square, those lines. I love the delicate nature of that stitch detail. I love how you can decoupage those wings. I love how the detail you can add it to it. And of course, it is a butterfly which has got in itself so much symbolism. And of course, those butterfly cases, that delicate sentiment that you can use it. And I love the font, very clean and simple, that kind of incorporated in so many things, in so many uh, sentiments. Imagine a kaleidoscope using that amazing, beautiful uh, image of the butterfly. Eleven ninety nine for two stamps that they are absolutely stunning. And they have a uniqueness. I mean, I think her drawings, automatically when I see them I have got that sense of ah oh, and breathe and beauty enjoy the serene beauty of them 763234 is your item number then we are going on to the next bundle here and then of course here we have got the gorgeous butterfly so this one is on its own and then we have got that sentiment you are never alone now you can see that there are three stamps in total so do not forget how much I love you 
that I love forget so that perfect for if you have got uh, of course the cat's images which are now back in the stock of course extended delivery on those ones but the way that you can incorporate them the way that you can mix and match of course personally I just love this image is it a butterfly kind of flying away or it's kind of posing or is it a moth all of them have got beauty I think moths are beautiful it's just the name that is a little bit ugly but the absolute delicate nature of these stems I love Alicia's uh, finished samples as well, how she colors with polychromos or equivalent. I think she uses Prisma, but you know, she uses kind of wax based pencils and you can see them here, then glaze them over. Think about it, maybe you are like me and of course prefer maybe alcohol markers. You can use them as well, it's your choice. But it has got that clean, cleanliness about these lines, this serene beauty, a universal beauty as well. 682108, 13 pounds and 99 pence for this bundle. And then we are moving on to the next bundle. Uh, and this one, oh, look at that. Well, I'm gonna say cicada, cicada, uh, but I'm not sure. Now, this is that, the cicada is that one. Jane, I think, has confirmed that this is a cicada, that, thank goodness, they are not based, they are not, uh, you know, original of the UK, so we can don't have them in Britain, so that's quite good, uh, because they are apparently very large. Uh, now, of course, you are getting, as well, the beetles, the three fellow beetles in here. I think beetles can be, you know, again, ancient Egyptian, it was a good luck, it was a good um, omen as well. They have got something incredibly beautiful about how the light reflects it. And you can recreate that. It has got also a little bit of a steampunk nature to it. I don't know, it kind of feels a little bit mechanical. I don't know why, but it does. Look how you can com make your own composites of these images with the backgrounds, with the geometrics, and incorporate them. Maybe you want to stamp on top or underneath actually, I may say, that wreath that you may have from previous sets. You can mask them, you can create those 3D elements as well. I love the kind of almost like, it's a beautiful recreation of what they are. You know, kind of is the kind of a stylish, very stylish, very, very beautiful uh, way of bringing beetles or, you know, insects into your car creations. Think about as well, if you are doing those boxes, like the boxes of curiosities, incorporating them with all books and so much more. 539181 is your item number, 13 pounds and 99 pence. And of course, uh, I need to tell you that a third of the stock has, uh, two thirds of the stock has already gone. Uh, I was being very conservative there. And then we, oh, this is one of my favorites because again, that geometry, uh, that triangle, inverted triangle with that, you know, the rule of thirds as well, it kind of draws your eye, it kind of brings, and of course that has got a symbolism of with the circle, the infinity, and of course that trigonometry of, of the kind of the center point as well. I love how it brings all the symbolisms, or it can be just a stunning image. Uh, it can be perfect for, uh, you know, like something be wild, and, and what it has to say, I'm free, but also like kind of something about positivity, something uplifting, so bring them in into your, of course, your art journals, and also kind of has got something about, um, how they call it, that the kind of endurance, the endurance of the ins as well, because they kind of last, and the kind of, it, it's something very, I think very powerful in it. 999 is the item number of 153663. And of course, we are talking of uh, photopolymer stamps, clear stamps, so you can stamp and see exactly where you are stamping, that quality for different inks as well. That allows your freedom of techniques that you can use. Now, that sentiment that we mentioned before, be wild and free, there it is, you can see it, and I love the size as well. You have got hello, my friend, love, fall, spring, winter, summer, now, if you are doing uh, maybe planners or art journals, you can incorporate incorporate that the four seasons, and again, that symbolism of the four, number four. You have got everything has be beauty, but not everybody sees it. And that, with those sentiments, with the beetles, with those uh, you know kind of flying insects, that is quite powerful because they have got that beauty, and it's kind of up to us to find it. Yet, of course, the sentiment says it all. And of course, you are also getting in this one, uh, you are getting 11 stamps in total. You make me smile. 
Now, if you want to go for this bundle, or 11 stamps in total, your price is £13.99 plus BNP. 389011 is your item number. And then we are going to actually my favorite stamp. And like, like Leone was saying, now this is the geometric one. This is what we call in symbolic uh, geometry or sacred geometry. The reason being is because kind of if you travel the world all around the world uh, or ancient civilizations ancient religions and you know the religions that we know and you know today they kind of always have the circle the triangle the square that tree of the circle of life with the six petals coming in but yet it is a perfect background it doesn't have to be symbolic if you do not want to do it it's perfect to draw your eye into the points yet it is the most beautiful eye pleasing background with those lines drawing you in into the very center so you can place maybe a butterfly on the top or a flower and then of course the symbolism of the lines is completely it's just beautiful 16 pounds and 99 pence is the price for both of them 630042 is your item number and then we are moving on to um, well i have to say you know we are gonna say the debut oh we only have got very very limited very very extremely limited uh, for the mummy's kitten now i would go for it mummy's kitten has got this adorable scene now that could be for mother's day that could be for sending a, a just somebody who loves their cats uh <coughs> myself uh 11 pounds and 99 pence is the price for this absolutely gorgeous again that beautiful calmness serenity you know inner strength as well that has got and the warmth of that embrace zero nine zero six as four six seven is your item number and then we have got the cat's hearts i'm oh, you know i don't know which one i love about most this one is a cat's heart you have got three intertwining cats of course that's heaven for me uh 12 12 99 is your item number uh, we have got a, a quarter of okay so it was sold out earlier uh, we were brought back in a stock dispatch day from the 27th i think of july now a quarter of that uh, extended delivery extended delivery uh, has al now already gone so be quick by checking out your basket four three nine two Two zero five is your item number. Oh, it's so adorable. Oh, and then we have got another one that sold out early. Oh, don't you want to scratch that belly? Uh, now, does have a perfect day uh, stamp now 40% uh, of the additional stock has already gone so if you want to grab yours do check out your baskets 273953 is your item number 11 pounds and 99 pence oh mom now mommy's kitten has now technically sold out <sighs> Oh, <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Uh, if you have it in your baskets, please do check out, and that way you can get it. Otherwise, you will miss out, and nobody wants to miss out on a kitten, do they? This no. Cruel. That would be cruel. That'd be cruel. Don't <laughs> miss out on kittens. <laughs> um, yes, please check those baskets out. Now, I am just going around the edge of this one um, really slowly um, because I just wanted to put black around the edge because obviously we're going to, I'm going to be 3D in that. I've just done a little extra colour. Um, I'd faff a lot with this. Of course I'd faff a lot with this because I'd want extra depth, I'd want dimension. So what I would be doing, I'd bring the grey in on this one, actually, just to add a little bit of depth into that one. So I bring that in and you can see every, oh look, as soon as you bring a little bit of gray, even that works. You know, even, I mean, don't be don't be shy, don't be shy to bring it around the outside as well. You know, and just bring it into the actual, um, the actual wings because that, it just separates the top and the bottom wing. So you can faff about a lot with these but I'm gonna try and stop because I, I had another demonstration lined up as well okay so what I've got now I can't make my mind up so you're gonna to have to go through the the process with me so I've got a die cut this is one of my die cuts actually I'd already got it die cut but when I was doing this I thought I want a circle for this so rather than going faffing about trying to find other die cuts I already had this one cut now 
I don't know if I want this yet. So as I said, I'm going through a process. Sometimes you you can you think, oh yeah, that'll look good there, and then I change my mind. So um, I'm fully aware that might happen. So there's no way I'm saying yeah, this will look amazing because it might look not. <laughs> so I've it's on um, 3D foam double-sided so and I took the wrong side off initially so that's why it's been a bit hard work to deal with so bobbing it in obviously me being me I went and forgot to get the um to get a sponge to rip this off but I'll just go around I've got a brush oh I miss peas on it she's going for a sponge for me thank you Paula um so just taking off the excess so with this i thought now gold foiling i hope i do like it now while paula's run away to get a sponge because it might be a bit too much but i also thought it might look absolutely beautiful you know with the the gorgeous moths so what you do with this you put on your your foiling obviously work the foiling into that double-sided um tape and then this is actually um a form it's an actual form that i'm using i'm using a brush but this is too harsh when you're using um, flakes if you do use a soft sponge which I know Miss P's on it um, but that doesn't scratch it as much so you want to be careful with that because you will scratch the surface of it or oh, I've nearly done Miss P um, so just going round and it is literally just removing the excess of the the flake but it's also any flake that's um, a, a, Ben do you want to tell Paula it's okay I've done it I've done it um, so I've done it. If you can hear me, I've done it. It's okay. But thank you. So, so rubbing it in and then you're ready. Okay. So, popping that on like so. Now, this is where I decide whether I want to use it or not. So, that's the frame. So, the background, how lovely is that? White embossing powder. Don't it look cool? It just looks so cool. So, where I'm going with this, okay, I want this 3D'd on there. So, that's actually going to be flying. It's funny because you're looking at it that angle. So, that's going to be flying off the page. But I wanted a circle on this. So, it's thank you, Miss P. So, I thought, should I put that circle in? But then I thought, hmm, I don't. Does that look a bit too much, though? The gold? Or. Do I do black? Black. I think black, you see. Yeah, black. Because black is then the answer. I've got my butterfly kisses, you see. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, so, so, because I were going to put the gold under the black, yeah, so a bit of the gold showed. So that were one of my other options. Yeah. Decisions, decisions. But I were chopping this bit off anyway because I didn't want it that big. So taking that bit off, like so. It's funny, sometimes you really feel like you're demonstrating on live TV and have to rush. Other times you go into this space where you're just chilling out and you've forgotten you're on live TV and you're supposed to be rushing. See, I kind of, with a little bit of gold. Yeah. It doesn't I, look. I, I like that. See, it looks better from mm -hmm. the... <laughs> it's not as... Right, OK, so let's do that. So what we're going to do now, this is where it might all go a bit wobbly and not quite sit where I want it to, because uh, that die actually cuts out of your 3D form. So, but this is, this is the little tricky bit, and I can feel my brain wanting to rush a bit. Calm down, brain, it doesn't matter. OK, so pop that on like... Uh, just let it go let it go like so then we'll get some glue see definitely need a black over the top because that just looks a bit meh so with a black over the top that makes it look more yay rather than meh <laughs> you'll have to wait for your glue because obviously it's going on to your your for, um your your gold flakes and sometimes glue doesn't like gold flakes so gold flakes not cornflakes <laughs> I mean, glue and cornflakes, I mean, that's not a heady combination. However, texture. Um, so, it's funny, actually, because I would want to put some on there, but I'm going to let that be. And then I'm putting on, now I've cut this back out. You're looking at this from a funny angle. I'm actually putting it straight over the top of there. From you, it might look as though you can see some of the white. I, I can't. I quite like covering that white up because I think it looks quite interesting. Oh, I like that. It looks quite cold, doesn't it? So mm. taking that off. This I've 
um, stamped on. It's it's sort of a vellum, but it isn't. It's that paper, and I can't remember what it's called. Oh. Now, I know you can see the 3D form under there, but that's not a big deal, because what I'm going to do then is use the wonderful Blanche's um, spools that she uses all the time. Come on. I did put this on ready. Yes, it's warm. So, there we go. Pop that on there. Way too much glue, but that's okay because we're going to be hiding it. So that one there, that one there. These are brilliant for 3D in your projects because they really do give you that 3D element. And then a bit of glue there. And the side profile is also pretty. Yes. Yes, it is. It's prettier than 3D foam, exactly. isn't it? Exactly. I don't know if you can hear Miss P, but she said the side profile, yeah, you can. But it does, it looks really nice to the little cocks. See, so you can just underneath see your gorgeous butterfly, but then obviously you can see the, um, the one on top. And then we've got our butterfly kisses, which I am going to put at the bottom like that, which I quite like. Not sure about the black now. I might have changed my mind. I don't ever like it, but it's tough. It's tough. <laughs> so <laughs> this is where I found. So normally in real life, what I'd then do is start faffing with that. So I'd probably put, I'd decide if I liked it. If I didn't like it, I'd actually take it off because I I would. But I'd, I'm going to let it go for now. What I might do is knock that black back a bit with a little bit of gold, um, with a bit of gold texture paste. You know, so the black isn't quite as black so knock that back a bit with this i would absolutely put a glaze on it i'm not putting a glaze on it because of time because i know we haven't got time but look at the colors i mean it suits colors can you see the white as well the white embossing powder you can also see the butterfly all the different layers of the butterfly so it looks really interesting when you do see it from different angles and that's why i've put that one there so yeah, it looks interesting from another angle because that's how you're going to see it. It's going to be that 3D element, uh, which I'm really chuffed with. I like them frames as well. I think they look fabulous. Right, shall I be quick and try and do another one? Nine minutes. So what I am going to do, look at that big piece of flake. Oh, you can't let that go, can you? Pop that in the box. There you go. <laughs> um, okay, so precious so what i've got i've got um hair um okay so i'm going to use the beetle now obviously with this it's building up again so let's take our wonderful beetle i'm using um one of my pages i've actually taken a page out my art journal which i always forget to do and i instead i like struggle but i took my page out um, it had loads of stuff on it so i've just gessoed over the top of it so it's uh, ready to go so i'm going to start building up so what i'm going to do i'm going to start stamping um i'm not using my stamping platform because of the size i don't think i will it go in my stamping platform oh it will let's use the stamping platform okay take that one out i do like i i'm a fan now i'm a massive fan now took a while right i've already inked this up so that's a bit silly i'm gonna get rid of ink that's silly isn't it get rid of the ink girl or else right what i want to do with this i want to put my other bugs on so i don't want him completely central so i'm having him, in, him at the side because you see i want to have his little mates coming in as well Aww. that's my sort of plan or do i want one at either side mm. or do i want them um, don't know yet <sighs> faffity faff okay so let's just stamp see this is my problem when i'm doing things like this i don't plan it and it sort of evolves mm, bugs that, that that works but that when you're um when you demonstrate on tv that can be a problem can't it having things evolve right look at that straight away beautiful image absolutely fantastic the wonderful thing about this of course is the fact that you've got all your other stamps that will match and yeah i am a seriously massive fan of that stamp it is beautiful so i've got that one now what i am going to do with this just turn that off and put it somewhere safe um is use some of my gorgeous um 
stays on so I want to use different colours with this one now that one you want it to run like that because the the natural sort of flow of the the image however the way we're running with this no I am I am gonna let it flow like that which means let's take that out because it just works like that doesn't it like visually it it works like that so if you've got that let's get our little stamping platform and again as i explained in the last hour but just in case you missed it if you pop your your clean um acrylic block on a piece of black card you'll be able to line that stamp up so because you've got your points you can line it up which helps you so if you do want to get this um nice and symmetrical you've got that ability so use your your acrylic block so if you're not using stamping platform your acrylic block will work beautiful anyway with this so I'm going in. I didn't want um, black ink to do black ink as well with this because I thought it's going to look really interesting in different colours. So again, I'm going point to point so I can see the end of that triangle there. So I want to use, now it's up to you, do you want the circle in there or, yeah, I like that. So I'm going point to point like so. Hover over the top until you're you're happy where you're going and look at that design look how detailed that is that fine line isn't that exquisite so what is above is below what's that saying as is above is below i think yeah. it is yeah. it's that's yeah. another one as is yeah. above as oh, what it anyway someone else will know someone will email in so, oh, yeah. uh, Loads of people have been emailing in. Someone will know that one as well. So it, what is it? Is it as as it is above, as it's below? It's something like that. Yeah, yeah they're on the it. They're on it. The it's something like that. Oh, oh. I messed that. I've, that one, I've, I've th wobbled a bit, but it don't matter. If, if you wobble a bit, you can make that okay. So don't panic about that. Now, I'm just going to move on to this one. As above, so below. Yeah, that's the one. And then we're putting that. And I think, is that a pagan one, that one? As above, so below. Okay. And then we're going to pop, let's have a C. Let's have a C. So I kind of want this one to extend out, but I don't know if I do. Let's have a C what the bugs look like if I just bring the bugs on. Four minutes. Do you know what? I like that as it is. I think that looks beautiful. Okay, so let's just stop. Let's just stop because I really very much like that, indeed, as is. Sometimes you can get a bit carried away, can't you? You can put on all these details, all these elements, when actually it just looks really nice as it is. Now, because when I just saw this, because I, it were a dirty page, it smeared some of the ink underneath it, which I really, really love, because it gives it a little bit of colour. So, pulling some of that colour out, so because I've just saw this, when you go on now with your pens, so you know how I was saying, don't worry if you mess up your lines like this, because now, because I've just saw this, I can get this to move beautifully. So, I'll pop that on. And this is lovely because any of your, your mistakes that you've made, then you can just blend it out so it looks like it were meant to be anyway. See? So start colouring it in. These images are beautiful for colouring because you, you've got a lot of leeway with these. You've got a lot of different lines to follow which look absolutely sensational. Oh, I've coloured that square in, haven't I? So just popping that in like that. So just going around the edges, I know I'm not going to... What? How much time have I got? Two and a half minutes. OK. I'd spend a little bit of time colouring this. I'd absolutely go in with one of... Hold on, don't do that. Right, quick, 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 before we run out of time. Quick, 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 quick. Where's my sentiment? There you are. This one this sentiment because this is the book sentiment so it's everything everything has beauty so just inking that one up and this one is gonna sit about there so everything has beauty but not everyone sees it now I very much like that 
Hello. On, isn't that nice? Lovely. Just on a page. And then I have already cut that out. So if I wanted to, I could um, 3D that onto it, which I might do, I might not do, but I'm proper happy with that. Just needs a little bit of colouring in. Okay, please check your baskets out. I'm just going to stand and colour in now. Um, oh, I've got a minute and a half, going to do loads of colouring in. Um, please check your baskets out. Everything is gorgeous. Uh, do remember, so what um is there anything i need to remind them is there anything dodgy a dodgy <laughs> <laughs> i meant in stock <laughs> okay so so we've still got we've still got some of the goodies in stock on the extended extended um the most popular that you do need to go for cicada. are cicada. cicada cicada that i can't get right either uh the beautiful cicada that one has been really busy in fact three quarters of the stock has gone how have the the cats how have the cats are they gone oh they've put cats okay Okay, you've still got some of the cats, so don't miss out on them. And people have been emailing in. What have they been emailing in about cicadas? Yay! So, in France, they're massive and they make loads of noise. Is it really interesting why I haven't seen one in real life? I'm quite disappointed. I need a holiday so I can go and look for cicadas. Um, thank you ever so much for emailing in. It's always lovely, lovely to have your company. Thank you, Miss P. Thank you. And she says, thank you, Miss P. We'll, of course, be joining you for the rest of the day. I've got my head down colouring in. I do apologise. Sauce, not sauce. Um, thank you ever so much. And let's say thank you ever so much. Have a wonderful birthday. And I adore your images. You're very clever. Thank you, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Well, after the break, Fiona is back for with happy hour deals. Then there's Fabric Freedom One Day Special. Of course, Essentials Final Look at those ones. And then Crafting with Clarity. Oh, that was difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp Limited. We're well known in the industry for designing and manufacturing top quality award-winning craft products. As with all craft projects, you need a good starting place, a great stamp, a top quality stencil, and in recent times, we've developed the Groovy Parchment Art System so that your line art is perfect on parchment. Another exciting development to come from the marriage between Parchment and our stamp company is the fabulous designer papers and now the designer parchment. There is nothing like it. Each groovy plate is precision etched and by simply getting in the groove with a stylus you can easily transfer great designs onto parchment. Groovy is a modular system. The plates complement each other and work beautifully together. They are packed with elements and allow you to build your own original artwork. Whether you're a novice or a traditional parcher, you will love these plates. And for me personally, having beautiful line art is what motivated me to want to learn traditional parchment skills. So why not get in the groove with us here on the channel? I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. 
Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us, it gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint, and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on Achanda because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achanda. Good afternoon. Let's have a happy hippity hoppity happy hour. Yes, I've got lots of uh, bargains galore that will only last for this hour and this hour only at the reduced prices. So lots of things to fill your stash with. Some are a bit more reduced in numbers, shall I say, so you need to get in there quick. So if you want to shop ahead on the web, please feel free. Lovely to be with you. And we'll have a little look at some day service because that's always well worth a reminder because you sometimes forget and it gets launched again on uh, Sunday as well, revamped as it were. Let's have a little look on the website so we can shop ahead. So we've got the craft masking tape we're going to start with. We've got the fantastic tape dispenser. Oh, now, I haven't got my wooden, wooden buttons with you, but they're here, as in you have to look at the slide. But I have got a brilliant offer on 99 stamps, yeah. So we don't know. There's a mystery surrounding these. It's uh, one for Midsummer Murders or... Um, Murder She Wrote. We don't know what happened to that. It's somewhere, but you, you can definitely have them. Uh, the glitter card is non-shed and it's gorgeous. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, now some of the seven-day savers there as well. Oh, and I do want to mention the Craft Along. That was postponed, or rather, we had to put a hold on it in April. So it's going to be August the 26th. 26th, no, August 16th, see, making it up. August the 16th. So what's going to happen in, uh, with, in uh, April, Chocolate Baroque, uh, with the lovely Leslie. Uh, but uh, it's now going to be in August. We'll tell you more about that as well. Shall we see the clock? Because time is ticking. So that is the time we have got to uh, get all of these bargains. Otherwise, for instance, this uh, masking tape will go back up to the price of £17.98. At the moment, it's £9.98. It's two and a half inches wide and you're getting six rolls masking tape. So have you been home decorating during the lockdown? Yeah, most people have. I'd say that half the country has at least had the paintbrush out. That's a good, I like a good two and a half inches. Yeah, that's good, you see. You need it a bit wider, don't you? Because if it's just like a centimetre thick, that's no good, especially if you're going over the skirts or you want to get that nice straight line between the walls or around the door edges or around the windows because you don't want to paint your windows um, and your, your, your PVC or anything like that. So that's a good thickness. And the thing about cheap, really cheap masking tape, you know, the nasty stuff, when you're peeling it, it all tears and it starts in shreds, you know. So this is really lovely quality, uh, super, super strong. Oh, it's that wonderful superstar of uh, Hollywood, Walter Strong. Walter Strong, I know. I wish there was a person called Walter Strong. Um, we know we looked into this the last time I was wittering on about it, Walter Strong. I want someone to be called Walter Strong. It's such a good name. So super, super quality. And the good news is we're getting six rolls. If you're like me, you've always got a stash of the masking tape, even if you're not using it right now, in the garage. Because if you'd had that pre-lockdown and then when everything was shopped, you know, all those shops were shut, then you, you got your masking tape to hand. So have a look around now. Have you been promising to do that uh, that lounge? 
Has that corridor seen better days? Mm, the hallway. I did the hallway this weekend, the other day, yeah. But I ran out of paint, so I've just got to the bottom, I know. And then, and then we went to a certain shop, but the queues, because it was the weekend. Yeah, the queues. Get my hint there. Uh, but huh, I'm not going to lose two hours of my life waiting in a queue. No way. So the whole, the whole way will just carry on as it is. But you need your masking tape. So brilliant deal. £9.98. We are getting six of those. 521749. Bargain. Practically half price. Now, I know a lot of you have your lovely uh, dies. You need storage. These are superb because you can put your stamps with it as well, should you desire to. Because these are the Oakwood. Lovely Oakwood. Oh, yeah, brilliant. And we have got the 10. Oh, I know, we're spoiling you. 10 lovely leaves in there. And the magnetic sheets, as you can see, are inside so they slide in and out and you can actually put your stamps on one side you've got the magnetic side there as well uh, should you so desire and it's nice because they're, they're that little bit bigger lovely strong and robust because you don't want these tearing out of those uh, ring binders and lovely and deep so that when you do start to stack with all your dies there you've got that depth and also a bit of depth around here so if you have got any sort of you know, card or names or, you know, anything sticking out. You've got a bit of room, a bit of leverage there. And we're not just doing one, we're doing two for the price of £24.98. So you will get 10, uh, 20 sheets, 20 sheets in total. And it's also got your handy carry case handle there and a little insert there as well. So you can put, you can actually store them by name. You know, if you've got your Crafts 2 dies, uh, if you've got, you know, another set of dies, if you do go and buy brand name. So, uh, yeah, two of those saving you nine pounds. Are you looking for a bit more die storage? Perfect. You're doing your workshops. You like to carry them away. Maybe you've got them in trays at home. You just think for a bit more portability for you when you're away or on your travels or doing workshops. Twenty four pounds, ninety eight, eight, nine, two, two, seven, two. Only that price, though, for this hour, if you've never shopped with us here at the Happy Hour deal. Now, I personally think this next one is the deal of the hour because you are getting, are you ready? A whopping 99 stamps. These are personal impressions. These are 10 stamp sets and they're animals and sentiments. And you get 99 in total. I remember these because I remember the frog. I can't remember who was on with me, obviously, demonstrating, but I do remember a lot of these. And there's some great sentiments in there. One is my favourite coming up. Uh, oh, it's just, yeah, it's hard to see, but there it is. I'm going to lift it up. I can't bear not seeing you on your special day. Because that's happened a lot recently, hasn't it? You know, with people not being able to visit people for their birthday or christening or grandparents not being able, people not being able to see each other. I thought that was so apt. I love those little balloons with the wiggles. So, so much versatility. You've got the frog there. You've got the frog faces, the lovely sentiment. You've got the cat there and the cupcakes. And you can see some of the examples of the cards that were made. Um, the teddy bear, yeah, there, with the, the buzzy beehive there. Gorgeous loads loads they're sending you a big bear hug lots of love 99 stamps and just look at that saving 37 pound saving i mean that's why it's the deal of the hour i mean they're all great deals but 13 pounds 89 yeah someone's got to do the maths on this 99 stamps 13 pounds 89 you're save well you're saving 37 pounds so it should be 50 pounds 89 pence it's working out at 14 pence per stamp. And if the sentiments, I mean, oh, £1.38, we have £1.39 a set because it's uh, 10 sets. Look at all of those. Niece, goddaughter. I love that because I find goddaughter, godson cards really hard. Cousin, yeah, really difficult. Dad, daughter, mom, brother, sister, step. That's a brilliant one. Let me lift that one up for you. Husband, wife, in law, nanny in law. They say that's good, isn't it? Nanny-in-law. So it's not your mom, but it's the nanny-in-law, isn't it? Grandma-in-law. I like that. Yeah, no, you don't. They're not necessarily related to you, but they're almost like they're part of the family, and you just think, oh, I wish there was a card for them. Yeah. On your... Mm. Mm -hmm. I like that. That's worth it for thirteen eighty nine myself. I uh, love the little paw print confetti there as well, or the bunting. Could be anything. And then loads of sentiments there as we're coming up to as well to mix in with that. Made by, congratulations, to personalise. Uh, should we roll that one up so you can see the bottom there? Love and kisses on your special day. Many happy returns. Love and hugs. Thinking of you. I mean, you've got all the, just those two, just those two alone. You've got all the machinations there, haven't you? I think they're worth £13.89, but you're getting another eight sets. 
What did we work out? 14 pence a stamp. Did we work that out? £13.89, but only for this hour. So uh, a brilliant, brilliant bargain in the happy hour. One seven six five nine seven. And what's more, they make beautiful cards. Good quality as well. Fantastic personal ex impressions there. All right, then. So for some reason, Molly was having a great fun with this earlier. The, 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 uh, the fantastic tape gun. Yeah, it's big, isn't it? You almost want to, if anybody sort of tried to harm you, you'd be like, I've got my gun. <laughs> so, you just done, you kept two cartridges with these for your super fun, super roller, fantastic. See what they did with the name. So, you see there, you just push that off there. Just push it off. Don't make a meal of it like I'm doing. And then, obviously, then you've got your tape bend dispenser. And then, can you see that little bit there? You just lift that up. And then that allows you to replace the cartridge big so there's a lot on there you do get the extra cartridge. i mean do we know the measuring length of what's on the cartridge i mean 70 on one just on one 75 meters oh so one of one of the tapes is repositional and then one's permanent oh 75 meters fantastic so they just slide in and out uh, you just very simply just pop pop them in and out like that close it up bish bosh jobs are good and you got that on the top bish bosh bosh yeah um yeah brilliant pop that the right way around so there's your extra cartridge so one will be in it inserted in it so you've got the repositional and you've got the permanent one it's gonna last a long 75 meters on each roll is that right longer and stronger 9.99 and it's nice, it's got a good grip on it. And because, you know, that nose is sort of further down, you know, you're not scraping your hand. Not that you would be, but it's not tiny, it's not diddy. You can get a firm grip, you can apply that over and over again. It's really sort of ergonomic in terms of comfort as well. 9.99537487. And the thing is with that, you kind of know, it's not that when you've got lots of things on the desk, where did, where did I put that glue? Aha! It's there, it's in your face, isn't it? Yeah, I love that. I think that's a bargain as well. Uh, okay, moving on. We are, yeah, the lovely Julie Dickies. Uh, we have got some fantastic, fantastic stamps for you now. And dies, yeah. Uh, we've got design layers, frames, and banners, rectangle dies, and the flora and blossom tape, yeah. Um, it is, that's lovely, like a little lace scalloped edge there. And then the pennants, they're almost like the tags, as it were, yeah. And then uh, we've got the floral blossom from, from Julie as well. And I'm going to show you some of um, her designs here. This has been embossed with the white. How pretty is that in the centre there, that lovely stamp? Isn't that gorgeous? And then this is using one of the frames, the outer frame there. And again, the stamp in the middle, look at that, just colouring it in. And then a little bit of zhuzh in the middle, a little bit of glitter. Mm, yeah. And then that's using the sort of the little flag pennants as well. Love that little detail that Julie's put in there of the actual hearts. That's really cute, isn't it? And again, look at that in the card. We've got some lovely glitter card coming up on the show. There's your blossom stamps again. So many different ways. Really, really pretty. And of course, those lovely dies. Very, very useful. Gorgeous. Love these. And there's the that's the little single one in Julie's stamp set that's just the little single ones create a little collage oh upside down Fiona well done there we go beautiful and there you see you've got your handmade on the back there that's why you need those other set of stamps uh 40 percent gone 10 pounds 98 you get both of those for those gorgeous Julie Hickey designs 10 pounds 98 149 589 and if you love Julie stay with me because I've got some another another set of pretty stamps for you in the happy hour deals indeed indeed so we have got our pr i've got to show you this one this pretty this first one um this pretty butterfly can you see those and then the happy birthday this card i thought was genius because it's just made out of those two stamps there at the bottom there Ta -da! isn't that lovely but the butterfly itself as you can see is gorgeous very pretty again and that's using that rectangular die that we just had in the last set um yeah, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous there. And then if we move to the centre, we've got uh, that, that pretty posy there, um, circular there as well. If I just show you another example, that, that is gorgeous. Look at that. Happy anniversary. Isn't that, isn't that come out beautiful? Because they've used it upside down and then coloured it in. So they're just using it upside down there. That's so, 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 so pretty. And then the other stamps with the butterflies as well. So many pretty samples. Oh, love me upside down, don't I? I do. 
Love a bit upside down. And let's see if I've got one for this N one here. Uh, I've got that posy and the, the foliage there. Oh, here we go. There we go. And I've also got another pretty one of that centerpiece. So there we go. That's the foliage. Create that lovely star sort of shape in the middle there. Isn't that pretty? And there's that middle stamp we talked about. Oh, upside down again. Well done for you. Gorgeous. <laughs> Eleven. I was right the first time round. Ah, everything's everything's topsy turvy. Uh, Eleven pounds ninety-seven. You're saving six pounds fifty on all of these beautiful stamps, the butterflies and the ditzies. Uh, one three zero four one four. But those savings are only until four o'clock. Yeah. Ah, now the next one is always busy. Please, it's on a first come first served basis. Already. 30, did I hear right, percent gone? Yeah, this is one of the more um, limited in terms of um, huge, huge quantities we haven't got. So, because it's been so popular. And you can see why, because it's Jelly Bean Crafts card. A range of 250 GSM to 275. And, oh, we've got such a lovely selection. Re I really like this one. You think, it's, you think it's textured, but it's a very faint check. Can you see that? So elegant. You almost think it's going to be like a linen card. Yeah. That reminds you of... Um, ticking is this called barcodes is it oh well i like that the crisscross now on the back they are they are plain but uh gorgeous quality aren't they and then a lovely cream one there this actually the more white one isn't there but this is one and it's got a lovely texture on it can you see that oh is it there sort of grayish that's it there hidden there but if i hold it that way around you can see the texture Let's see if i can get that texture there for you can you see that at home it's got a lovely texture on it. It's all beautiful shades of grey. Oh, yeah. How many shades have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You were already one step ahead of me, weren't you? Uh, eight shades of grey there. A hundred sheets, half the stock's gone. This is one of the more limited, uh, I should say, in terms of quantity on the hour. So I can't see this one personally last until the end of the hour. So please, if that's something you love, and there's no, there's every reason why you should, because you're getting 100 sheets in total for 14.99, saving you 18 pounds. It's one of those ones, put it in your stash. It's a corker, isn't it? Gorgeous quality as well. Then please jump on that now and check out your baskets, because I haven't got huge quantities. 262892. Just like to give you the heads up on that one. Okay, ah, uh, the lovely Mr. Lockwood Crafts too, yes. Always, always a saving and always elegance and great functionality, haven't you got? So here we have the innovation of both the lovely embossing folder with the corresponding dies. There we go. You know I'm in the studio when everything falls down. Yeah, there's our butterfly, one in flight, just the outline there and then the inside. And then we've got that very pretty corresponding um, beautiful embossing folder there. Yeah, you see the butterfly there at the top and the rose there, and they've got another butterfly at the bottom there. This one's the butterfly dreams. So if I just turn that around, you can see that more clearly in terms of the design. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I mean, that in itself for $9.99 is a bargain. I'm sure you agree. Your dies and your embossing folder, but then you also get this very ornate and very pretty uh, bird cage with your birdies, three birdies there as well. So different sized cages there. And there on the back, there you can see it more clearly. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's nine ninety nine. Not for you're not choosing which one you want. The good news is, in the happy hour deals, you're getting both. I I, I love these because th there's a card ready to go straight away. You've got the embossing and then you've got the dies and then yeah, beautiful. Oh, quick update as well on the grey card. It's now gone. Oh, I'm sorry. I did try to warn everybody. It has gone. But well done. A great if you were quick off the mark there. And well done if you got that. Don't forget to check out your basket. So that one is done. But very quickly back to this one. $9.99. So don't miss out uh, on the crafts to lovely embossing folders and dies. There we go. Uh, glitter card now. So if you that one went, okay. This is gorgeous quality as well. Non-shed. Oh, straight over to this like a magpie. Woof. Look at that. Oh, I'm loving it. Gorgeous. 210 GSM non shed. Mm, beautiful. And then that weren't good enough. Oh, hello, glitter ball. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, I love it. I think it's fantastic, isn't it? And we're getting 40 sheets in total, 10 of each design. So that's number two. And then, ooh, this is my favourite. Triangular patterned well actually they're both trying to get a pattern because there's this one as well hold on it so you decide that's i don't know there's you see that's the other one 
They're the same. They're the same, Fiona. Oh, see, where's my third one? Forty, ten of each, did we say? Well, there's, I've only got three designs on my table. Oh, one's got a brushed finish. Oh, yes, I see now. Thank you, Mike. Uh, Moles, thank you, darling. Thank you, Maggie Moles. Maggie Molly Mo. There we go. Now, let's show you the difference. This is the brush finish. I haven't spotted that. Can you see that? So if I show you the glitter, can you see one is more brushed? Does that make sense? You will see it. That's more dotty silver, dotty sparks, and that definitely has a linear brushed lines coming down it. It's clearer in the flesh. But there is a palpable difference when you look at it, and it's beautiful. Take my word for it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so this is 40 of those. I'm going to try and resurrect this again. Such lovely quality. It's beautiful. I can see you using that loads, to be honest. Love, love, love those. Uh, 11 99 so don't miss out again. Brilliant jelly bean as well. 237118. I've got buttons to show you. I'm sorry I've got them here on the desk. This is, like I said, a crime for murder she wrote or something. We don't know where it's gone. Uh, wooden buttons and also faux suede and leather sort of strips, almost like laces. 212 pieces. I mean, for your card making, for your upholstery, 30 of your wooden button packs, which are pretty to decorate with, and then three of the suede and leather. Can you see it at the top, at the top right-hand corner? Well, your left. Is it your right-hand corner? Yeah, your right-hand corner. <laughs> your right-hand corner there. Yeah, and all lovely beiges and browns and russet colours there as well. 12.99, 212 pieces. 946.005. The mystery is, where do they go? You see, Mole says she saw them in a box. We think Dan's hidden them. He's having a private button stash somewhere. All I can say is, haley has got buttons on the desk today. I'm surprised they're even still there with that Dan around. The button sniffer. Do you know what I mean? Right. Oh, now I want to introduce some seven-day savers. They get introduced on a Sunday. They get changed at 8 a.m. in the morning. They're always great bargains. And again, a bit like the happy hour. Sometimes the quantity can go in before the week lasts. So um, there's something that catches your eye. Act quickly. Oh, now you see my favorite cutler, A4 card. Again, oh, look, you see. You nearly got a car, that colour, my director said. Oh, I love yellow. Trouble it, well, I don't know if it's some, such a thing now. We used to have, a, when I was a kid, a yellow cortina, and it always attracted the flies. But I don't think there's as many midges and flies as there used to be. Well, there is when I wear my yellow cardi. Yeah, they always descend on me, but anyway. So, yeah, oh, I, I love that colour. You should have bought it, Molly. You should have bought it. Ah, oh, she, she got bumped. Uh, not bumped, as in physically, but... Uh, as in somebody else got there. So yellow, turquoise, pale blue, bit of everything really, isn't there? Colours, oh, now that's a shiny one. Colours may vary, textures well, may vary a bit, GSMs may vary a little bit. Oh, 160 to 320, just let I me mean, look at these colours. Hey? <laughs> uh, gorgeous, loads. How much have we got? We've got two. 100 sheets from 160 to 320 GSM. 9 Get out of town. What's that all about? It cost me 9.99 to send that in the post. Look at the weight of it. Look at the heft there. Oh my, we're five pence a sheet. That's a great one, isn't it? Because you have that in your stash and you're just like, oh, I'm just looking for that colour there. Hello, my crafty little stash that I got that day for 9.99. Saved myself a whopping 50 pounds. I bet you I've got just the colour in there. And you have a little sift through and you go, there it is. That candy pink is exactly what I was looking for. Beautiful. Yeah, all sorts in their craft card. Anyway, it'll vary, it'll vary, but you're going to get a whopping uh, 9 99s worth of 200 sheets, saving you 50 pounds. That's a great seven day saving. I'm surprised we're even still talking about it here on Thursday. 095094. It's Wednesday, is it? Oh. I really don't know what's going on anymore, do I? 412. I'm, I'm holding things upside down. I don't know what day it is. Do you know what? I'm spending too much time homeschooling? Walther. I love Walther Strong. It's a show. I'm going to change my name on equity to Walther Strong. I've decided. It's my new equity name. Uh, it's such a good name. There should be an actor out there called Walther Strong. You'd give him the audition, wouldn't you? Even if you didn't know who he was. Even if you didn't look at his show, you'd go, let's get Walther in. Um, 
There's a man, you, that's a name you can trust. That's a man who gets things done, isn't it, old Walter? He holds things together, literally, yeah. Did you see what my producer did there? This, this is your permanent jumbo reel. It's got to be jumbo with Walter, isn't it? Reel of permanent foam tape. One centimetre in width, but 40 metres in length. You know what I'm saying. £9.99, £9 saving. £18.99 normally, but a big, big saving on that one. 893518 And great, because obviously, as you're tearing your foam tape, you can create the lengths and sizes you want. So that's the joy of having that large, large reel when you want to get the long pieces on your A4 card or you just need the tiniest bit. You're not restricted to ones that are already cut up. So uh, for bigger projects, perfect, because you can just make that fit the size you want. 9 99 But only for this hour, because come... Uh, it is Wednesday, Fiona. Uh, come four o'clock, it, yeah, it'll change over, won't it? This is the happy hour deal. Now, I mentioned Leslie, and I mentioned Chocolate Baroque, and the craft line that we were going to have in April that got postponed, obviously. Now there is time for you to get your craft along gear, to craft along with Leslie and David. And uh, we've got uh, a video here to explain all about it, and then we'll talk more about the craft along in August. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques? By watching and crafting along with your favourite Hachanda guest demonstrators, all from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are very excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. Each month we will be bringing you a brand new kit that you can purchase on the day of each show. Or if you pre-order your kit, not only will you receive a £10 discount, but also £5 off a purchase of £20 or more of any additional products featured within our Craft Along shows. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. So here is some examples of what you can make. So we have our wooden plaque and we have our home letters or, or, or and our love letters. You'd get both. So you get the love letters and the home letters and then you decide because you get one plaque for the wooden one, uh, which one you want to do. But then of course you've got the, the letters for something else, another project. And then you're also getting, so there you go, if, that, if we have a look at that still, we'll see exactly. You get the home and the love letters, you get the wooden plaque, you get the stamp set, uh, masking tissue, oh, the clingling, um, that, that lovely sort of, uh, the glue, so you're ready to go straight away. The, 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 the dictionary um, papers in there as well. Oh, love a bit of clingling, your masking tissue. And there's the stamps, which I'll show you on another plaque that I've got. And then you've got that frame as well. So you have this almost like a ceramic na a ceramic plaque, I'd call it, and a wooden plaque as well. And there you've got your, your ink stamp as well. So if I just show you those stamps on here, because you only get one of the ceramic, but it's already, it's already got the little um, things there to hook onto wherever you want to in terms of your home decor. So you can see those stamps in action there. And then, of course, they're to use for other projects. And then if I show you the wooden frame here, so you do get that lovely paper in there as well and the stamps as well. So lots there to be used afterwards, but three gorgeous projects straight away to be made. Now, if I remember correctly, Leslie said the stamps alone are worth for about £48. So the stamps themselves that you can see on overlaying the letters on the plaques and on the actual ceramic plaque. So the actual craft along and then you get the extra bits uh, is only like another nine pounds more, isn't it? Because it's £57.90, 490819, saving uh, £25. And don't forget, if you buy now, you'll get another £5 off then to spend in the craft along uh, brand brand as well uh, between now and then. Is that right? Uh, Chocolate Baroque. So the date is the 16th of August. 
2 till 4 o'clock in the afternoon and it's going to be Leslie with her husband David. So that'll be gorgeous. I've seen David craft before but obviously he's been sucked into doing the lovely crafting there with our Leslie while they've been in their little bubble. Uh, so yeah, I would really look forward to that on the 16th, 2 till 4 in the afternoon. Plenty of time for that to get to you in the meantime and if you know it's always quality and gorgeousness when it's Leslie and Chocolate Baroque anyway. So uh, just give you there the heads up there now. Should we have a reminder of what's happening with the clock? Uh, where are we? Are we about halfway through? We must be. We've already had a sellout in the hour as well. We'll take you through everything in case you've missed it again. Uh, 31 minutes halfway through the show, one sellout already. Uh, so I don't know where the time goes. Sometimes I'm just here, yeah, I'm going to chat to myself with you, obviously, and not, well, hopefully not alone. Um, but we've got a great evening lineup for you as well. We're going to launch the Studio Light One Day special with the lovely Lou as well. That our pal will be doing that, and I'll get the chance to meet Lou again later. So I'm looking forward to that. So lots still to see, and our lovely Haley will be back again. But let's remind ourselves of the masking tape because you need good quality and there's a good good 50 meters on each roll you know sometimes you get that quality. it's half that size isn't it and you do need that thickness so it goes over you know your, the edge of your doors your windows if you're doing your skirts you know you need a good bit of thickness to go on either side of that and you don't want it all tearing and scrapping about because that's what happens when you buy the cheap masking tape i can't stand that I did buy cheap once, a long time ago, never did again, because that's what happened. It all peeled up the side and this out, and you end up just, oh, chucking it. It was just pointless, pointless. Drove me around the twist. So, gorgeous quality, of course, because this is, are you ready? Walter Strong. We know we can trust in the name. And uh, you've got 50 metres on each. So, three, well, 600, no, 300, 600, 600, yeah, 150, 600 metres altogether. Oh, was I? Oh, well, if I buy two, I'll get 600, do I? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, me and the maths and the Vordermans today. 150, 150 only makes 300 Fiona. She's clearly buying two because I'm saving eight pounds. I might as well. Let's have 12 rolls. Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, nine pounds, 98, five, two, one, seven, four, nine. It's a good job of the instructions are there on the screen. It's just one of them days, isn't it? That's clearly left my brain in Yorkshire. I do apologise, everybody. Uh, I'll have a strong cup of coffee when I'm off. Shall I do that? Wolf of Strong. I need a Wolf of Strong coffee, don't I? I'd buy that coffee. Wolf, if you're listening, start making some coffee beans. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just love the name. It's a good name, isn't it? Wolf of Strong. Anyway, uh, magnetic sheets and storage from the quality name of Oakwood. We know it. We love it. And we get 10 uh of the individual inserts with the magnetic sheets inside so of course because it's lovely and deep as well on your ring binder we can we can put our stamps on one side if we wanted to or on our, our, our obviously our dies on the other uh plenty of room there for the storage to lift and add to lots of extra room around the outside as well so, so we're all just cramming them in as it were and uh just really nice and strong durable uh, plastic pockets there as well because you can see that from there so that so it doesn't tear around the uh, puncture hole there just zips up nice and tidy you've got the handle there for the carry case you've got the tidy little inset there so you can label them and they're good to go perfect if you do your workshops if you do teaching if you like to travel on the go and just have a few you know because you've got everything at home in your trays or envelopes everybody's got their different storage solutions but you know when you're on the go moving just stacking it up nice and neatly these are fantastic and it's a great offer 24 pounds and 98 you're saving nine pounds and you're getting two sets of 20 magnetic sheets in total 892 272. Now, my deal of the entire hour has got to be 100 stamps, well, 99 stamps, okay, uh, for, for, for a phenomenal saving. Uh, 99 stamps for £13.89. I mean, that is fantastic. This is your personal impressions, 10 stamps, animals and sentiments. So we've got something for everyone. We've got the kitty cat with the fish bones and the sentiments there as well. Uh, make a perfect day. Enjoy your day. Uh, we've got the frog. He's gone fishing. Someday your prince will come. Have an unforgettable day. They're so cute, aren't they? They're just lovely. Uh, love the doggy paw confetti there. Uh, have, what's that say? Have a what? Have a tail wagging time. Ha have a furry happy birthday just for just for you uh yeah they're just lovely every sentiment you need matching every you know 
cousin, goddaughter, nanny, this is what we were saying, stepsister-in-law, you know, you've got it there, which I, which I love. Yeah, because sometimes, you know, they're kind of, you treat them like an in-law, but they're not. Godson, godmother, godfather, I love that. Maybe someone is the Don in your house. Godfather, godfather. Um, and then we've got more fantastic sentiments, sending lots of kisses just for you. Look, bedtime there, he's got a bone of you. Uh, and then, uh, you see, he's got, his little, he's got his little hat on there. Sometimes a little slightly wee willy winkle. Wee willy winky. I can't bear not seeing you on your special day. There's loads of people we could have sent that to. A little bear to show I care. Oh. So many good ones in here. Uh, there we go. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. Where have we got down here? Oh, yeah. Froggy, frog, frog, frog. Love that. Love those. Oh, froggy, frog there. I've kicked over there. And then if we go across, we've got a cat and a cupcake. Love the little mouse coming out the hole. Of all the stamps, I picked the smallest, but I like that one. And then, of course, our bear and our bees. Yeah, lovely little beehive. Gorgeous, because it's not all just because you can use those individually, of course, from the way they are set. So it's not, not one giant stamp, obviously, as you know, that you've got to use like that. So lots of lovely individual elements there. I can see um, so much versatility with, so much fun with. And it's a great price. We worked it out. It works out at 14 pence a stamp. I mean, you just think those sentiments with those um, titles in terms of who you're sending it to. There you go. I mean, that's, that's well worth the money, isn't it, for £13.89? One seven six five nine seven. 99 stamps saving you 37 pounds it's a winner it's a winner just if you start crafting now it's a winner uh fantastic sturdy you're never going to lose it it's always going to be your hand we've got the repositional tape cartridge in there and we've got the permanent tape cartridge in there this is your fantastic dispenser 9.99 so you just lift that off and then you open that out and then you reinsert your whole cartridge 75 meters on there lovely and then obviously off you go to dispense your yeah your tape and then that just goes over there as an extra sort of safety message 75 meters on either cartridge there so there'll be one in there and then you get the other cartridge as well as i said one is repositional uh, tape and one is permanent tape so for 9.99 and it's what not little you know it's lovely easy to hold you know, so f for the actual dispensing, especially if you're doing a lot of re repetitive jobs there as well, because the good news is it's not going to run out when you've got 75 metres in there. That's going to last a long time. There's your extra cartridge, but it's nice to have those different ones in there, isn't it? 9.99 should be 25 pounds 99, 537, 487, but only for this hour at that price. So don't miss out. Lovely, lovely Julie now. Yeah, Julie Hickey. Ah, uh, we've got some fantastic very versatile frames now i'm approaching limited you've got that pretty scalloped edge you've got the square edges there as well and then you've got um almost like framing your sentiment and the flag pennants as well haven't you there love that one with the little heart cut out it's so pretty isn't it 10 pounds 98 and the posy one let me just show you you can just use those individual little ones as well they're so so pretty and versatile so if i just give you an idea of some of the actual cards that's just the individuals isn't that pretty and then that's the posy used all the way around and then again very pretty indeed and look at that with the embossing on the inside so 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 pretty and if i just show you that that larger frame isn't that gorgeous and again in the glitter card got some lovely glitter card on the show for you and then the flags themselves now, yeah, getting limited. I'm not surprised. It may not last the hour, so please check out your baskets. £10.98. I'm, I'm down to single figures, so the next person to get those first last few, 149589. Looks like we're going to have another sellout in the hour, so we love Julie. Uh, I think that has gone. Okay, well done you. Don't forget to check out your basket because otherwise that'll bounce back and I'll be telling somebody in a minute, no, oh, there's one left in stock. Um, I just don't want you to miss out, okay? Because you obviously love that and you love that deal. It's lovely to have your company. If you love Julie, let's give you some more Julie. Yeah, equally as beautiful. Uh, heartfelt uh, wishes stamp set. Beautiful butterflies and the ditzy butterflies. Honestly, it really is my favourite and it's just using that little flower and those little three. I'm sorry to bore you and show you this again, but I just love it. How cool is that? That's so cute. I think that's so cute. Um, but then there's great cards there. There's that beautiful butterfly. And again, the little flowers. Are, there's using that lovely frame that you just got as well. There it is again. 
pretty. Um, and oh, I like that. But I like that. Oh, hello. I like that, that, that. The water, the ink just sort of draining away there. Isn't that lovely? But let's look to this pretty posy in the middle. This is really pretty. And if you look at it, it's stamped. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I like that a lot. And then inverted and used just on the outside. Isn't that pretty and coloured in? Oh, upside down again. Well, it wouldn't be a show with Fee without it being upside down. And then this last one, I'm going to show you the card using those, just the leaves there. Uh, and then we've got the posy on there as well. I can't find me posy. Oh, there it is. I found it now. So that one there is this card. Isn't that brilliant? Isn't that pretty? And then if you just look at that little, little bit of leafage at the bottom there, ta-da! Isn't that gorgeous? Amazing what you could just do with one stamp. You're getting all of those for £11.97, 130414. I'm sure you agree, an absolute billy bargain. They're so pretty, those are. I didn't even see that one. So pretty. Anyway, um, so yeah, please don't miss out because we just had a sell out with the other Julie Hickey set. All right, another great set from Crafts 2 embossing folders and dies. Yeah, you are getting the bird cages and the butterfly dreams. So sizable dies there. Nice to see there's three butterflies in fl flight. And then if you've got the co coordinating embossing folder there, you can see the butterfly at the bottom in the corner sideways on, and then it corresponds with that large butterfly up at the top. So if I just turn that around so you can see that in the making, very pretty. Every time, Fiona. It's a gift. It's a knack I have as presenting. I only have to breathe and it all falls down. <laughs> uh, and then we've got our birds and we've got our cages. And there's the birdies in the cages because you've got some birdies in the cages there. These ones are too big to put in there, but nice to adorn with on the outside. Uh, yeah, what else would you say then? Birdhouse, well... They look like wires to me, but anyway. <laughs> Little bird houses at 999-349-269 for both of those. Now we had a sellout with our Jelly Beans card, but we've still got the beautiful non-shed glitter card and holographic card. Look at this. So we've got our gorgeous triangular diamonds there, our beautiful, beautiful glitter, spangly glitter. Oh, hello. Like that like that a lot. Do you know what I like that? You've got the roundy bits and then it, can you see the difference when, can you, does that make sense? I don't know how to describe that. Dotty and then it becomes, I don't know, something else. <laughs> There's a description, fees winning description of the month. You've got the roundy ones then it becomes, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. It's just lovely, isn't it? What do you describe it as? Roundy to Lengthy, stripy, strips. Yeah, roundy to strips. Border strips, yes. Thank you, Emily, to the rescue. And then this is the brush stroke uh, glitter. This is the brush stroke. So it looks like fine fibres of glitter. Now, can you tell the difference? Because that's the dots and that's the fibres. I promise you, you will when you've got them. And if I'm not showing that very well, you will when they're in your hand. Uh, two in 10 GSM white on the underside, non-shed, I mean, just beautiful. This is the first thing I went to on the counter because I was just like, oh, that's gorgeous, 11 Lovely. Uh, then we've got some of our seven-day savers. I think this is well worth reminding everybody, you know, because we're all like looking at the pennies and things. Not that anybody's going out anywhere. So let's craft. 9 99 for a whopping wadge of car. Now, 160 to 320 GSM. You're saving 50 pounds. Look at these colours. Hey? Oh, I wish I had a red ad band on. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Ah, oh, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? Look at this. Now, your contents will vary, so colours will vary. That's the colour of the headband I'd like. Uh, like that pink. That's ultraviolety. Oh, yeah, that's got me written all over it, that has. That's Olivia Neutron bomb, if ever I saw it. Uh, so contents will vary, as will the GSM, as will the colours, but honestly, you're going to get loads of goodies in there. Yeah, you get, you're getting a lot. Woo! That's a bit shiny. You can't miss that one, can you? Ice cream. Um, bubble gum. 
mint. So, yeah, just have fun exploring all through that. There's going to be a card to match every occasion there. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, one of my favourites there. Beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. But let's show you the yellow. Let's show you the yellow. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Hey, I love that. Sound like uh, Arthur Mullard from the 70s. Nobody knows what I'm talking about because they're born in a different decade. <laughs> oh. Right, OK. 999-094412. Sometimes when you're just here talking to yourself for an hour, this is what happens. Madness sets in. I've only just started the shift. Walter, come to me, Walter. I'm, I seem to be having a secret love affair with Walter in my head. Nobody knows apart from all... The, 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 the hundreds of millions of viewers we've got out there who are watching now. It's just been announced. It's out. Uh, do you know Walter Strong? Like, I know Walter Strong. Oh, I want to know Walter Strong. Uh, this is your phone tape, 9 .99, Saving £9, 8 Should be 18 .99. One centimetre in width, 40 metres in length. So, you know, for those big projects, it's great. You can pull out the long strips. Half the stock, over half the stock's gone because, yeah, because it's perfect for your projects. You can just nick off that little bit. You're not reduced to little foam tape sizes. You can think, wow, I need a big bit of Walter Strong for this. Um, halfway through the week, because this is a seven-day save that launched last Sunday morning. It may not last the week. This is what happens. I know we tend to think... Seven-day savers, big quantities. Yes, of course, that's what we want to bring you. But sometimes it doesn't last the consecutive, you know, the following Sunday. So if Walter Strong's foam tape has got your name on it, then please don't miss out. And the thing is, this hour goes, and if you're like me at the moment, fish brain, I've forgotten. I'm like, you know, I see something else that takes my attention, and that's it. I forgot all about it. Sunday comes, and then you'll be lamenting the, the big saving that you could have out of £9. So don't miss out, 893518. How else can we save money? Well, we can save money on our postage and packaging. Let's find out more from Alex. Hello, everyone. I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom, you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount, of sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 88888. So, don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and a members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Now we have less than a quarter of an hour left of our happy hour deals. There's the clock. Time is of ticking. I like to start with Walther and end with Walther. Yeah, that's how every show should be. Yes, that's how every day should be. Uh, if only he was real. Um, Walther Strong. But I do love the tape collection, genuinely do, because it's good quality. That's the key. When I pull that, I don't want it all ripping and snagging. And then easy to, obviously, because this is what you're doing at home, you want to be able to rip it to the size around my windows, around my skirts, uh, around, you know, when you're trying to get a nice straight line between your... I know people put you for the stencils, don't they? Or the dies down, they don't want all that uh, tacky com coming off and residue coming off. It's strong tackiness but not to leave a load of residue 
on you or if you were using it you know to put down your dies or anything like that but if you're not just using it for decorating um could even take off all that rubbish off your clothes if you got a load of cat fur on there uh but yeah it's it's, it's good quality it's good quality stuff and that's what i want from a masking tape and there's a big generous roll there 50 meters so 300 meters in total 600 if you buy two uh, yeah, it's a good quality. And that's what you want from your masking tape. I can't be doing with it all tearing a little bit off and then just being useless. So great saving as well, genuinely. I wish I was at home to get the happy hour deal myself because of the amount of this stuff I've bought. Uh, 9 yeah, Maybe Maybe you're doing some art. You know, we were watching that artist recently. Well, I was with Jed and uh, he was, he was, he'd masked off areas of the work and then he painted it. I can't remember the artist's name. Is he? Matthew's with us Tuesday. Maybe he does a bit of this. Anyway, so he painted bit, then he takes off the masking and then carries on the bit of the painting. So it almost kind of creates segmented bits. It was, it was fascinating. Uh, 998 521 749. Okay. Uh, storage. Storage. Oakwood. Storage. Two carry cases. Lovely and easy. Lovely carry handle. Little insert there for you to, to label. You are getting both of these. And within each one are 10 fantastic robust leaves with magnetic sheet inserts so for all your dies for all your collections lovely and deep as well so if you did want to put your stamps on the back you can do yeah you can do i mean maybe you've got extra dies at home maybe you're thinking do you know what i really should compartmentalize them fiona they're all over the joint i don't know whether i'm coming in with me crafts too or uh for impressions i mean you know there's just all sorts that we might need to studio light yeah maybe you're buying studio light from marlulu tonight so uh yeah get both of those get, take one gift one yeah uh at this price as well nine pound savings a hefty saving per folder you're saving four pounds fifty because you're obviously getting both 24 pounds 98 892 272 don't miss out with the last 10 remaining minutes if you want to take advantage of that saving well done you but my deal of the hour is my 99 stamps sorry walther if only, the, if only this had Walther Strong attached to it, I mean, it would just be a win for me, wouldn't it? Uh, 99 stamps for £13.89. I'll say it again, because you're saving £37. Maybe you're starting your stamping journey, your crafting journey. Yeah, you've got everything here. You've got the cats, you've got the frogs, you've got the sentiments, you've got the bears, you've got the um, um, cats. And the stamps, forgive me, because they know what I'm like, so they don't put them on here. Because I only have to touch one, it goes like a bunch of dominoes. Uh, your stamps are, let me just get some dark card, bear with. You have a look at those. Yeah, I've got some dark card here. Aha! Uh, if I show you, yeah, so you can see the sizable, so these are bare. See the sizable stamp, and they're all individual. So you know I said about the honey pot, you can use that separately. Um, big, aren't they? And there's our umbrella bear and the sentiment. So you get 99. We worked out these are working out at 14 pence a stamp. There's our frog with the frog confetti. So these are big stamps, aren't they? I know this appreciate that isn't the most glamorous uh, shot you've ever seen, but um, yeah, they're good, good, gorgeous quality uh, stamps there. So. Well worth a look, see if you don't mind me saying so. And uh, all clear stamp sets, loads of machinations, obviously, that you can create from these. Two of my favourites being the sentiments, obviously, and uh, the, the, the wording there in terms of who it's to and any, any relations. But, uh, yeah, just amazing, amazing saving personal impressions, 99 stamps in total, £37. What's not to love in terms of savings? £13.89, one seven six five nine seven. All right, fantastic. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, that doesn't help. You've got to take the top off, Fiona. Now, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, didn't want us to do that for a whole hour, to be honest. That's why I had to get the card. So, yeah, so you just have the, the clip on. You just take it off before you do that because it does help. Uh, take, take that off and then you get two cartridges, one that is permanent and one that is a sort of repositionable thank you walls yeah repositionable so you gotta get both of those cartridges 75 meters on each cartridge there lock it in place slips into place again great to hold you're not going to lose that when it's on the craft table as well nice and ergonomic to just do that over and over and over again great great for the young person in the family as well not getting too messy or anything lovely wide strip I want it. you want that I want it. 
Well, you can, you can have this. You can have this. Paola wants this. Paola wants it. Oh, Dorothy over there. Paola wants it. Yeah, she wants it. There we go. So that is 9 dollars 537 Well, she can't have it. Not for this price. You can. £16 saving. You've got to go and call. You've got to run up now to the call centre, Paola. Yeah. <laughs> Bargain. Julie Hickey, we've had one of us sell out as well. Uh, but now we still have a few of these, so don't delay. Uh, these are beautiful stamps as well. And you're getting all of them, yeah. Two sets of the, sorry, three sets of the beautiful stamps. And they are so pretty. Could have a little look at some of these cards as well. Gorgeous. The, that, see these lovely in the black and white. This, that's this one at the end of the table there. If I just nurture that in. And the leaves, so we're using some of the leaves there. And then this lovely long one there. And then if I, this is just using the little flowers from the butterfly. Oh, there we go, upside down. Uh, and a butterfly. Oh, a butterfly. There it is. Yeah. Love those. And then in the middle, our floral display there in the middle. <laughs> I'm on a roll today, aren't I? Hey? Soak it in. Just breathe that in. Beautiful. Uh, £11.97 for all of those. Time is ticking. £6.57. 130414. Beautiful, beautiful cards. Just one minute to look at the embossing folders from Crafts Dude. Don't forget your gorgeous non shed uh, glitter card there as well from Jelly Beans is still available. And then have a little look at the other seven day savers because I only showed you a few on the show today. 9 99 349269. Birds there with the little uh, bird cages and your butterfly dreams. Embossing folder and the die sets for a minimal 9 349269. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for keeping me company. I don't want you to go anywhere because there's plenty more still to see. Uh, the lovely Powell and Haley, they're going to be up next um still have time to buy still have time to, uh, to check out your baskets well done to you if you were in early with some of those sellouts that we had too on the show in this happy hour slight queue on the phone so uh, the website is probably the best way to quickly achieve that in the next few uh, minutes okay thank you for keeping me company we're gonna have a strong coffee i'll hold things the right way up and perhaps put in the right teeth and i'll see you later yeah We've got Fabric Freedom Essentials one day special. And then I'm going to be crafting with clarity. Ooh, lovely Barbara. And then Studio Light, just Lulu one day. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Hachanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are very excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Hi, I'm Pete from Artisan Design. We're a family run company uh, from the Midlands um, and we have been going for around about a year now. We design handcrafted stamps, stencils and designer papers. Personally, uh, I love crafts, and I've loved crafts from uh, childhood, right from when I first won an art competition when I was five years old. I love to inspire, and what, what my aim is, is to get the crafters um, to see their own potential. I like them to be uh, in charge of their own creativity. What I hope is that our images um, provide the kickstart to your mojo and help you create your own works of art. Tune into our Chanda, be part of the artisan design world and come and join me on this creative path. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. 
The company has been going for a year and a half and as a crafter I wanted to find a box which I could receive every month and would be full of craft supplies. As I couldn't find such box I decided to create it myself and that's how Craftbox started. Every box contains at least 15 products which are beautifully hand packaged by a team based here in Cambridgeshire. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box which is ribbon tied and we hope that by receiving this box you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the craft box shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy and pergamano and the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects, so whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Ho Chanda. I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hojanda. Now we have got, of course, a final look at the one day special and what amazing one day special it is. I am loving the amazing value for money that you are getting here. Now, the woman who is going to explain us exactly what you're getting and all the amazing pr products that you are getting in the one day special, well, it is the one and only Hayley. <laughs> I was looking for the woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> so we're going to get the afternoon off. Well, uh, yeah, I, mean. no, I will admit it is not the sexiest one day special that we have ever brought it is it is not you know it, it doesn't look that exciting but everything that we have are complete essentials and it's something that's never going to go out of fashion it's something that's never going to go out of date so it's definitely well worth a look yes <laughs> now in that um, is the fabric freedom basic essentials bund bundle it is like Haley was mentioning things that are never gonna go out of fashion you're getting two meters of warding then you're getting two meters of the calico two meters of the hundred percent cotton and then you are getting two meters of the poly mix cotton now first things first let's start with the warding mm -hmm. uh, Haley, what type of warding is this okay so this is a polyester warding and it's a felted warding so and um, it's really really soft really really easy to work with it's one of these kind of catch-alls it will go with most projects that you want to do I would say the only restriction on this is something that maybe you're doing quite a lot of dense stitching on so maybe if you're doing quite a lot of um, machine embroidery or quite a lot of free motion then that's probably something to watch out for because what you might find is it bunching up a little bit but you're just weirdly stroking stuff while <laughs> watching yourself stroking I'm just, stuff. I'm just kind of looking at you and then I kind of think, yeah, oh. it was weird, mate. I'm not going to lie. It was weird. Yeah. I'm stuck in the warning. Okay. It's, it's weird, so mate. soft. It's so okay. lovely. You want to stroke it. <laughs> <laughs> stroke away. I'm just going to look over here. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's, it's one of your Goldilocks ones. Yeah. It's kind of that just right. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It's a great one for a big, a huge range of projects. It is, and then isn't it? The next one on your list yeah. is your calico. So this is two meters of a kind of nice medium weight. It's not a super light one and it's not a, a super heavy one. It's again Goldilocks right in the middle. And um, so many, so many things you can do with calico. 
This is um, a loom state fabric, so we do recommend that you wash and dry um, everything exactly the same way as you would wash your finished project, because because it's loom state, and that's why we can bring these to you at the price yeah. that they do. Um, with it being loom state, it means it hasn't been through a washing or a drying process okay. yeah. straight off the loom. So that means, especially with cottons and natural fibres, if there is any shrinkage, that first wash will be where it happens. So, of course. The, and then we have got the 100% cotton. Yes. So this is a quilting weight cotton and um, just a really good basic staple to have in your stash. And uh, all of the pieces that we've seen so far are between 150 and 160 centimetres wide and obviously two metres in length okay. that you're getting on all of those. Then... Yeah. You were saying something about this polycotton. Why is it so good to have polycotton? Okay. First of all, the size of this one. It is... Oh, you're going to regret that. Oh, Probably. Oh, you're going to regret that. that because because this times. one is actually an extra wide width. Oh, it yeah. is 96 <laughs> inches wide. <laughs> I mean... Uh, is that still folded over? Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. business <laughs> size. Shall I put it like this? And I don't even... Uh, um, so that's probably about two and a half arms lengths, I think. Yeah, and, uh, it, so and it's, it's now double folded now. Yeah, it's four layers there, four so layers. it's a huge piece. And it's um, so it's 96 inches wide, and then you're getting your two meters wow. length as well. So it's 224 centimeters. Uh, <laughs> I did so say you much. would regret that. Yes. <laughs> well, actually, my floor manager, the lovely Ben, is going to be like, Paula, why you did that? He's like, oh, have to. Right. <laughs> but is this because I want to give an imp uh, uh, you know, like, yes, so at you, home, you can ask see. me, yeah. uh, polycotton. Everybody initially says polycotton, and they're like, ooh, cheap and nasty. This is absolutely lovely. not cheap and nasty. It feels absolutely beautiful. And if you think about all of those maybe shirts or blouses that you've got that are in Verticom's Easy Iron, they are all cotton with a bit of polyester in there and that polyester just adds to durability and workability mm. and being able to care for it more easily because if you take a handful of the full cotton and you just scrunch it up, take one layer, scrunch yeah. it up. Okay, one layer, scrunch, scrunch it up. Scrunch it up really tight and then let go and that will be creased to bits. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. Now do the same with the poly cotton, and you'll see the difference. A lot more of those creases will pop straight out. So if, for instance, somebody is into dressmaking, this would be a good uh, fabric. Yeah, if you're into dressmaking, if you want to do cotton. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, there is a difference indefinitely. Like, You've I mean, lost your other creased bit now, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> I lost everything. It's white on white. It's it's it's. Now you can different. tell that this but is the cotton. Can you see the difference? The of how many more creases have popped out? from the poly cotton yeah. and it's not a t you know a little bit of polyester there is not a terrible thing I think it kind of goes back to the 70s when everything was polyester and plastic and flammable yeah. it isn't that at all it, well to be honest when I look, was looking at them I didn't know which one was the 100% cotton and which one was the poly yeah. cotton which is a good indication it's a really good sign because sometimes poly cotton can look a bit shiny yeah not shiny at all and this is absolutely yeah, beautiful stuff and you stuff. immediately notice the difference from the natural fibres from cotton yes. for the poly cotton with it, in this you definitely Definitely don't. Uh, now, it's look two meters of wadding, two meters of calico, two meters of a hundred percent cotton, two meters of that poly uh, mix cotton. Uh, now it's incredibly busy. I'm not surprised because you have got a massive saving of 21 pounds. You're only paying 29 pounds and 95 pence. Not surprisingly, 80 percent of the stock has already gone. Now this is the final call. That means that the deal will end. And the price will go up by 21 pounds at 6 p.m. So if you want to grab your check out your baskets, the number you need to take note of is 2870100019. Shall I say it again? 2870019. That is the item number. Finally, second so, time is a um, charm. That bundle, that one day special bundle is fantastic if you're a beginner because it's going to okay. give you all the things you need to start sewing with. If you're not a beginner and you're more experienced sewer, then maybe you want to move on to some of the bundles that we've got coming up because, again, doesn't look sexy. Very sexy. Doesn't look sexy at all. It looks ah, like it's, it, yeah. it just looks oh. so beige. Yeah, well, actually, it's so beige though. Well, yeah, I know what you're saying. Sometimes beige isn't sexy, but sometimes it is when you know what you can do with it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we're laughing. Yes, because calico 
it's so useful. It is. Can I tell you what I mean? And at this price, you can do some amazing, you can test a lot of patterns. Maybe you're trying to think of, uh, maybe you're trying something new, but you don't want to commit to it on your posh fabric yet. Yeah. Then calico is a great way to uh, test the water, especially at this price. I, because I, yeah. it's 10 meters and it's 29 something. 29.95. Yes, that. So you are also saving 15 pounds and or also uh, it is now limited stock i completely agree it doesn't what you th you look at it in the counter and you're thinking it's like, you, you're thinking oh you know it's just it's just just fabric in a beige color is and that would be around five uh six uh it'll be 60 inches 60 inches yeah okay so uh, that 60 is maybe 64 yeah, so a, that's yeah, wider. Yeah, yeah, that's that's yeah. an amazing. So if you remember, it's it bigger is, than us, mate. That's all you need uh, to know. That's what I was thinking. I'm yeah. five foot, so um, yeah, no, I know it's the equivalent. Bigger than so, us. Yeah, that's all you definitely. need to know. Uh, <laughs> I, I can love tell that's what you were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. This is how I measure everything with my body. All uh, right. So we have got what next? Now here we have got the. Uh, now this is a ten meter board. I believe it doesn't come in the roll. No, it doesn't come on the uh, tube because a uh, the tube is a nightmare to post, and b what you're going to do with the tube unless you've got a hamster or a uh, ferret. Well, yeah. I mean, it was, <laughs> my cat might have like it, but yeah. Well, the you know, I'm a crafter, so I probably would You'd think find something to yeah. do with it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yes, for, for postage purposes, yeah. it doesn't not it does not come with the tube. So, um, you are getting ten. It's exactly the same uh, wadding that <laughs> you randomly stroking again. <laughs> it's just so soft. <laughs> <laughs> Feel the ends. The oh. ends are mega. <laughs> Stroke the end there. That's so <laughs> nice. That is so nice. It is nice, isn't it? <laughs> it's really nice. It's really soft, soft isn't it? It's, like, yeah. it's like a cloud. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's is not it? going to reach from that end. <laughs> what she's just trying to do is put a hand on the other end to get the ball. <laughs> You know, uh, now what do we need it for? Uh, lots and lots of projects. So you obviously can quilt with this because you've got that huge, big, uh, full width, and you've got as much length as you wish. Well, up to ten meters. And if you do get multiples, they'll come as a continuous piece up to at either thirty or fifty meters. I can't remember which it is, but um, if you're needing fifty meters in a continuous piece, you are doing some serious quilting. Yeah. So I wouldn't worry about it too now, much. It's, it's, it's again poly. Uh, it is poly, yes, and it's felted. And the felt, the, the fact that it's felted together, that means that if you need to stretch it out a bit and get it to go a little bit oh. wider, you can. Oh, you I have see. to do it gently and just pull it, pull it, pull oh. it all the way along. But do you can usually get it out to poly, about 180. With poly, you say that it's hypoallergenic as yes, well. Yes, it is hypoallergenic. And also there is the other advantage. Do we have to pre-wash it before no, we... No, you don't it? have to do anything. So, You'll never get any shrinkage with a polyester. So there's a really cool advantages as well. Uh, now, if you want to go for 10 metres of the 150 meet, uh, centimetres wide uh, wording, uh, now do you have got a flexi-buy option if you want to spread the cost into interest-free payments, two payments of £24 and 98 pence. I believe 50%, a uh, 60% of the stock has already gone. You're saving 10 pounds, and if you want to one off payment, 49 pounds and 95 pence. Right, a little. Oh, it's just so soft. It's I'm going to take so that amazing. off you. Oh, I'm going to get somebody else to take it off you because I'm not yeah. allowed to come near you. Okay, yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> then we have got uh, muslin. Now here we have got a hand. Oh, now. It did sell out earlier, but it's now back on extended delivery. It, now, this patch from the 17th of July. Now, you are getting two meter pieces of Egyptian muslin. Uh, you, <laughs> uh, you are getting, you're having fat you right, my love? Yeah, I'm all right. Okay, just checking. Yeah. Uh, it's just the fabric it makes me happy uh, you, you have got the white or the natural here now can you tell us why we would use um, it, uh, muslin okay so a muslin is just a really really fine weave fabric so rather than a quilt in cotton where you're looking about 60 um, strands across and 60 strands strips 60 strands in your warp and 60 strands in your weft this is about half that and you can see how if you open it out a bit you can actually almost see through it stop stroking open the fabric there we go. Okay. There you go. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, you can kind of see through it because it's just the density of the weave is not <laughs> quite there. So it's great for draping. So if you're going to do kind of blinds and, and things like that and you're looking for something really soft, it's absolutely perfect for that. It's really nice to dress make with as well if oh, you're yeah. looking for those kind of throw over tops. Yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> well, this is kind of very gruesome, isn't it? <laughs> It's great for, um, I mean, muslins used a lot in cooking as well, oh, yes, remember? For With jams, the cheese yeah. and jam and puddings and pies also and things. for, um, you know, people who want, don't want to use baby wipes or wipes of any yes, kind to... Yes, great. There's a this, lot of people yeah. making cloths out of uh, muslin for kind of face care and, and things like that. And also, Leonie yesterday yeah. was saying that she's got kind of skincare products. You're going on the folding course as well, young lady. I'm instituting a folding course for all presenters because this is just unacceptable. I like and, and white color. obviously is the um, is the color that you will usually get it in, because white, especially when it's used for the cooking purposes, that's classed as I think it's just psychologically mm. cleaner. Although it's exactly the same fabric, and all that's happened is they've taken the the one on your mm, right and bleached it out to make the one no, on your the left. One on the left. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that one. Oh, oh no, that's the right. That's the one that I write. Yes, yeah, the darker one is yeah. natural, and the other one is the, the yeah. bleached out white one. They are both exactly the same. And um, Leonie was saying last night that uh, she had bath bombs, oat based oh, yes. bath bombs, with this ah, that's, wrapped in this. It's one of those ones that I would definitely go, because it's not that easy to find muslin. So it's a kind of in, in a craft environment. So like a, so oh, it's great for mixed yeah, media and things exactly. as well. Exactly. You can then do like for instance power text and things like that. Power text if it's going to go you know inside or outside or even a good strong PVA. Will work absolutely. With that. Yeah. Absolutely. I love that. Now of course remember it did sell out earlier. Now it's back on extended delivery dispatch day from the 17th of July 262319. You choose whichever one you want, the natural or the white, for nine pounds and ninety nine pence. And remember they are two meter pieces, so there is a lot of fabric for your money there. You can multi-order as long as there is a stock, so do please make sure that you check out your baskets as soon as you make your mind up. Remember, this is the final call of the one-day special Fabric Freedom. Therefore, it means that, of course, we get a rush of orders, so please make sure that you do not forget to check out your baskets. Now, we have got here this the tonal is color. Nazi. Okay. That so is that is nice, kind isn't of, it? Yeah. Okay. So usually, uh, uh, well, jackard weaving is done on a big loom, and yeah. it has the punch cards, well, the old school punch cards, obviously the modern ones. Or more modern than that, but um, it's done with usually heavier weight threads and yeah. more kind of elaborate and, and fancier threads. But to have one in that really, really nice, soft calico colors yeah. is amazing. And um, it is all cotton, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm actually um, ringing them up about this to see if I can get some for some curtains. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I was thinking. I, I was thinking of upholstery. I'm thinking yeah. about curtains. But not, as, as I was discussing Canvas with Hayley, bags. not um, not, not upholstery where you've got jammy fingers. We were oh, discussing jammy yes. fingers. No. Uh, well, no I, I mean, fingers. I don't have jammy fingers. I would have a cat that is a little bit problematic. Jammy fingers? No, he has got other things, other issues. Okay. Um, yeah. No green fabric it's, for it's an you old then. Cat. Okay. Anyway, uh, we'll just put the chair up high, or he can't get it. You can trust if he wants. You know, if you put something that you don't want him to get. He will get it. <laughs> uh, now, of course, if you want this amazing Jack Hart tonal calico, two p meters pieces that you are getting, four, six, three, five to five is your item number. Sixteen pounds and ninety nine pence is the price. And of course, do you know have got that saving of three pounds there? Now, what do we have got here? I love a bold. <laughs> yeah, it's I love a bold. It's just uh, it's something quite cool. satisfying about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Um, and this is another, you know, <laughs> bolt of white. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we've been doing. Bolts of white, yeah. bolts of beige. Um, <laughs> this is a bolt of white. Yeah. And this is the cotton that's within the one-day special. But this is a just a, a much yeah. bigger uh, amount of it. 10 meters. And it's 150 uh, centimeters wide, which I know that's under five foot. So I don't know how much it is. 
not in inches, but I know 60. that. 60. It's a 60, 60 inches. Yeah. So it is a nice width. I yes, know. it's a really, really handy width. So um, usually when you get your kind of patterned fabrics, they all usually come in a 45 inch width. And that's fine, yeah, exactly. 44, 45, and that's fine because you're going to cut that up and sew it back together. But when you want your plain bits, is usually for your backing, maybe your bindings, your edgings, your sashing, where you're going to have it in long straight strips. And this is a, a really Would easy we way use to do this it. maybe for the backing of a quilt? Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, so, so if you want to look at that, you have got also a flexi buy option to spread the cost into interest free payments of 32 pounds and 50 pence. Now, that saving of 35 pounds is there, of course, one of payment as well. You have got that option of six. £64.99. Pounds pounds. Remember that price goes up at 6 o'clock, so make sure that you do not miss out on what I consider bargains during this, uh, during this one day special. So check out your baskets. The item number for the 100, uh, I was going to say 100, yeah, 10 meters, 100 meters bold, that's what I was going through. Uh, 10 meters of, um, of beautiful cotton, uh, 300. <laughs> I just got into. I was thinking of Hussein Bolt and the hundred <laughs> meters. That's what I was thinking. I need to tell the story. It's ten meters bolt of cotton, hundred percent fabric. Anyway, it's hundred percent fabric. Oh, how three, lovely. Uh, three, uh, three, zero, zero, four, oh. seven, seven is your item it's, number. I hey, don't know what. The what's statement is not inaccurate. It is 100% fabric. Yeah, exactly. That's fine. <laughs> I was making, I always make a, a, accurate statements. It's just the, they are a little bit random. Okay. That's right, fine. we have got our director's favorites, which is that beautiful denim. Oh, he likes uh, a bit of double denim. Oh, he likes triple denim sometimes. Trip? Yeah. <laughs> but but we guess, we guess. We <laughs> Yeah, the, sometimes, anyway, denim shoes. Oh, okay. That's fine. Or denim uh, baseball cap, yeah. Okay. Uh, a cowboy hat as well, kind of, yeah. Oh, okay. Or, you know, sometimes he wears a um, waistcoat as well. <laughs> this is lots of excellent, non rude yeah. denim options, thank you. Yeah, because you could have maybe the. Uh, so here we have got three different denims. So we have got one meter of indigo, which is, is that kind of deeper navy. Then we have got a meter of black, then a meter of printed. That one I would probably say is more of a. a it's still denim. Yeah. Chambray is just a lightweight denim. Um, but that's more of a yeah. chambray weight. Now, that the, one. The, the chambray is, is denim the one how it has been woven together? Yes. Yeah, then so, it was the weave. Yeah, so that woven is a little bit tighter than regular waves, isn't it? Yeah, um, it's usually um, a little bit heavier weight, yeah. and it's um, it's yeah. It then more refers to the weave, and you can see. Can you see that kind of stripe? That yeah, twill stripe this, that's, that's on the back. That's more what the denim refers to, yeah. and denim usually is is that kind of deep indigo yeah. blue style so anything that's kind of within the blue black family range and is that same kind of weave and is denim's usually always 100 percent cotton but you can get some with a little bit of stretching as well yeah, perfect now if you want to go for triple denim you can you can go for the item number is seven two four zero five three is your item number 19 pounds and 98 pence is your price for all three meters of fabric uh you are just having a saving of 10 pounds now we are going christmas <laughs> these are so sparkly they i love are. these we didn't i forgot we had these until about like midway through the last hour so look at that. Now, we have got two options. We have got the red and gold, which is obviously here, this one. And then we are going to the green, which is green and gold. Now, so this sparkle gives you uh, seven different fabrics, and there's a half meter of each. So you've got the sequin sparkle. Now, that's actually a really, really easy one to sew with because it's really is small it? sequins. What happens is the um, fabric, the um, sequins, either will move out the way of your needle. Ah or it'll go through the hole in the center oh, of see. it. It's not a difficult one to sew with at all, that one. Well, a Christmas party, if you want to make a skirt or something like that, a dress that will be really, or a top or a jacket, if you are more expert. Look at that, it's, it's a beautiful red. And it's then the next one you've got along is a, a, an organza. I think you've got two different organzas there, have you? So you have got that organza. And uh, uh, yeah, there's one underneath. Yeah. looks very, very similar. Yeah. You can see the difference on the screen. One's got a bit more yeah. of a, a black Blue and um, yeah. the, one that you've, uh, the one that you've got on top, that's yeah. a crystal organza. 
So you can see kind of quite a lot of sparkle coming through ah, in that I one. I see, yeah. And then the other one is just, well, I'm saying an ordinary organza, but it's not that ordinary because it's got a bit of a shocked colour through it. Yeah. So it's got one side running through in black and one side running through in red, which is what's giving you that kind of colour change. Yeah, it's kind about. of oil and water yeah. kind of sort of effect. Isn't that gorgeous? So you're getting two of those ones. You're getting one. a couple of cottons in there. So you're getting, uh, well, they're not just cottons. They are a full colour cotton with a, a foil print on the top so you're getting two of those as well yeah so another one yeah there yeah, is there another is. one yeah. hidden there look at that <laughs> they are beautiful yeah absolutely really, really pretty they are very very rich as well like with yeah, that gold and then oh is it lame so, yeah that's a lame one that is a little bit uh, it's not more difficult to sew with you just need to prep for yeah. it properly which means when you cut your bits out you need to quickly and very quickly uh, sew round the edge with a, like a zigzag stitch because can you see on the edge how yeah. it's just kind yeah. of fraying a little bit as long as you secure those edges then you can yeah. work with it absolutely fine and I would definitely recommend um, if you're going to work with it especially if you're kind of trying to work with it within a quilt which you absolutely can do if you want to um, is rather than quarter inch, work with a bigger seam on this. So because half of the frame. minimum yeah. with that. That's fabulous. And then finally, we have got here the stacks. Look at that. Oh, is that cotton Is as there well? a sneaky one underneath? Uh, no, that's it. Yeah, no, no that's the Go that way with it. Is it just sequins that's gone all the way along? Yeah, it's the sequins, yeah. Oh, right, that's fine. I was just checking. I thought oh, we had they a are sneaky cheeky, extra one. sequence, are they? they are kind I thought of... we had an extra one. Now, of course, and then this is the red option. Uh, it's the same same prints and just uh, different, same principle, just yeah. obviously slightly For Christmas decoration, different colours yeah. in the, the green one. And then you have got, of course, that's two organzas, then the two printed ones, which are the same patterns. That one is the same, but that one is a different one. I love that. That's beautiful with those snowflakes and that gold. And, of course, the gold lame uh, in here. I just don't know, I think that um, in trousers with that would look, uh, harem, harem trousers that would be, okay. like harem pants, no. yeah. uh, not for me obviously. And then uh, here we have got the snack. Now if you want to go for this, remember it's an option the red or the green, 066161 is your item number. You have got a saving of £10 and you are just paying £24.99. And, and we have got happy hours, yay! They are gorgeous. This is my favourite happy hour. Yeah. This is my favourite one. Yeah. Not this one, the, one, the last, very last one Ooh, we'll yeah. get to. I can say. Right, yeah. so we have got three happy hour deals now. What that means is that it's not like the one day special that is going to last until 6 o'clock or until stocks last. No, this is until the end of the hour or until stocks last. Therefore, if you want them to take advantage of these amazing savings, because I'm talking half price or even better than half price, you need to check out your baskets before the end of the hour or before they sell out. Now, here, now we have got the first one. Now you are getting all four of them. You are getting a meter of each of these amazing, beautiful tropical leaves. Now it is from Perfect Occasion. It's a hundred percent cotton. It is a quilting weight, isn't it? Uh, I'm not allowed to touch it because okay. you'll hear it. Uh, I think it's between Sorry. lawn, uh, poplin. I would say it's a poplin. It's be between lawn and quilting weight. Is is poplin? Hang on, I'm looking in at the. I'm going to see yeah, if I can I see. Yeah, I think I think. It feels poplin. Yes. Okay. I think poplin too. Yeah, because you could still use it for quilting, but it's not as fine as yes. lawn. Yeah. Okay, I'm going in out. Oh yeah, that's a poplin. Yeah. All right. <laughs> See, I had to go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> right. So. Uh, and then uh, now if you want them look at that saving of 20 pounds you're getting all four of them think about it now this is very busy and I'm not surprised because they are glorious palm trees in there I, with I the different say our previous happy hours on the other hours that we've had for the one day special have all sold out incredibly quickly See. so um, if, if you do want one of the happy hours get in quick <laughs> and 19 pounds and 99 pence is the price and you're saving 20 pounds which makes it half price so make sure that you check out your basket 698920 is your item number now we have got the gorgeous little ditzy florals in here now this one is the floral the artsy floral collection you are getting a meter of each of those beautiful blues and of course of this kind of pink corals a and as well I felt them I was on the floor. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. 
Yeah, I mean, social distancing, I guess. Yeah, I was at least two metres away from you. Oh, definitely. Uh, 9 99 is the price, but look at that saving of £12, which makes it better than half price. 8 178 is your item number. And then Hayley's favourite. Now, she likes a little bit of Now, softness. these always disappear after a show. Yeah. So I'm going to make sure that they all go back in. And somebody... Um, you gave me once. Okay, I did give you yeah, one. Yeah, you remember. But I never, ever... Uh, yeah. Yeah, but the rest of them, I never touch disappear them. <laughs> because these are beautiful. These are a viscose yeah. pashmina, and um, nice size. You have one of these. You know yeah. how lovely and soft they, they are. They are so soft. And what I love about them is that it's just, it's one of those things that it's an all year round uh, uh, pashmina. Uh, some some pashminas are kind of really really heavy, and it's just for winter. These ones are the ones that you have got maybe in the car, maybe just in the entrance. That when you are going out now on a on a summer's evening, yeah. I will grab it because it's the sort of thing. It's that something you to cover your shoulders, or it's or, something that can be used as a scarf. Exactly. Or, or yeah. even if, if, for instance, look, I just walk in the building with a nice scarf over the hair. This yeah. also kind of kind of do the you know the sort of look. No, I've already said I, I would love to give you one, Lou. However, these keep going missing. <laughs> I'm not having it. <laughs> And I I'm not saying it was you, yeah. but um, they, they do keep going missing. I so love as well. I love... <laughs> it's because I, they are proper lovely. They are and they've lovely. all got a little bit of sparkle in there. Sometimes it's more subtle, like the blue one that you've got there, where it's just sparkling one stripe. Sometimes it's a bit of sparkle all over, but yeah. it's not kind of too much no, sparkle. it's not. And look at that price, nine ninety nine, and you're getting five of them. So you basically uh, you Christmas are getting presents. Exactly, maybe. that's what I was thinking. Also, the other thing I, I recommend to use is for Christmas wrapping. A lot of people don't write, like to wrap presents anymore because of the waste of paper. So wrap them around wrap things. Wrapping the present like, in a present. Exactly. Oh. Because it's too genius. That costs you for basically it's nine ninety nine for a pack of five, and of course you have got a five. Of course, I need to tell you that you may not get these five exact colors. The contents, the patterns will vary, but there will be five beautiful, soft, and you know, kind of really something very tactile that you want to wrap yourself around in those beautiful shawls. Five six zero seven zero six is your item number. And of course, your price nine ninety nine. Now, the one that's special there, a protein limited stock. Remember, you are getting, of course, those two meters of wadding, two meters of calligan, two meters of 100% cotton, and two meters of poly mix cotton. Now, that all that is an amazing value for money. It's essentials. It's the things that you want to multi-order to have it. Because look at that saving of 21 pounds. 29 pounds and 95 pence is the price, but you are saving 21 pounds. I would multi-order because wadding, calico, and 100% cotton is amazing quality. Now, that poly mix cotton, of course, if it's the first time that you are kind of go delving into it, it's super quality. 287 Zero one nine is your item number. And shall we? Yeah, shall we share? Yeah, 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 demo. Yeah, let's do a little bit demo. Yeah. <laughs> You're allowed to sit on the sofa now. Oh, am I? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Can I? Yeah, you can sit there. And Leonie mm. brought like tea and everything yesterday. <gasps> oh, quite. Yeah, I tea, didn't know that. Second hour tea, biscuits. Yeah. That was amazing. It's better, isn't it? Yeah, it is lovely yeah, to sit better. here. It's just miles away. Isn't it? But it's fine. <laughs> so what we did in the previous hour was and these i apologize because these bag handles aren't with you until sunday but uh we did use them in these demos because they it just kind of really worked with the type of fabric that we had and um especially at the price of these fabrics we were saying about testing things out that maybe you haven't got a pattern for or trying to make something before you use your kind of proper fabric with it. Um, and that's what we've done with this. So initially, this was a square piece. I laid the handle on the top, drew a line around the centre, and then stitched exactly that line in. Um, I've pulled one side through, so I've got it either side, and then I just hemmed a little bit on either side of there because we're going to hem it properly but I just wanted the bit around the handle to be hemmed and secure so now that's all through and sitting nicely uh, the next step is to actually stitch that handle in place okay. um, and because we've got two layers on this what we'll be able to do is once that handle stitch in place you repeat the process to get the second side yeah. exactly the same and then you can uh, sew the two layers together 
and pop it through right side out oh, because you're going to be able to leave yourself a, a gap in the bottom. But when you do leave a gap for this to turn it out, remember it must be at least the width of the handle. Of course. Because if you make a smaller one and then you're trying to pull it the right way through, that isn't yeah. going to fit. Yeah. So the um, first step we're going to do is just secure that handle into place and then we'll start to build the rest of the bag. Because I've left it quite long at the minute because we weren't yeah. sure well, we weren't sure how we were going to yeah. go about it and what we were going to make, so or, or how what style the bag was going to take. So, to start it off, we did it quite long. So mm -hmm. that's fine. We can you can always cut it off. It's a bit harder to add it back on. Yeah, it yeah. definitely. So let's get this sewn in. And if you are going to decorate these handles, definitely decorate them before you sew them. In. Oh, that's that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> so with this, I would probably recommend a, um, a zipper foot. Because, because then you're, you're yeah. going to get it much closer to this edge. Mm -hmm. With the current machine that I've got, and I know I haven't got a zipper foot because I looked for one earlier, that's the best I'm going to be but able to if, do. If you have got a machine like like these, your ones, that you can move the needle position. Yes. I would say if you're buying any machine, yeah. that's one of the best features that you'll ever get. It sounds like a silly thing. Well. To, to look for but being able to move your needle left and right is going to give you so many more options in what you do rather than having one that's kind of got maybe fixed positions like all the way to the left all the way to the right bang in the middle but yeah if you can have that movement on your needle it's going to give you a lot more options so we're going to use the edge of this as a guide mm -hmm. okay. and just go all the way around Nice and slow? Or? Yeah, nice and slow with this because you want to be flattening it out as you go and you want to be using the edge of this almost as a, as a bit of a guide, as a ruler to take you all the way around. But you want to be keeping that nice and taut. Ah, <laughs> uh, we yeah. have got, by the way, can I say, we have got Lou. The crunching getting noise ready. is Lou. <laughs> Well, she's very excited because but yeah, she's you've launching got it. The thing is, they wrap everything in the plastic. I know, right? Why do they do this? I know, it's so annoying. <laughs> it's unavoidable, yeah. Our really. director loves it, though. We've always, we've all been guilty of the, the crinkle. Yeah. <laughs> the, the crinkle the in crinkle, between yeah. shows. Hmm? Right, so, That's it. Okay. so yeah, just nice and slowly. Ideally, yes, I would have used a uh, zipper foot on that and had it a little bit tighter than we've got it. But it's going to give us a little bit of wiggle room and decorate the handles before you put them in. Uh, because once it's in, you're not going to be able to get that out to do the decoration. Yeah. I mean, yes, in theory, you can kind of decorate one half, turn it around and decorate yeah. the other half. But it's probably easier just to do yeah. it before you put it in. Okay. One more bit just to get up to the top. So I put some extra pins into this one so that we had a, a, a good grip on it and we've lined it up right at the top and right at the bottom because that's one of the, f the first things you need and that's what's going to give you a more professional finish rather than getting it as tight as you can around there, getting it lined up exactly together top and bottom is what's going to help you and that's why I had quite so many pins in because I didn't want that to slip while we were using it. And then we'll go backwards. I just think it's, it's an amazing one that is special because it's all the basics, but good quality. Yes. And yeah. also, it's like things like that. Sometimes you kind of think, well, I can experiment with this fabric because it's, it's a, yeah. an affordable price. And that's the beauty, especially of the uh, the calico and the yeah. 10 meter bolt of calico. At that price, it's brilliant yeah. for you to do that. And that's going to make a really smart bag now. Yeah. I mean, yes, I can, if, if, especially if I'm kind of doing things at home and I'm developing new patterns and things, yeah. I'll always test them in just a plain white cotton or a, a calico because yeah. you, you kind of see where the problems are yeah. and then you can tweak your patterns it's, and then take it apart and use that as a template it, to make your proper that's, pattern. That's what they do also at the uh, hard couture uh, yeah. places, right? They do everything into those cottons and, and polyester. Exactly, well because that will show you where your uh, problems are yeah, first. The patterns need to be adjusted. Think, exactly. So that would be one side we would make a second and then because this is in two pieces like that yeah I would actually once I've got the two pieces flip it out 
Uh, I should have stitched that all the way along, but I didn't. Never mind. I can always go back in and I can always go back in and stitch that all the way along. So, at that point, yeah. what I would do is do this first, and then yeah. go back and stitch these two pieces together. So, I would have a second one that was exactly the same. Line it up all the way along. You're going to be kind of bunchy in the middle because you've got those solid handles yeah. in. So don't worry about what's happening in the middle. Just make sure your edges are straight and your um, edges are all lined up because our other piece would go on top of there and then we'd sew it all the way around, uh, right sides together, yeah. and then we'd leave a gap on the whatever's going to be the inside at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. And that gap needs to be, as I said before, at least the width of that handle. Because yep. if you don't make it the width of that handle, you're never going to get it turned right side out. Yeah. And then once you've got front and back together and you've got it turned right side out, you can then stitch up the gap that's in the center. And then just to finish off these edges here, because obviously you'll go right up to, to there, just to finish those bits off, I would probably run a, a, another top stitch or a decorative stitch along there. Because even if you've sewn all the way around, you're still going to have a little gap yep. there. So I would, I would just seal that little gap in by doing a top stitch or a decorative stitch along I, there. I was thinking, I mean, maybe it's crazy, but could it be possible if you create a hidden pocket there? Instead? Why not? Well, yeah, absolutely you can. So if I finished, we'll make, do you know what? Let's make a hidden pocket. Ooh. I've only got one half and we've not got time to make the other half. So no, let's no, no, make no, no. a hidden pocket instead. Why yeah. the devil not? Yeah. Huh. Um, right, it's going to be different coloured threads because yeah. I'll have to put it on this way around because obviously I can't get this piece on the other side of the machine. So. Well, Right, I need to tell you though that now the one day special is limited to stock. That means that this amazing value for money, this amazing quality, beautiful essentials, now it is limited to stock. The 90% of the stock has already gone. The stock should last until 6 p.m., but however, it probably will sell out before that. So please do check out your baskets. £29.95 is the price. You're saving £21. Now, something else that is limited is the beautiful tropical leaves, that poplin, that beautiful. You're getting four different fabrics in there. All of the four are one meter by 112 centimeters in width. Now, the £19.99 with a saving of 20 pounds now these please do check out your baskets if you do not want to miss out and something else that is limited as well is another happy hour and it is of course the I artsy floral collection quick now if you they are getting the last one yeah well it is better than half price because you are saving 12 pounds and you are only paying 9.99 so if you want to check out if you want them please do check out your baskets because 90 percent of the stock has already gone now don't forget about the beautiful pashminas now you are going to get a pack of five designs may vary but you are going to get five beautiful viscose pashmina shawl wrap now they have got soft they have got that metallic iridescent kind of thrice grind running through it for all five of them 9.99 saving five pounds now i need to also remind you of the calico now because now it's also limited stock you are getting 10 meters in that bolt and it's 160 centimeters wide so if you want yours please do check out your baskets now you are saving 15 pounds just paying 29 pounds and 95 pence and with us reminders well let's get head back to Haley to see the next step okay so you wanted a secret pocket so what I've done is I've finished um, putting little hems across that top and bottom. And because I know I'm going to stitch that together, now I would normally put the secret pocket in yeah. last. Yeah, okay. Because if I stitch too close to here, it's then going to make it more difficult for me to uh, sew the rest later. But if I wanted a secret pocket in there, I'm going to have to sew this way around because we can't get that through the gap. So... If I want a secret pocket as well, I'd probably sew it in white. Okay. So you couldn't see it. See it. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to be well, so it's secret not, it's because not so it's secret. in red. <laughs> yeah. It's not a secret pocket. It's a pocket visible, but it's okay. useful. So. It could be secret. Yeah. It's an op an optional secret yeah. pocket. <laughs> oh no! Don't unthread. And it could okay. be it could be like the lipstick uh, little thing yeah. or the Why key not? one or you know somewhere the we change. Can, yeah. That's what I'll do. Actually, I'll put quite a little one in, and then um, I will be able to sew next to it still. Mm, how am I going to get this straight from here? I should have marked it on with yeah. my heat erasable oh. pen, which Ooh. I still have left in the green room. Uh, it's fine. Oh, it hasn't threaded it out. Mm. Oh. 
Well, just to it's remind okay. everybody, I have, a, I have a thing. You that know, does it. you have a thing. I have a thing that does it. Oh, I have a threader. Yes, yeah. that's what it is. It's a thing that does it. I go. have got a news. Uh, tropical leaves, those gorgeous uh, for uh, poplins. Now they have got technically sold out, which means that if you still have it in your baskets, if you check out now, you will get them. So please do that to not miss out. We are also very, very busy for that Egyptian muslin. Now, if you want, remember, there are two options. There is, of course, the natural and the white. Now they both sold out earlier and they're back on extended delivery from the 17th of July. Now, $9.99 is the price. You are getting two meter piece in there. Of course, the details are on the screen, so do not miss out on that. I wanted the pocket to be big enough to put stuff in. Oh, well, no point in having the tiny well, I have a very tiny lipstick. Okay. So I think it's big enough to do that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Proper lipstick. <laughs> what else would you put there? Um, I don't know. Ooh, you look at me like you're <laughs> rather you're naughty. You're always up to mischief. Oh, no, I just and um, one thing I will say though is I, I have that round that way. Now, if I try and sew straight from there, I'm going to end up kind of in problems. So, um, what I would recommend you do is sew backwards. Oh, I see. Because obviously, all the machines go in reverse. So, that means I can roll that up, keep it out the way, pop that down. If I just sew that in reverse, it'll, it'll still be as strong as going forward. Yeah. But I can just, it doesn't look quick, unfortunately. Yeah. So we'll just have a little pocket. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's actually a really, no, but it, do you know what? For lipstick and mascara and things like that, the same, those sort of I pockets are Basically, very good. I should have started on the other side. But same thing will happen here. I yeah. now can't get that all the way round yeah. because of the handle. Yeah. So I'm going to need to do the same process here oh. and just pop it into reverse. Yeah. And... But so it works. It, we're so. going to have to go slowly, though, because yeah. it only goes so fast. Well, when you backwards. reverse, you always have to be a little bit slower. Yes, yeah. yeah. OK, yeah. we're nearly there. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's quite yeah. slow going backwards, but it, it's, it's OK. okay. We we're, there, we're there, we're there, we're there. Okay. It's now, if you wanted to go back over it, then you absolutely could come, and come the other way, but um, yeah, I don't think it's too necessary and we'll go forward a couple of steps just to secure that because anything that's going to be a pocket where you're going to be putting stress on the fabric and you're going to be in and out with stress on the stitching and the fabric then it is worth putting a little fixed stitch on and let me take that out okay and there is your extra little pocket which way? I'm going this way there we go there you go. So that's a really nice way to both use the handles and a brilliant idea from Paula there to put the extra kind of hidden pockets in as you go. So what I would then go on and do from there is, as we said before, just make a second one, join them together, and then that's your bag ready to go. But I'll go through some of the demos that we did earlier on so you can have a look at those as well. So I don't know what's left of some of them. But we'll see what we've got. So the first one we did was this little tote bag. And again, it's using some of these MDF handles that we've got. Really, really simple to work with. Now, these handles were much, much easier to do than this one because these ones, you just pop the tube of um, uh, any fabric, but in this case, we used the calico from the One Day Special, pop that through, added that into the seam allowance on the back, Yep. So when we put the double rolled hem on, they were secured into there and initially just made a really straightforward tote bag. And then we bottomed the bottom. These are all on the shows from six o'clock and nine o'clock last night. Bottomed out, boxed out those bottoms and then top stitched along the top just to add a bit of detail and makes a really quick and easy and really solid bag. And I think the mm. handles just add something a bit different. Now, because it's calico, you can throw everything at this. You can add your paint, your stamps, your, your stencils, any of your kind of mediums. And especially if it's something that isn't going to be washed, maybe like a bag, then yeah. brilliant. You can go nuts. Yeah, that's amazing. 
Yeah, and of course, that is using the calico included in the Wonder Special. Now, have a look on the website for everything that we have got, including, of course, sewing machines and irons. Now, but of course, remember those, mm, those happy hour deals that they are very, very busy for them. So please do check out your baskets because those tropical leaves, they already have gone. So if you don't want to miss out on the artsy floral or the viscose pashmina shawl, uh, do please check out your baskets as soon as you can. Remember, those are happy hour deals which means that the price will go up at the end of the hour however the one day is special now limited very very limited stock and I'm not surprised because you know when you are sewing there are things that you are constantly using if you are quilting you need warding here you are getting two meters of poly um, warding which means that it's hypoallergenic it means as far as it means something that if you have to wash it constantly that you have got that security that it's not gonna uh, there is not a shrinkage then you are getting two meters of that calico like Haley was saying uh, that of course is that beautiful calico that you can create hand and bags and things like that embroider on this as well because <gasps> if, you work. if you notice yeah. it's almost got like um, Even you can weave. see the weave yeah. in it and it's because it's a little bit more space than the cotton that's next to it the, yeah. the kind of quilting cotton that's next to it it's actually really nice to stitch on because you can sit kind of not maybe cross stitch level, but you can see where yeah. you want to go. Red work, I think, it would work really yes, nice because also really the nice natural color of the calico will mean that, of course, the red would stand up and it could do it, be done in any color, of course. Then we are getting two meters of cotton, 100% cotton, perfect, of course, for the backing of your quilts. Perfect if you are dressmaking and you want to test a pattern or you want to create your own thing. That would be absolutely phenomenal. Also, I think, like, maybe sometimes for linings of skirts and things like that. Yes. Yeah. Then that I mean, don't just think of this for sewing. Think of this for your mixed media Absolutely. as well. Because all of those fabrics that you've got there, you can stamp on, you can stencil onto, you can throw all you of your fabric paints yeah. and spritzy and bits. If, and if you have got the, uh, you know, those thicker dyes, the steel rule dyes, you will be able to die cut them yeah. as well. So, and think about if you are a kind of power tech sort of person, you know, creating those sculptures that are where this is perfect because it's a hundred percent cotton, so it's natural. Now we are going I to dare say though, even that I think that's such a good poly cotton mix. Yeah. I'd be tempted to at least try, try a swatch try. of that with, yeah. because there's so much cotton in there it will it should still work with power yeah. text no now, problem. Now of course this is the uh, also you are getting two meters of poly mix now all that for 29 pounds and 95 pence it means you have got a 21 pound saving now that price is here until 6 p.m. or until stocks last and we already have we know that we are very limited stocks so if you do not want to miss out check out those baskets 287019 is your item number now we have got the calico and now this is a technical sellout so if you want you know if you have it in your baskets and you want it check out those baskets because now every of our uh, bolts of beautiful calico have been allocated so it means that if you do not check out their basket somebody else will get them now of course we have got a wording and now that is a 10 meter bolt oh, uh, you're really not getting the roll. skinny snowman that's what I think. Yeah, skinny snowman. Or oh, what? Well. Uh, then we have got in here. I love. Look at the softness of that. I'm just are you leave. feeling the fluffy ends again? Yeah. Yeah, this the ends are very fluffy. They are. But I'm also thinking that you could use this. As that's that's how soft Frank was. Like oh, that. Oh, Frank is the dog, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, oh you, you know, you should have brought him in today. Uh, anyways. He can't when you're here all day. It's a bit mean. Yeah, it's a little bit mean. And he's yeah. had a long car journey. Yeah. Right. Does he have a pond to swim yeah, in? Yeah, he has a pond at Matt's house. Uh, oh, yes, of course. Yeah. And a beautiful panda that yes, is. Yes. So, it's, it's, so, it's so uh, of course, and now if you want, like, you're getting 10 meters, it won't come in the roll, it will be folded, but if you are going to get that much amount of wording. Beautiful poly uh, as, as well, so hypoallergenic. You can uh, spread the cost if you want, of course, two payments of 24 pounds and 98 pence, or you can pay it one off payment. The saving of 10 pounds is either in either way of our choices that you choose to pay for, you will have that saving. 833945 is your item number i mean it is massive now if you want some egyptian uh, egyptian muslin uh you have got here two options you can go for the natural that has got that kind of more natural look or the the white one now whichever one you are going to go for it has got uh, you have a two meter pieces it has uh, it did sell out earlier, so it's now back on extended it delivery it's only a, 17th, a couple of uh, dispatch from the 17th of july 
It's just a couple of days, isn't it? It's and just a Now, of I days, love this again for mixed media. Now, it's useful for a lot of other things as well, things like stump work. Oh. When you're doing um, kind of specialist stump embroidery, it's brilliant for, for that. There's a lot of it used in there. And there's, you'll find lots and lots of things. <gasps> I was thinking, because this would be really nice, especially the wide, to do like embroidery, like, um, you know, those kind of things that you dye a little bit of the color and then you kind of like tie dye. Yeah. And then you're creating like um, like embroidery three dimensional yeah. elements into here. Like Absolutely, because it's got like such that. a lot of movement to exactly. it. Exactly. And it's a nice lightweight. Yeah. And it's really nice to stitch into as well. Say you want to make your own kind of pashmina similar to the viscose ones that we've got there. This has got such a kind of nice weave to it that you can weave those sparkly bits in and out or even just light yeah. embroidery flosses in and out. So you could make a version of the pashmina but with 100% yes. cotton. Now, of course, 100% cut, cotton Egyptian. That is Egyptian cotton. So that means that it's a superbly soft yes, and good it is. quality. It's a really well. good quality muslin. So that for nine ninety nine, you are getting two meters of that, whichever we do, white or the natural two six two three one nine, and then uh, pashminas. So if you want a set of five uh, beautiful pashminas that viscous uh, mix in the hair, that means that it's soft, and of course you have the kindness may vary. Yeah. How many is there? Uh, one, two. Okay. Three, four, and five. I thought I thought there was only. I thought one had gone already. Oh. No. <laughs> well, it now uh, you know. It's, it's because those two are quite similar colours. Yeah, they are, these ones look like the same one, but actually, yeah, yeah. they're similar colours. And but I thought I thought <laughs> one had gone already. Contents may vary. Uh, so, you, but you will get five, and you will get five with that softness. You will have that beautiful colours coming through. And of course, it, I think it's a fabulous price for, for a nine ninety nine. I mean, any of those with denim, any of those with a just a black jacket. Yeah. Would go ever now, so well. Oh, they're gorgeous. No. I think I think the uh, the one with the blue with the blue stripes, blue and pink stripes on. I think that one has our double denim Webster all over it. Not this that, one, no, no. The, the this one. Yes, that one. Oh yeah, that's kind of yeah, yeah. That's. I think I you mean, can pull that got, off. It has got that pink kind of coming through, so I yeah, think it would uh, suit his complexion very yeah. well. Um, that, yeah, I think, I think, he would do like that, like that. <laughs> just was. I like that. <laughs> And that's double the length, actually. You've got that folded over, so yeah. it, it, it will be double the length of yeah, that one. Yeah, it is a nice length in here. And, of course, this is really great for also for the, you know, like, for the... Um you know, the, <laughs> you're gonna have it like like for for the neck, so you want to protect if you're you yes. know kind of things like that. So that's yeah. kind of good as well. And I'm kind of making a mess of everything, but um, it's there, all right. So it's it's the last one. You can is. make a mess now. Oh, can I? Can I? You know, it's like, <laughs> can I? Just, no, you can't. Or can I rub myself into this really? Yes. Really let's do that. Oh, imagine if we weren't socially distanced and I could just wrap you up in uh, in batting. I'm gonna try. You're gonna wrap yourself up in batting? Yeah. Okay. Can I go do that? <laughs> yeah, do it. That's fine. <laughs> you just get, no, all the way. All the way. Like, no, all no, the no, way. I can't because of the microphone and also because <laughs> it's too tall. But <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wanted to show the height as well. You know, yeah. it's uh, like no, a really skinny see. snowman, isn't it? It's so, but the details for the wedding is on the screen. D d amazing deal! So do not for do not uh, miss out. And if you don't want to miss out, the only way, of course, is to check out your baskets. When are you back? Hey. Oh, sorry, I was getting back in my chair because I'd wandered oh. off. <laughs> when are you back? Uh, Thursday, Friday. Friday. Okay, Friday. so fabulous. For half so the hour. Lots of splendid deals always mm. with you. Fabric freedom, of course, it is. Check out your baskets. Thank you so much for your company, and I'll see you later. We have got Fiona coming up with Crafting with Clarity and then at 6 o'clock, a studio light, a just look one day special. Jelly Bean happy hour after that. Hachanda News. We are excited to announce that our broadcast hours on Freeview have been extended to 10 p.m. each day. We know that many of you were missing our live shows in the evening and we can't wait to see you there. Hi, I'm Tracy from Paratex UK. Paratex is um, a non-toxic water-based fabric hardener. Whether you're making a sculpture, creating a fantastic canvas, we've got products that can help you to do that. We can all use it. You can 
craft with your children. It doesn't matter what age you are or what ability. When we bring the product to Chanda, you will see the possibilities are absolutely endless. As a family run business, we love being part of the Hachanda family. So watch the PowerTech shows on Hachanda for some fantastic creative fun. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. The John Next Door brand is designed to bring high quality, innovative products to the crafting market. The range includes stamps, dies, and new products such as the media plates. I'm also looking to expand the brand and bring you lots of new techniques, new ideas, and new products into the next few years. So don't forget to tune in and watch the John Next Door shows on Hachanda. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount off, sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888. So, don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and a members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Hello and welcome to the second of our fantastic uh, groovy hours. Yes, we've got a fantastic hour for you with the lovely Barbara Gray and I'll be hopefully speaking to Paul in a moment. This is brand new, proving very popular, the groovy A4 parchment embossing plate, uh, the three-way tall letterbox alpha bet. And if I just show you these very quickly, you can see the quality of those crisp, clean lines. So really, really beautiful. There we go. Uh, I think Paul is ready anyway, so uh, let's say hello to Paul. We can talk about these new concepts. Hello, Paul. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, can you, because I, I know we had the earlier show, but I'm, obviously I wasn't party to that. Can you tell me about the, the brand news that we've got on the show today then, Paul? 
That's right. So Barbara came up with the idea and uh, turned things into um, a pretty way. We do um, two-way only um, alphabet adapts. Uh, Barbara said these would work fantastic as a groovy play. So when you look at the play, what you're going to get is you can trace it out exactly how it's been designed, mm -hmm. where you get, get that beautiful sort of double layer. Yeah. But then the groovy system, you can then separate them out. So the display board you're showing there yeah. is that double line. So it gives you, trace it out exactly how it comes, and that's what it gives you. Yeah. Then if we move on to the next display board, yeah. um, one, one that's got the thinner alphabet on, that's it. Yeah. So that's the inner part. So now we've got a completely different looking alphabet yeah. uh, using the inner part. Mm -hmm. And the final one is more sort of funky and more sort of trendy. You've got the beautiful, it's like a bubble effect. So really you're getting three different alphabets, both uppercase, lowercase and verses as well. Um, all on that one plate. So if you wow. imagine if we were to do three separate plates, you'd be looking at sixty pounds. Yes. Um, we don't do that. We cram as much as we can onto the groovy plates um, and gives it the versatility. So for me, this is the the latest must-have essential groovy plate. Gosh, and that will fit with our groovy mate. Is that right? It, this is a standalone plate. Oh, standalone uh, plate. It's A4, so it's the yeah. actual same size as the plate mate that comes in the starter kit. Right. Um, right. So it doesn't really require a plate mate. Otherwise, as Barb said in her previous demo, um, it would literally just sort of fill the whole coffee table. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Wow, that is fantastic value for money, and it's proving very popular, Paul. Just while you're with me, can I quickly ask about the dandelions? Um, these beautiful uh, new timeless ones that we've got here as well, the stencil set there as well. Uh, so in 2019, this was the craft along. So people, you know how the craft along works. People buy the product mm -hmm. up front, and then it's a one-to-one a -one live um, sort of with Barbara in the studio. Um, so these were designed by the lovely Mel Turner, and we've got the set of beautiful stamps. And in the previous hour, Barbara showed you how the little panels at the bottom, they tessellate, um, so you can get much more out of it. Um, so for this one, you've got the stamp and the stencil that has that really good five pound saving. Fantastic. Absolutely gorgeous. That, that is that is amazing. And then we've got the lovely aperture set then as well, haven't we, as well? That, uh... That's right. So again, the same design. You've got the five down to lion um, four by four aperture die. Um, beautiful, beautiful artwork. Um, and Barbara showcased this on her blog last night, which is barbagrayblog.com. Um, and it, it's just so elegant. And when you see what the design team have done with it, um, cutting them up and turning them into wreaths, just putting some um, glitter in the background, so, so beautiful. They really are. Gorgeous. Well, listen, Paul, I'm going to let you go simply because we've got so many fantastic Barbara demonstrations that I want to get on the show in this, this last hour of, of the plate. But lovely to talk to you, and I hope it's not long before we get to see you again soon. Take care, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you, Paul. Thanks for taking the time to speak to us today. Yes, indeed. We've got a lot of fantastic um, videos, obviously, that Barbara's put together using the plates. So I'm quite keen to get that started. Uh, if we're ready to go, we'll go straight to Barbara then. Earlier, we looked at the stamps. And so now we're going to look at the stencil, the dandelion stencil that comes with the stamps. Beautiful, beautiful design. One of my favourites, actually, by Mel Turner. So this is actually what we did in the classroom last year. And I thought we'd take another look at this, but um, similar but different. Let's do it similar but different. Now, this one, when, I, when we did this last time, we used the, the petite gel presses. See, I took the square one and I squished it through the the stencil and that's how we got the background and then this was run through a machine and that's how we got so we're going to do the same thing but instead of using the petites um, I'm going to go with the six by six gel press so we all like a gel press with a stencil don't we I mean this this particular design will lend itself beautifully to to all sorts of applications look these were lovely as well we did these little do you remember these little personality notelets I liked those as well. Again, gel press prints, that was the, the, the waste, wasn't it? So let's take a look. We're just going to, I'm going to put it on a, a mega mount. I 
put my gel press on a mega mount. I put it on a piece of white card so you could see what I'm doing. Then I'm going to take my stencil and I'm going to attach my stencil completely to the clean. There you go. I'm going to attach it completely to the clean uh, gel press. Right, that'll do. Then enter the sponges, spot on sponges we're going to use. So we use a couple of those and I also want to use my Distress Oxides. These are lovely. So different, one for each colour so that we don't contaminate. And what we'll do is we'll start with the lightest colour. Let's take the lids off and then we'll get going. And what we're going to do, I mean, you could do this, but it's quite wet and you get quite a blistery effect. So if we want to get it more um, subtle, then this is a much better option. The good thing about the good thing about the uh, distress oxides on the gel press is that they don't dry so fast, right? So, so I'm just randomly adding yellow. See, it's a good thing that I've got a clean gel press this time, so I can actually see where the colours are going. So that's useful. And so what we're going to do is just add a little bit of colour here and there, like so, and then we'll just fill the background with colour. So I think I'll go with the pink next and again let's just, less is more, you'll find that when you do this you'll get a better impression if it's not too dark, better to add layers. Um, let's have a go here. So now we're just going to come in here like so. Right. We don't want too many stripes you see so that's why we make a mushroom like that and then we can blend into the yellow. It's nice. When you go in with the pink, you get lovely oranges and blends. That's what we're doing here in effect is we're, we're blending colours. So when I go in over the yellow with the pink, I'm going to get another lovely peachy colour. It's great the way it works. So once I've done that, see, then I'll take my blue. I'm going with the darkest last. So we'll go in with the salty ocean and we'll start, look, it's very wet, isn't it? So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go easy. So I'll just distribute some of the blue where I want to put it. That's a better idea, isn't it? See, so you put a bit of it here and there. And then once you've done that, then you can go in and just move it around a bit. So now we're just going to go in and dab, 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 gently does it. So I mean, there's no rush because the ink's not going to dry so quickly. See, with acrylic paint, you've got a bit of a jog on, haven't you? You've got to run because it dries quite quickly. So once we've got the colour in place, we want to make sure that we've got all the areas coloured, covered as well. Otherwise, we'll have blank spots, which we don't want. So bear with me while I add a little bit more because it's worth, it's worth the trouble. It's worth, it's worth just trying. It better... To go over twice, then miss a bit. That's that's a fact. So we'll just add a little bit like this, I reckon. It's not too long, only a couple of minutes. Didn't take long, did it really? But I reckon we've got pretty much all the colour that we need on there. Because I tell you what's telling me that is that I'm looking at the stencil and the stencil is covered. See, as long as the stencil's covered, then I've probably got all the background too, because I'm trying to get two pieces of artwork out of this, aren't I? So now I'm going to lift this off, like so, and pop that to one side. So I've got a lovely inky stencil. We're going to use that in a minute, plan two. And now we've got this one, haven't we? So what we're going to do now is pull a print. So if I, let's see, if I turn this around now, right, that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to add any water or anything. And then if I turn that round and then I press on there, I mean, this is really simple, isn't it? Then I'm going to press on my gel press, my six by six. And that's why it's so good that it's on our, on our block. I mean, we came up with that idea many years ago when we started with the jelly plates. And I think it was a game changer. So then I turn this over and I'll just rub the back and we should be able to pull a really beautiful inky print. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? You see? And you've got that really cloudy background as well, which is, look, it's really subtle. Isn't it pretty? And I've been quite delicate in my colours 
See, you've got a little bit of blue, a little bit of pink. Nice. Isn't it lovely? So that's demo number one. Let me show you, if you go much, much darker, look, it's the same colours, but just a lot more ink. Entirely up to you, which you prefer. You know, I think I know which one I... Oh, I can't say that. I like them both. But now what we're going to do, we're going to use our stencil that's covered in ink to, um, to try and pull another print. So let's just take that off there like so. Right, get that out of the way. Come in and join me because I'm going to, I'm going to, I stand for this job. And I've got my machine ready, my die cutting machine, because I need a mangle, I need a bit of pressure to push this through. And so what I want to do now is I'll get my plates. I'm going to make a sandwich, right? So I've got my plates. I've got a rubber shim because I'm going to emboss. But what I'm going to do is put a piece of plastic down on the rubber shim so that the card doesn't stick. Sometimes you put so much pressure on it. Have you noticed that? So you just put a bit of plastic. All it is is a, a, a pocket cut in two. That'll do, right? And then I'm going to take my stencil card. See, there is a system here. The stencil card is the same size as the stencil, you know, uh, is the same size as the mega mount. So it all works together really well. And I'm going to put my, my card on there. Then what I'm going to do is put my stencil on there. But to reactivate, I want to reactivate the, the ink on the stencil. So I need some water. So what I'll do is, I'll just, uh, let's get it going first. So I, one, two, three, right. One, two, three, four, five. That'll do. Who knows? Ah, oh, unpredictable art. It might bleed a little bit, but I'll show you one that I, where I overcooked it and it came out so lovely, I used it in another project. So then we're gonna lay that down like so, like that, right. And then we're going to make our sandwich complete. So that will do like that. Oh, hope it didn't slide. And then we'll put it through the mangle. It's all right. The gel press is, if you haven't got one, get one. It's a game changer. It's a fantastic piece of kit. She said, this is always so exciting if it works. Let's have a look. If it bled, it bled, but it's all right because I got one I did earlier. But it, it's, it's, yeah, no, it's gorgeous. Look, look at that. It's so, so beautiful. And what we've done is we've transferred the, the ink from here to there. Look. And so when you, and I love the outside. Look, check it out. It looks so pretty around the outside. See the bleed? And it's just, look, what a gorgeous print. And what's interesting is when you turn it over, a little bit of a bleed on this side. Let's see if you can see. Yeah, see how it's embossed because of the shim underneath. Mm. So, in true Barbie style, I did actually do one just in case. So you can see just by transferring. See, this is interesting as well. Obviously, when I did this one, I put the stencil around the other way. So you've actually got reversibles, haven't you? But what's gorgeous is when you add water, see if I come up a bit. Actually, third camera's better on this. If you add water to distress oxides, look what happens. See how it gets all mottled? It's really gorgeous. Really gorgeous. So there you go. That was a twofer. With one little stencil that comes with the stamps, you go, you've got the, the original print from the, um, from the gel press, with the ink on the gel press, and then you've got the, the second one too, the, the, the negative, where you're just cleaning the stencil basically by running it through a die cutting machine. And then I wanted to end on this now. Look at that as a die, just in black. What a glorious die. What a cut. That's just a paper cut to die for, isn't it? It's just beautiful. And what I did was, I thought, because I did this one and I overcooked it. I made it too wet. i tell you what it was. I'll show you where I got that from. I spritzed this with water and then I got that. But there's not enough on here, I know that. 
but the first one round there was enough so I spritzed it and I did that and then I, I thought well hmm not sure but once it dried I thought I actually really like that and it will make a fantastic background for the same design in, in, in dyes wouldn't it so, so stay tuned because Paul is going to show you another trick with these very very lovely dyes beautiful beautiful dies yeah indeed and obviously the stamps here and the stencil and then we have got a, a groovy plate as well but let me just show you some of the designs here um, this is using the stencil and uh, your inks and uh, the micron pen um, loads the design team has sent in so many different variations this is Jane's from the team and then we've got this beautiful one as well because the stamps as well you can use with them that's gorgeous, isn't it, as well? That was Claire's. Again, very different again. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. Um, Sam, stunning, isn't it? The variations that you can create through the stencil. Again, that one's Andy. Um, and then I love this. It's different, isn't it, with the black and the white. That's Sam's again. How pretty is this with the fairies? Um, gorgeous, isn't it? And then, again, look at that. Maria's so many different variations just using the same stencils um you know just so many different ways to use the stamps as well isn't there that was sam's um d's oh i don't know if it, that's just go look at that isn't that beautiful debbie's i know isn't that beautiful you wouldn't think so many different variations just using the stamps and the stencil set there the funky dandelions so gorgeous 19 pounds and 98 there zero zero two two one brand new today five pound saving 19 pounds and 98 um and don't forget we've got that lovely um cutting die as well of that as well as the uh, groovy plate which we'll come to in a moment but i do want to come to the brand new today this groovy plate which you can use on its own as paul was explaining you didn't need the groovy mate for this one um and it is a three-way for the alphabet a three-way tall letterbox alphabet so you can see that you've got this wonderful ornate way of doing the alphabet the numbers um, your ordinals there and your sentiments and then so that comes out like this on your parchment Yeah, gorgeous. Is it, I never always get it. I always remember wrong. Is it ordinals or the ambersons? Ordinals, yeah, uh, and then <laughs> I always get it wrong. And then if you just use the inner you get a finer if I show you that Together you can see the difference can't you you get that fine. So if you just use the inner part you get a much finer font and writing there the both the lower and the uppercase which is brilliant and then you can contrast that again this is the third way by using the outer so again you see the difference there much larger bigger to fill there um, almost almost a funky sort of more sort of a bubble writing there so three way three eight four one eight two nineteen ninety nine and as Paul said you know if you're going to create three plates that would be sixty pounds but that versatile plate means that you've got those three different ways within which to use your beautiful parchment and uh, the actual fantastic plate itself yeah and there's another one using the parchment again glorious isn't it great saving there brand new today 384182 improving very very popular um, obviously we've got the stencil set there and those funky dandelions and we've got the die and obviously the plate as well coming up so let's go back to Paul now and have another demonstration hi thanks for joining me for this demo we're going to concentrate on the beautiful dandelion groovy plates and this is where we're heading. So what I've done is I've combined the beautiful dandelions with Tina's funky little birds in the Groovy Go Starter Kit and then the beautiful um, three-way overlay um, new Groovy Plate. So really simple but really effective. And then I've just combined it with the Waimea Falls as background paper to give it some real depth to there. So really, really simple. Um, and what we're gonna do to start off with is I've taken my Pico rectangles and I've already die cut and introduced the two double lines to give me my outside frame. So then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the little funky plate mate that comes in the Groovy Go starter kit. Now, if you've already got our existing starter kit, the larger one, these plates will go in there, um, and then what you would do, you'd have an adapter plate for them to work. 
So I'm going to take the, I love this beautiful design, absolutely gorgeous. So if you wanted to, you could just trace it out exactly as it is, and then it becomes a card. But we're going to sort of play around and create our own um, piece of artwork. So I've got my piece of parchment, let's say, that's already got the double lines in place. And then what I'm going to do is I'll just give this a quick wipe with a tumble dry sheet. I've done it once already. Um, but I'll give it another wipe anyway. And then we're gonna decide exactly where we want our main dandelion to go. So I reckon just about there. So we'll take some of the groovy tabs that comes in the accessories kit. And then what I can do is just tape that, oops, tape that onto the plate mate to start to create my design. Talk about perfectionist. Right, there we go. And I'm gonna take my groovy guard to lean on. Now I'm using the groovy tools that come in the big starter kit. You do get a tool in the groovy go. Um, and then all we're gonna do is just trace out our beautiful design, remembering to stop at the frame. So we'll just trace that out. Use my groovy guard to to lean on it's just these designs are just so funky um, and can be used for various different occasions um, great for men's cards I just love the the artiness of it and the great thing with the groovy system is that you get that crisp clean line art every single time so all I'm gonna do to start off with is just trace out the main dandelion here, just so that you can see exactly how it works. Now you notice if I go too fast, they jump out. And if that happens, then you haven't got to worry because it's only gonna go um, to where the embossed line art is. So you can see now how we've got that beautiful crisp line art really really nice and easy i mean look at that absolutely and it's perfectly raised there's no and if i have missed a bit i know that i can pop it back into place line it back up and carry on so what i'm going to do because i know time is of the essence so to speak here's one that i've already completed in relation to my layout and all i've done i've taken that one there that we've just traced out. I've taken this one and popped it down there. And then what I did was I put this one in at an angle. So you bring the work to you and you just sort of play around. And then I just added in a couple of the leaves. Okay. Now the other plate in the collection is really nice. I mean, I love this one as well. So you could do exactly the same. You could mix and match. Um, you've got a real, it's a beautiful pair of um, A6 plates. So it just shows the versatility. I mean, these are great for doing colouring in. You could, if you're at that stage, you could do your Pico cutting. Absolutely gorgeous. Then what I'm going to do in the Groovy Go starter kit, you get these two funky plates designed by the lovely Tina Cox. And I'm going to take these little birds from here. And we're going to pop the little bird so he's coming out on the top of this one. Okay, so we'll just pop him in there. I'm gonna hold it down with my groovy tabs. Where's that other one gone? There it is. So that's gonna go just there. And then all I'm gonna do is just trace in the bits. So he's sort of sitting in the flower head. Let me just trace that out. I'm going to put his little bits on top. I went a little bit close on this one. On my other one, I've gone further apart, but it doesn't matter. This is just to show you how you can sort of build it up. So we're going to put that one there. See, so now he's peeking out from behind. And then on the other plate that comes in the groove we go, You've got the little funky flying bird. And I'm going to pop him 
just about there. So again, mix and match all the plates that you've got to build up your design. Um, I just think these plates are absolutely gorgeous that come in the Groovy Go Starter Kit. And they've, as, they've got Tina style written all over them. So we'll just trace out these little bits here. Okay, so that's our little birdie in flight. So we can see now how it's sort of starting to come together. And then I love this brand new plate. Hopefully there's still some stock available. Well, by, well we'll see. Um, so you've got the beautiful uppercase and lowercase alphabet. You've got words already on there. So I've got choices. I can do the double bubble. I can do the outer. I can do the inner. But I'm just going to keep it simple. And I'm just going to go with 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 love so I'm going to pop that on my plate tape that down with my groovy tabs and then because this is quite delicate I'm going to go with the inner line art um, so I'm just going to carefully trace out but this is great now I'm not going to worry about the, the positioning between the letters because I think the positioning on this particular card works quite well. But I know in Barbara's other demo, um, if you watch on Rewind, it'll, she'll show you how you can sort of bring the letters closer together more easily. So we're just going to trace out. See, and again, I'm not worried about making a mistake with my spelling because this the words are already there. So really, it's just like tracing out another design, but it just happens to be a word. So we'll just complete our sentiment. Nice and easy. That one there. And look how quick and simple and easy that is. So this now has given me my layout. Simple, but really effective. Now, I could have done this on designer parchment or colored parchment, and then I wouldn't have to worry about introducing anything else. But I just wanted to show you how you can add some color. And I, what I did first was I chose my backing paper first. So I've gone with this beautiful Waimea Falls 8x8, and I've just die cut it using the nested rectangle Pico dies. So it ties in, was there? See again, that just on there, you've got the beautiful landscape. Shenandoah is another great one with beautiful landscapes on it. So then what I wanted to do was just introduce a little bit of color. And I've already made a start. And all I'm doing is I'm taking a selection of the um, Pergo liner pencils. So these are the B pencils, we've gone with the wax ones. And all I'm gonna do is just put some color in very lightly just at the top, because what I want to do, when we look at the back, you can see I've got a really nice blend of colorways. So I'm going to put some blue down, and then let's live dangerously, let's go with a bit of red, and I'm just going to overlap slightly into that blue. Okay, and then just follow that through, and then I reckon let's go wild and we'll go some yellow towards the bottom. Now what I love about the pencils is that you get the vibrancy of the colour which you can build up on top of it, one on top of the other. But if I make a mistake, then I can rub it out completely. So I'm gonna take my Dorso oil, I'm gonna pop a little bit just on the sponge there. It smells lovely. I'm gonna take my blending pen and I'll take it. In here I've got ones that colours I've already used, so I've got a yellow, so I'm going to start with the yellow, so I might as well use one that I've used previously. And then I'm just going to pick up some of the oil, I'm going to dab it onto the sponge to get rid of the excess, and then I'm just going to start with all the yellows first, and I'm just blending that in up into the red. Okay. And then once I've done all my yellow, I can then go back in and then blend in the red. And slightly going into 
the blue as well. I don't know where this time has gone, it's literally just flown by, just like the little birdie. And then all I'm going to do now is just bring blue in, pick up a little bit more oil. And then I can get a real nice sort of blend of colourways. Now if I think, oh actually I've just ruined it, I want to start again, I can. I can just take the eraser pencil and just blend out and remove that colour. See really that for me, I've just killed that blue. So if I take my eraser, I'm just going to get rid of that just at the tops. I'm going to take my blue pencil again, go back in, and then I think this time I will go with a clean nib or a blue nib if I've got one in my pot. Let's have a look. Let's go clean, just to keep it simple. Pick up some oil, and then just start to break that down and as it goes into the red then I get a nice colour tone, a nice blend of colour. And I can go back in and intensify the colour as well. And because some of that oil hasn't evaporated yet, it just sits on top and then gives me nice blend. Okay, so then what I would do, I'd complete the little bird, but I know we're running really short on time. And then what I've done, I've taken my Pergamano ruler and I've taken a red pencil and then I've gone into that little narrow border just there. Repeat the same process with the blending pen because if you use your ruler you'll get that nice and straight and then we're just going to attach that with a couple of brads so we've got the brads on the show and then what that does it gives me a different color tone on the one we've finished here so i hope you've enjoyed that and i'll see you again soon I did enjoy that. How beautiful did that card come together? And uh, if you want to start this crafting, this is the kit that can do it for you in terms of so simple, so precise, so brilliant to use. This is your starter kit. And uh, there you've got the Groovy Mate plate. You've got your parchment starter kit in there as well. You've got those two plates that Paul uh, was just talking about. Uh, and you've got your mat there as well. And you've got your tool there as well. And uh, you, like I said, the and then you've got the carry case that it all fits beautifully into. So this can really get you started on your journey and so easy to use. I mean, within a matter of minutes, the professionality of that beautiful car was gorgeous, wasn't it? Now it's got a freedom discount on it as well, £26.95, you're saving £8.99. Um, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I mean, the travel case alone is worth £10.99 and that's in there as well. So even if you're not a Freedom Club member, £29.94, £567.497. Now, Paul used with that uh, these two new plates as well um, these fantastic dandelion plates um, I think maybe they had been on before I'm not sure he said or in a, in a, in a Maybe it was in a craft long. Yes, yeah, sorry, they're new to me, but they have been on before. But wow, it's well worth revisiting. Uh, you've got them as a pair, and they fit into that lovely Groovy Mate plate. £11.98, 681954. But I just want to show you some of the fantastic uh, cards that the team have done. This is Sheila's. Isn't that gorgeous? I know he's, he was on about, oh, I think I might have just ruined it now. I don't know how you can. It was just gorgeous. Jane's there. Um, we've got another one there from Glynis. These really are Josie, and these are just using... Yeah, the starter plan and those lovely parchment papers, the papers, card paper stock that uh, um, Barbara brings out. Really, really beautiful, aren't they? Look at this. This is so cute. How gorgeous is that? So many different variations with your parchment. £11.98 for the Funky Dandelions pair. Now, we mentioned the die, so let's bring you that one as well, the Dandelion uh, die. So let me just show you this around. This is a 4x4 deluxe 
cut in inch die. So this is the five dandelion uh, aperture. And this is also brand new on the show today. Introductory price there, £73, £11.90. 155950. I'm just going to show you a couple of these because they really are exquisite. And um, the one we saw on the stand there is by Wendy. But this one we've got, this is Maria's. I mean, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Keeping it simple in the black and the white there. Uh, and the foil there as well. That is gorgeous, isn't it? And then with your, your glitter card and that lovely card stock that Barbara produces as well. And I think this is the one, uh, that was Wednesday's, this is the one I showed you earlier, wasn't it, by Sheila. Isn't that gorgeous? So again, so many different variations. D's there, beautiful. And then overlayering it twice there as well. Sheila's again. Isn't that gorgeous? So, so many different variations using that beautiful aperture die. Superb quality. 11.99.155.950. I'm keen to get in that third demonstration for you. I believe, I think it's using this die now. So, let's introduce you to that and then we'll have a quick catch up on everything new today. Hi, thanks for joining me. For this demo, we're going to do two for one. It's a technique that Barbara came up called Trap the Scrap. So, when we have a look at this one here, you can see that the background looks as if it's embedded within the die cut. And this is a technique that Barbara came up with called trap the scrap. And then what we're also gonna do with the waste, which is the actual die cut itself, is we're gonna make the second card. So where do we start? Okay, so what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna take my cutting plates and I'm gonna take a piece of the um, designer petite toppers and for this one, I have used the Waimea Falls. And I've just trimmed it down so that we've got a piece that measures five by five. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our beautiful five dandelions die and we're gonna die cut it. But the key thing about this is that the waste that we normally throw away is what we're going to keep. So in order to do that, Barbara came up with the idea of if you just spritz the dye lightly with some water. So what I'll do is I'll just bring this in and we'll just give that a little spritz with some water, not too much, just enough to, to give it a little coating. And then we'll bring a piece of card back into play and then we're gonna position that in the middle because we're not gonna waste the actual die cut itself. This is gonna give us our second card. So next I'm gonna take a piece of low tack tape and I'm just gonna hold the die in position whilst we run it through the die cutting machine. Now, all of our dies work in all leading die cutting machines. Um, you're just restricted on the size of the mouth of your machine, depending on how big a card you want to. So what we're gonna do now is just run that through the machine. So whilst that's running through, we'll have a look of what we've done. So the bit we're interested in here is the actual background itself. Okay, so I'll have a look at that while I just take this out of the machine. And then we carefully open up the layers. There we go. Now the key thing here is to remove the low tack tape first. So we'll gently peel that off. There we go, nice and easy does it. Pop that to one side. And now we need to flip. So the easiest way of doing that is to put your hand there, turn it over, and then slide your plate off. Okay, and then we're gonna pop that down onto our mat. Now carefully remove the poly bag so that we don't get any static. I'm just slowly peeling that back. And then the next thing we need to do is to actually remove the die cut itself. So all I'm gonna do is just gently ease the die cut out of the die so that we don't dislodge any of the pieces that we would normally throw away. Okay, so you just take your time and just gently ease it out of the die. Nice and steady. Our fingers crossed, we'll get all of this out in one go without dislodging anything. There we go. So this is what we would normally use. We'll just bring that over. 
This is what we'd normally use, and this would be our die cut. So you can see it's created a beautiful aperture die, but we're gonna use this for the second cars. Now, because I moved it slightly, luckily it was only the larger pieces that moved slightly. So what I can do is just reposition them back into place so that they're in the right position. So what I'm gonna do is just use a tool just to help me get that back in place. Okay, so I'm happy that all the bits are where they should be. And again, this is the bit that we would normally throw away. Okay. So now what we do is we take, I've taken a piece of the A4 double sided adhesive and I've just cut that down so it's bigger than my die. I'll peel off the backing and then I'm going to use my two finger trick that Barbara came up with where you just hold it either side and then just gently hover over the top and position. Now once it's down, it's down. Now because this one's quite intricate, a really good tip from Barbara is if you take, I'm using my finger just to press in because what we want to do is trap all of the waste onto the double sided adhesive. So a good thing for that is if you've got an eraser pencil or something with a, a soft end, you just rub it into all those little areas so that it really sticks to the double sided adhesive. Okay, so we're just going to work our way round. Just make sure that that's pressed in nice and tightly. It's a, it's a fantastic technique. And to get, once you get the hang of it, it's really, really addictive. And you can do this with most of our uh, beautiful fresh cut dies, just dependent on the design. So now what we're gonna do is slowly tease away the die. And as you slowly pull it away, if there's anything left, if it anything's still in the die, then see look, there's a few little bits just there. So all I'm gonna do is go back and then I can use my tool just to poke through because there's some really tiny intricate pieces on this die. And then we're just gonna peel it back slowly. And as you do it, you'll see that all of the scrap is being caught on the double sided adhesive. And I'm just working round, slowly teasing it away. I've got a few little bits there, so I can just press, make sure I get it all. Up right there. And then slowly tease it away. And then before I remove it completely, I just check that I've got all the bits that I need, which I have, and then remove the die. So not only have you got a nice clean die, but you've now got this piece of artwork, which is the waste, which we'd normally throw away. So the next thing we're gonna do is, I've already die cut the actual die itself onto a black piece of card. And we just need to make sure that this is nice and flat. And then we're just going to hover over the top and you sort of line it up and you can feel it, whoops, didn't help you to stick to your fingers. So we're going to, where am I going? There we go. So I'm looking at two key points just to get it lined up. And then just gently press that into pound. Going very, very gently to start with. And then on the strands, we can see, we can just press that into place. And now it's embedded and it's it gives sort of like a, a dimensional feel to it. And I'm just going to turn it over and just rub from the back to make sure it's completely in place. So now when we look at that, it is, it's really, it's difficult to see on the camera, but when you look at it close up, you can see you've got all the embossed detail from the waste embedded within the die cut. So then the next thing I'm gonna do 
is to do some matting and layering. So I've taken one of our car blanks, I've taken a piece of the um, same designer paper. So for this I used the petite toppers, the card, and now I've used the same in the eight by eight paper and just trimmed that down to size. And you can see I've got the really vibrant side or I've got the softer tones as well. So I'm gonna go with the softer tones and then we'll just peel the backing off of there, nice and easy. Bring that into place. Now I'm going to use the same two finger trick to position. There we go. So that's stuck down nice and firmly. And then we'll take some double sided tape or a glue runner just to position this onto my car blank. And we're going to pop that into place. Look at that, beautiful. But it needs something to finish it off. So to finish it off, I'm gonna bring in a sticker book collection. So we've got Barbara's Sticker Words, Leone's, and then we've got the Clarity Christmas and Celebrations. Now for this one, I'm gonna go with Barbara's stickers. So you've got them in white and you've got them in black. And I'm gonna go with the same one that I've used on the other one. And this one says time for reflection. Then I can position this exactly where I want it to go. So that's that one finished. And then do you remember earlier we die cut the actual die itself? So for that, all I'm gonna do to give me my two for one is just attach it to a car blank. So I'm gonna use my zig glue pen. So you can use like a, um, a quickie glue pen. You just want little bits of glue just in certain areas, just to hold it in place. Because it's so intricate. And I can just go along and just put some glue into some key places, just so that it'll hold it down. And then I'll take my tape runner, go around all four sides. There we go. Pick that up, position that onto my card. Again, hold that down. I'm not gonna rub on the front. Remember, turn it over and rub from the back, and then you're not gonna catch anything. There we go, so that's all stuck down nice. And then we're gonna go for another of Barbara stickers. Um, let's have a look. Let's see, dreams come true. Yeah, I quite like that one, let's go with that one. Dreams come true. So then we're gonna position that just there. And now we've got our two for one. So all it's taken is a couple of um, card blanks and some double-sided adhesive and it's all done. But look how different they look by using the different elements of it. So I hope you've enjoyed that and I'll see you again soon. Yes, absolutely brilliant, that aperture. No waste. I absolutely love that. And if you do get a chance to have a look at those sticker books, they are brilliant because I remember them from before. Really useful, all different fonts and the white on the black and the black on the white. Really well worth taking a look-see and having a look ahead on the web. Um, now, we have got the uh, the three-way tall uh, groovy plate here, the letterbox alphabet, because basically it's doing three plates. It's doing the job of three plates in one. So rather than spend £60 on three separate plates, what Barbara has come up with is a fantastic embossing plate that creates that lovely intricate um, three-way alphabet, the ordinals and the lowercase and some sentiments on there as well. So every part of it is jam-packed with uh, the words there and the little frames as you can see. So that is the ornate one with the three-way. Now if you look closely you can see it's made up of the lines there. So you can just use the inner line which gives you this alphabet. I'll just hold them side by side so you can see, um, no sorry that's the outer one. Just hold them side by side so you can see the inner one. 
There we go. So that's the inner line. You can just use that to create a much finer font, as it were, um, a, a smaller, more delicate, finer font, but still loads of clarity, loads of detail, and, and a beautiful font in itself. And then we can take that to the outer line, as it were, on the groovy plate, which creates almost like a sort of more sort of a funkier sort of a bubble writing, as it were. So to show you those for the contrast. And this is why this plate has proven so popular, because you're getting three in one. To have that versatility of creating all those three different fonts, all of those different ordinals, the numbers, the lowercase, and the uh, best wishes and what have you is amazing for a phenomenal 19.99. So uh, rather than create three plates, you've got it all in the one there. 384182, brand new today, and I'm sure you agree, a brilliant investment there. Uh, invention as well by Barbara and the team. Now, the dandelions, the dapper dandelions, these are beautiful as well. Now, this is your stencil and your stamp set. So, again, it works in cohesion with the, the whole sort of idea of those funky dandelions there. £19.98. You've got some beautiful stamps and the stencil to create some gorgeous cards. That's it in the black and white. I do love, you see those ones on the bottom there? I do love that because you can build up a really big picture with those as, as, as I saw earlier uh, on this card. Look at that. They can create an entire background. Isn't that gorgeous? But in themselves, stunning, stunning designs. That one is Jane's and that one there as well. Isn't that beautiful? So, so many different variations with that stencil and those stamps. £19.98, 000221. Do check ahead on the web as well for the Clarity stamp um, branding as well, so you can see anything that we haven't shown you on the counter today. Now, this is that beautiful 4x4, fantastic aperture die, which means you do not use the waste. It's cutting it into it, as it were. Um, it uses, you know, with most die cutting machines there, gorgeous. So you can create so much more than just the die cut itself. You can layer, you saw Paul there, create two beautiful, beautiful cards out of the one set as it were. So nothing is wasted. So you're really uh, getting your money's worth there in terms of those die cuts. So really, really pretty. Let me show you some of the other ones there that we haven't seen. There we go, gorgeous, aren't they? 11.99, And again, to work, in cohesion with that. So they were all the brand news. This one we have on the show as well. It used with Groovy Mate. Uh, again, we saw this in the demonstration with Paul. Two of these fantastic dandelion plate pairs there. £11.98, 681954. And if you use it with the Groovy Starter Kit there as well, you get that parchment in there and the Plate Mate, which is also very useful as well. So some gorgeous samples from Barbara and the team here. I'm sure you agree. Absolutely gorgeous there. Beautiful. Look at that one there. This is from Karen. <gasps> Stunning. Okay, and last but not least, we have the starter kit. So if you're thinking, oh, I feel quite inspired by Groovy, why shouldn't you? Because Barbara is such a leader in her craft. Um, a fantastic starter kit here to get you on that journey. And this, again, is what Paul used. These two fantastic plates here. You've got your Groovy tool. You've got your actual travel case worth ten ninety nine. You've got your mat. Um, you've got your parchment there. And you've got that Groovy mate there as well um, with the plates, obviously. Uh, oh, amazing discount there as well. If you're a Freedom Club member, £26.95, If you're not a Freedom Club member, you're still saving £6, £29.94. There's loads more if you shop by brand of plates to go in with the Groovy Mate as well. But obviously everybody's loving the Alphabet one, which is brand new today as well. well it's been a pleasure. Thank you to Paul. Thank you to Barbara for supplying those videos. Absolutely fantastic. No doubt you'll be able to watch quite a few of those on Rewind. I think the earlier show was at 1 o'clock today. So if you want to rewind watch that uh, because we've shown different demonstrations on the show today with the products then please do go back and watch those and there'll be some more fantastic ideas uh, using the brand new plates on the show today don't want you to go anywhere though because obviously we will have a new one day special to launch yes it is that time i'm looking at the, i'm looking at the clock there six o'clock uh, thank you for watching we'll let you know what's coming up next and uh, don't forget to check out your baskets and shop ahead on the web Yes, we're going to launch the Studio Light one day special with the lovely Lou and Paola. And then we've got Jelly Bean Crafts Happy Hour with Paola. And then I will join Lou for another revisit of the one day special to follow this evening. 
Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Jean and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. We also have a great little team of other artists, friends, who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and Crafting with La Blanche. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on the channel. Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm Vicky. We are the Stamping Sisters from Stam Headaches. We started our family run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda, we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hochanda. Haven't we got a very, very special one day special? How exciting it is! Is the TV launch of a brand new, of course, products from 
Well, just Lou. And we know, you know who we, we refer when it's just Lou. Of course, it is the amazing, the one, uh, Lou Withers. How are you? I'm really, really, uh, I don't know. Excited? Yeah, I'm like that now. I'm just like, whoa. It's... Well, first of all, I want to congratulate because it is a phenomenal collection. Now, Thank you. Uh, the one day is special. I'm going to, before anything, because we are already incredibly busy. I'm really, very busy. Now, there is a complete collection. So, all this. This is the whole thing. Let's just, uh, we have got social distancing, just come in. Now we have got an amazing complete collection and that complete collection means that you are getting all the brand new release from uh, Lou Withers. Now it is by, m manufactured by Studio uh, Lloyd. You know, there are dyes, there are stencils, there are stamps, there, are, there is, uh, you know, blocks of die cuts. There is, of course, even a clipboard that is very special. Everything is extraordinary. Everything has been put together with care. Everything has got, well, uh, yeah, 10% uh, of the complete collection has already gone. Uh, this is how it's going to be. Please do check out your baskets. Uh, I'm not surprised because, uh, you know, uh, yeah, you are your vision. You know that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, we knew it was going to be busy because, uh, no. There is a, a couple of things I need to mention. First of all, of course, uh, there is a little bit of a standard delivery. This patch tape from the 25th of July, uh, 24th of July, even better. Now, you have got different options. You know, we are going to go for different one day special options if you want to maybe not go for the complete collection. Now, of course, most of you are going already for the complete option, but everything that we are going to see you are going to get it if you go for the complete collection. One day special. First of all, there is two options. This is the hydrangea and poppy options in here. Now you are getting dice that are like an album making, isn't it? Or yeah. journal. Look at that. This is what it will make. This is such a cool die. You have got the, the movable hinges that you can put in different positions. You can do have, of course, that beautiful intricate detail on there. You are gonna, you know, you have got already, like, I think that's a snowflake. Well, it can be. Um, it's, a sta it's from a stained glass window, but yeah, definitely oh, wow. looks like one, doesn't it? And, and you have drawn these images, haven't you, the stamps? Uh, yeah, all the stamps, all hand-drawn, and I'm going to show you how to enlarge yeah. them as well later. Now, I know that maybe it's a little bit of, but I want to, there is an inspiration yes. for this collection. Just say in a, in a bite size. Okay. Um, well, I love it. I love to be inspired. And this is by a lady called Marianne North. And she is, um, she's got a gallery in Kew Gardens. So we'll explain a little yeah. bit more about it later. But. So not only is Louis, there's not only is a studio light, but there is all that inspiration from times gone by. That it means that, of course, if you want to go and stamp just simple images, and I love how they are, how beautiful are those stencils. Look at the dots, how beautiful and key. And look at that stencil. Now, I know that it's already very busy for both the complete collection and this one day special. Everything is incredibly busy. So I kind of tell you, please look at that saving. The one day special, if you just wanted this collection, uh, the, the, of course, is the, the hydrangea and puppy, you have got an 11 pound saving. Remember that. You can flex survive if you want to spread the cost or you want a payment of 44 pounds and 93 pence. That pay two payments are interest free, so 22 pounds for Seven today plus BMP if you're not a Freedom member. Now you have got another option again within 11 pound saving. This is the uh, Camellia and Anemone. <laughs> That's going to be a little bit difficult. Uh, anemone. Anemone. An enemy, an an enemy. enemy. Uh, which means like it's, uh, again you have got um, a gorgeous. I'm just going to call it Camellia option. Yes. Uh, now, you have got, and look, again, another die uh, element, another die album that you can create with those beautiful edges, with that movable spine that you can got, give you different options. You have got, look at that, those gorgeous, those absolutely gorgeous, kind of is the foxia dies. Uh, yeah, you have got, and then you have got these stunning, a stunning, I love these stencils. And of course, they have got that flex Flexibility. I mean, I want to show you just a qu quick sample. Look what you can create. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Right, I just wanted to show you one sample of what you can create. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Those are stencils. Now, again, this option number two, remember, is the, uh, I'm going to call it, um, 
option too because I'm just, I'm not going to go to uh, enemies <laughs> or things like that. Uh, now, if you well, actually, camellia option. Now, again, it has got an 11 pound saving. I remember that because it's important. Again, the same price. You have got the flexi buy option if you want to uh, spread the cost in interest free payments or one off payment, 44 pounds and 93 pence. 537803 is your item number for the one day special, and you have got those two options. Now, we are going to rice papers, and I love rice papers. I love that loose collections come in with rice papers, beautiful papers as well, double sided. Look at this glorious, look at this beautiful. Now, it is mulberry rice paper, which means that you can water it down, and of course, you have got the fibers in there coming. Look at the botanical. Now, of course, you have got those beautiful, beautiful patterns in here that kind of layers in there as well. Then we have got, of course, those die cuts, the chipboard die cuts, ready printed, ready to go. And look at those words in here. The only limit is my mind and my mouth as well, but you know, explore the garden of your soul. Isn't that amazing? And then we have got even other ones. Plan your own garden instead of waiting for someone else to buy you flowers. I like that a lot. I need to start that, don't I? Just make art with all the colors nature has given us. Mm. It's still growing. I wish that was true for me. But anyway, moving on to, you also get the die cut block. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I love how you are getting all those elements in here. Things. 130 elements in here and of course that botanical inspiration from Maria North that you know that kind of Kew Gardens think about that look at those beautiful butterflies oh and look you just put them out remember that this item is also included in the complete collection now if you are going to buy this item on its own and you maybe want to multi-order or even add it to your complete collection because you can because these ones are consumables 11 pounds and 93 pence is the price for rice papers the two printed double-sided papers because those ones are papers and then you of course you have got that saving of four pounds now remember the four pound savings and we'll remember why re remind you why one zero seven two two nine is your item number so we have got already eleven pounds saving from one option of the one day special one other one day special eleven pound saving and then it's a four pound saving so we are on 26 pounds saving if you were going to buy them those three items but we have got another bundle and i love i love every single bundle here hence why the complete collection is so good look at this clipboard isn't that the, look at this clipboard isn't that amazing now you get in the clipboard but it's different now of course imagine that you want to create something maybe in your house home decor maybe you want to put a thought for the day maybe you want to do a shopping list maybe you want to have something like pictures the fact that it's like a chipboard allows you to be whatever you want every single day. You are also including, an, you know, rice papers. You are getting the chipboard printed as well in here. Different sentiments, different ones, so they are not repeated. Look at that botanical beautiful Marianne in here. That is the woman who has inspired Mar uh, Lou to create that gorgeous botanical collection. She's an, an amazing, inspirational Victorian woman. And look at all those gorgeous papers in here. All those beautiful illustration botanical roses. Look at those gorgeous roses. Well, you know what? In this, in this bundle, you have got a five pound saving. So we were 26 pounds saving plus five pounds is 31 pound saving. Now there's 31 pound saving. If you want to go for just for this bundle, 13 pounds and 93 pence, of course that five pound saving, 077099. Now, if you go for the complete collection, remember 31, 31 pound saving. It's just incredible because the complete collection will have everything. Let's have a look exactly what you're getting. You, you are adding an additional 16 pounds, which means that you are actually saving 47 pounds in total. Now, you also have got the option to flexify it into three interest-free payments, which means that you can add other items. For instance, if you want to add up maybe extra rice papers, you can, and then you can, of course, spread the cost of those items as well one of payment as well you can you have got the savings are there whether you spread the cost or not now if your three payments 33 pounds and 24 pence is of course is the uh, flexible option 
Now, there are more bundles to show you. Now, if you just wanted to do the dies on their own, there you can have it. It's 20 individual dies, but six uh, die sets. Now, you could do that. Now, this, is, I love this bundle because I kind of puts it into perspective how amazing the complete collection it is because this is just dice. Now, if you're a Freedom member, it has a 49 pounds and 55 pence, which means that it kind of works out as a why not deal. Because if you want to go just for the dice, become a Freedom member if you're not already one. Because look at the saving. I think, of course, it would mean that you're saving more money than you would be spending uh, by the Freedom membership for the month. 647760 is your item number. Now, maybe you are uh, you just want the stencils because that's all you want. £18.96 is for all eight stencils. They are beautiful, not in a large size. And of course, you are saving £5. 928935 is your item number. Right, and I'm going to tell you that, of course, we are here for one woman, Lou Withers. So let's join her to see what she's going to show us. Oh, well, um, yeah, it's exciting. Um, when I was doing all these um, drawings, I had a, a lot of ideas of like different things that I wanted to do. But the one lady that did inspire me was Marianne. And I loved her idea of mad, bright colours and wonderful. And, and she didn't... It was quite restrained during Victorian times, but that didn't stop her. And I thought, well, why don't I try and sort of make something that you could do both with? You could be quite elegant with it or... You could be right, quite funky and bright with it. So what we're going to do is just look how we can stamp the ideas onto paper and then maybe even journal with it. Uh, people who know, know me on Facebook will have seen me do this, so it's quite easy to do. But it's where you can sort of join your, um, your, your shabby sheet look in one respect, but in the next respect, go quite bright with your journaling. So hopefully, you know, getting some inspiration from this. Um, I was watching some um, some lives from people, and I've been very inspired by the way people have sort of used this. And there was a lady, Kyra, last night, and I was watching it, and it was just stunning what she was doing. So I'm going to nick her idea. Yeah. Um, something I did before, but she, she sort of put her own spin on it, and I wanted to show that. So I've got some colour sticks here. You don't need these. You can have your own colours, whatever you like. I've got a piece of Bockingford. Now, this Bockingford is from Poker Doodles. I have not yet come across anything to beat this one yet. And I mean mm. that, and on art, that this, this type of paper is one of the best I've tried. But I can't say it's the best in the world because I don't know, I've never tried them all. But this Bockingford and on art is absolutely stunning. So these sticks, these um, are wax sticks. You could use paint, you could use anything. I'm going to just show you with these. Are they water soluble? Yep, yeah, all these are water soluble. Okay. So I'm just going to put that down there. Just make sure you can see. Thank you very much for my lovely die hold, uh, my stamp holder there, trying to keep me all tidy. Um, so I've put that there, just wanted to show you that. But you can intermingle with paints as well. So you could do this technique with everything. Um, so I've got a little bit of paint as well. Okay. And all I'm going to do is create like a wash. So, just going to put some water on there. So, this can be anything. It's just that I've got these at home and I'll, I just love them. I'm hoping to bring them here as well. And I just thought, oh, I'll show people what, if they've got water sticks or if they've got pastels, water soluble ones, this is what you can do. So, just dump in your, water, your, your paper. Yeah. Like I say, this is absolutely stunning and we've managed to get some for you. And then you just, all you go to do is just flick some water on here now you all know how neat i am not so i'm just going to flick some water on and you will need to sort of do this in different sort of layers so i've got that quite like the idea I like the the yellow coming through there so I'm just letting it soak in there's a reason i'm doing that because you know we're, we're all very quick at taking stamps off and that and i've found over the years that it's actually better if you allow the colors to sink in so now i'm just going to put in some yellow again flick it on and once when these watercolors die down you'll see 
it looks very very a lot more muted now i've got some alcohol you don't need this you can use what you know you don't need to do this at all i've just got some alcohol this is um over 90 percent so please be very careful with this um we're well ventilated here and obviously and all i'm going to do is just drop it on and show you that it reacts it's very similar and creates these that. So it reacts similar to how we use alcohol inks, yes. but because it is now um, using water, it doesn't like water as well, so it's repelling it. So you can see now, the only damp bit there really is um, the colourful bit. So just show you what I mean. Now I have got a question from Carol asking about the bucking for cord. Is that hot press? This is hot pressed, yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful uh, and smooth as you well. You are getting 20 sheets and it's 300 GSM. The details are on the screen and of course uh, you, you, you know that has got of course loose seal of approval. Yeah, it really has. I was actually phoning her yesterday to say is it okay to have it because it's you know it's not it's not easy to get hold of this and it's really good quality can you see if i turn it over where the alcohol has bre breached through and it's gone into it don't worry about that that will dry off when it evaporates so can you see now how light it's gone so you build up your core um i've got the reds and pinks underneath i'm going to go with the yellows and it reacts i love the way i love things when you sort of get one reaction and then you add another layer and you get another reaction and I just like the way it all sort of layer after layer yeah. creates its own effects because yeah. when I was when I first started I tended to sort of put everything on really heavily did you do that and think, oh, it works better if we put loads on? Uh, no, you're too neat for yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, uh, no, I'm actually I'm not neat, but I'm, I'm the opposite. I'm like, no, I'm oh, I'm going to yeah. not put too much because I'm going to ruin it. And then I didn't put enough. Yes, that's, yeah, that's my like problem. It. I don't yeah. put enough. So as you can see now, it sort oh, of where the alcohol ink is still wet, oh, sorry, alcohol is still wet underneath, it still repels there. But the new layer on there now is allowing that to sort of mingle and you get this lovely it's it's, it's a straight yeah. uh, it's a it's a new technique See, what you are creating is the background isn't it for That's the it. perfect yeah. and and what i was trying to do when i saw this and i've took it like my it all, all everything we do we use inspiration from other people and just change it um i wanted to make it my own because i really think that this looks like under the microscope when you look at plants you get all this cell formation and yeah. and it reminds me of the stencil that we've got on one of the packs because it's like a stencil on a leaf so i'm just i won't waste in that obviously so putting that on then i'm going to get the stencil now don't ask me which one it's in because i haven't got a clue i just know i like it it's in the complete in the complete collection uh, i have to say it is very busy for the complete collection so please over a Thank quarter you. of the stock has already gone so please do check out your baskets for it uh, incredible we had a very large stock because we know how success well how popular Lou is how oh, amazing you are you. what do we call Lou with us fans with the reds with the reds no. <laughs> <laughs> oh Pate, me headband oh Lady yeah uh, me headband look at that paint hand painted look at that how beautiful is that well, i don't know what you call them uh, ja oh well the group is ja um junk journal man that we're called jammers Jammers. Yeah, jammers. Yeah, I, I like, I like that. that. Yeah. Lou's jammers. Yeah. Lou's jammers. <laughs> Lou rolls. Now, remember that in the complete collection, uh, you are getting, of course, those amazing uh, eight, uh, you know, eight uh, stencils. You are getting so many dies, 22 dies. You are getting four stamp sets, and then they are big. They are not small. Then you are getting your die black. You are getting two shipboard sheets. You are getting four A4 papers. You are getting six rice papers. You are getting also the clipboard. They are amazing. They are absolutely incredible. Now, if you want your, uh, <laughs> you are there, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you want all this, all this. It can be yours. Uh, the details are on the screen for that. Is is the just Lou collection? It, this is the Terry 
TV debut, yes. the brand new Ooh. here at uh, Hochanda, and you can see everything that you are getting. Of course, you can spread the cost in three interest-free payments or one-off payment. Remember that with the individual savings carry forward, you have got a £47 saving in total. 329231 is the complete collection. And let's head back to Lou. Well, one of the things is those rice papers and papers, they are ex exclusive yes, here. Oh, they're exclusive yeah, to as, as far as I know, you can't get them anywhere else. So oh. there's like, you know, if people think, oh, I've seen them. These are all brand new. Um, for me, the new items, but then you can't get them anywhere else. So plus plus. What I've done oh. is I've got the self-formation um, stencil and you can just see now it's given it, it's not dry enough, but it's given it enough. You can still see it's damp on the back there, but um, it doesn't really matter because what I'm going to do is just add layers so what I've done is I've picked up a tiny bit of the ochre so it's this color which is it's a lot of it's a color we don't use a lot it's like I love it and mm -hmm. um, so if you've got your sticks like that water-soluble oil pastels I know that doesn't sound right but mm -hmm. but then just put a tiny bit of water on your sponge you don't need a lot the drier the better don't don't dip your um, your tools into water because that just it puts too much water mm. onto the whatever tool you're using and it just tends to sort of like create wash rather than vibrancy so all i'm going to do is just look at this center and i need to just all i'm going to do is just oh. gently and, I, and the stances from studio light are incredibly um i love the, the bendability yes and they're all one of the Flexible. nice things is they all join up and continue whereas oh, some don't yeah. um not so much on these i catch on these but on the others they yeah. actually just they all join up and create like a, a continuous pattern so i've got that now i'm just going to go in now you can use um an ink or whatever i just want something a little bit darker so i would go for a, a gray um use a tiny bit of black you can use anything that you've got that you choose to use yeah. and I'm going with this because I'm going to stamp with black mm -hmm. so I'm trying to create an image that blends with it rather than just suddenly pops up and think oh where did that black come from because that's not that's not what I want I want this to be a subtle sort of transition there we go oh, just got that, that nice yeah. color there yeah. and we've got that in the background so now what we can do and keep this because that will stay um as your distress pad now for that so i've got that get the pattern now what i'm going to do is choose my stamp so um i drew these stamps in a pointillism style and that means um very much that i made them so that you can make them bigger i didn't oh, want I them to be yeah i didn't want them to be just one size and it's a real simple way of doing it and i'll show you how to do that and i made them with dots so that when you do um shading i'll show you the, the secret trick to the shading so i've got this it doesn't matter which way it is it's a real flower these are all real flowers but some of them are hybrids so oh. i've sort of put the two together yeah. i've got an old archival and the reason it's old is because it's not too juicy and you want that why, why do you want it so dry? I don't want it too juicy. What I want to be able to do is sort of have it look like it all belongs together yeah, rather than I just see. the flower. I don't want it to just sort of jump out. Do give it a good, um, a good sort of inking yeah. because each one of them is a dot and I can tell you it took me hours. Um, hours of love. <laughs> I've chosen this one because depending on the colour, I'm not worried about it because I can huff on it to re-release the ink. But it very much reminds me of a sunflower as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to put that there. If that was dry, it wouldn't be so bendy. Okay. But you just put that down. Give it a minute. <laughs> I'm not the tallest of people here. Right, there we go. Perfect. Then all I'm going to do is get a tiny bit, tiny bit of the colour that I had before. And this is where you just get... A small brush now and all I'm going to do is just go around the flower and this is where Bockingford any papers like that this is where you know they're good because it's stood up to alcohol it's got paint on it it's got 
um, stenciling. It's had so much done to it, and yet it's still workable. And that, you can't often get that. It, it tends to, now at this point, you'll know, it starts to pill and all the paper starts to pill up, none of that. So what I'm doing now is ne the negative, you see me do this, I'm just painting around it to get this nice finish. And, and where it sort of makes a, a, a difference between the background and the actual flower itself. So what you can do is you can chop the leaves off, you can... Um, just have the, the main flower. You can enlarge it. You can do so much with this. It, it really is sort of one, you know, one thing, depending on the colour, like a sunflower. Like that one now looks like a hydrangea. Now, I have got some stamps from the other collection. This is from Marlene's. And what I wanted to show you is, it can be anything. It could be dots with your pen or anything. Okay. I just wanted to show you that these are very much um, workable with all your other stuff. So just a few. I like that, yeah. They're like that. And I think maybe because the dots, they, act, they go really well with the flowers there. Mm -hmm. And I'm just continuing it down there. Now, you don't have to be dots. I can use my pen. So I could get a pen um, and a fine dot. I'll just show you what you can do. You can actually add dots with this. So I'll get the yellow and show you what you can do. If you wanted to add a bit of colour or maybe black or anything like that. You can use your ink pad and you can just get the fine, the very fine tip. And these are the Pergamano ones by Clarita. And you can just build up the color around the edge using a really fine, and you might not see it so much there, but once I go around here and show it you, you can just see how fine that looks. And that's another technique. So the technique of how I've drawn them, you can take that into the paintwork, into the background, into the stamping. Yeah. And I just think it just adds something a little bit different than what we normally see. So I'm not going to do it all because otherwise we're bored. Um, now, the colours I've used in the, the dye blocks, uh, sorry, the word blocks, these there's pinks and there's yellows and oranges, and I quite like this, but it's not the colour I want. So it doesn't worry me in the least. All I'm going to do is just scruff it up a little bit and I'm going to dye it. So just by scruffing it up the edges, I'm making it more accepting the paint. So it's more, it sort of grabs the paint then because there's a coating on this and that coating is stopping the paint from going in. It's not a very strong coating, I must admit, because um, it does allow you to paint, but I want it to be even stronger. So I just put that there. Right, so then what I do is I get a brush that's not a lot of water and I go back and I just put this. Now, you might think oh, it's I not making you. much difference, but it's actually bringing the family of colours together. So when I say that it, it, it's got a coating on it, 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 it does paint. And then just rub it on and off like that. And then um, leave that to dry because we want to put some black on it as well. So just going to put that there and you see now how that it's changed let me get another one it's it's changed change color yeah and that's Absolutely. what I want yeah. and then we've got the one that we started at the beginning and we can do if I put the um, the dark on again and then this will be like the distress we can make it even darker but you can make these quite bright as well. And all you need, you, what you can do now is, see that ties in better with that, is if you wanted to, you could get any of the dies we've got, any of the die cuts. I mean, that would work on it, but I think, personally, it overpowers it a little bit. But I'm just thinking, no, I don't think I need anything else. I'm just going to stick that on there, and then I'm just going to get these chipboards. What I've found with these is, if you don't want them so pronounced, you can split them. Oh, yeah, that you, if you want to make them paper. Yeah, yeah so I, I quite like that, the fact that you can change them to fit what you want. And then all I'm going to do is, this might not be juicy enough, but we'll see. We'll see if it does. I'm just going to get, yeah, I'm just getting the end of my stamp and the end of my brush. And I'm just doing my own. Because then it's in keeping with the stamp. It's in keeping with the way I drew it. 
it's in keeping with the style so it all works together i'm not doing it all you if it's entirely up to you if you wish to do it make sure it's straight and you can build up color so i'm just doing two corners so it doesn't look out of place sometimes when you introduce loads of different patterns it can be a bit overpowering but what i would do then is if i just put that on black i mean i haven't got any black to show you but if you just cut that down and put that on black you know you've got quite a nice well i like it finished sample right? i love that i love that of course that is featuring the stencil the stamp the chipboard now all that is included in the complete collection and of course the complete collection is what is incredibly busy now uh now it is incredibly busy because you are getting dollars you are getting the stamps you are getting the stencils you are getting papers and you are getting rice papers you are getting a chip uh, a board a clipboard you are getting of course look at that you are getting the sentiments on chipboard you have got so many options now if you want to go for the one day it's special on its own you can do it but of course that saving that amount in saving this is carried forward so in actual fact when you go for the complete collection you have got a 47 pound saving now this is the tv debut of this amazing collection it is the latest collection from low withers now we have to say that of course you can go for the one day specials we have got two options for you we have got here the the um the hydrangea and the poppy and the other one is i'm not going to say the number but the hydrangea one uh, now here you have got that gorgeous dive now this die is the one create journals like this this is the one that has got that movable spine that you can choose whether you are doing a double one a single one you whether you are actually creating maybe you don't want to have a spine like that now we have had a question from sue about this particular sample of course those closure now yep. these dies do not come in the kit, does it? Do no, they? Um, no, that does. Yeah. No, the, the, the circle ones. Oh no, no, they're just cut out. Um, Circles. Paper punch. Yeah. And and a, a brad yeah. in the middle. So anything that is a circle uh, shape, so yeah. either die or a punch, you just like cut it uh, or punch it twice, and then you put a brad through it, and that's how you get them. Uh, just saying you want it. But look at those stamps. You are getting beautiful large stamps. They are not the small ones. They are large. And I remember look been so exciting when she's like Paula I have got big flowers uh, in my collection now of course you are getting four stances big size as well even you know look at that they are big so you can use something like this now this is what also uh, Lou was saying about expanding them making them even bigger look at that glorious mm. canvas bag now if you want to go for this option of the one day special is option number one or the of course the um, I keep forgetting hydrangea I kind of wanted to call it hortensia which is the Spanish name so hence when now if you want to go for the poppy and the hydrangea your it has option number one you have got 11 pounds saving you can split the cost into interest-free payments but if you want to go for option number two, is the camellia, camellia and an enemy. I said it, an enemy. Uh, it's just because it sounds, it sounds funny, doesn't it? But beautiful flower. Uh, yeah, I'm going to present this, an Emily. <laughs> uh, there it is. Now, of course, you are for getting that amazing book binding sort of type, but it's a different one. Now you are getting two beautiful large flowers stands, but they are different ones. You are getting four massive stencils. They are different from option number one. You are getting all those tags, those labels, those banners. That beautiful, um, I'm going to show you the sample because it was really incredible. Let me see where it is. That kind of flowers coming down as well. You have got that as well included. Now all that is the option number two or of course the anemone uh, I don't know if I said it rightly now this has got again an 11 pound saving you have got that interest free payments split the cost if you want to or one of them on a 44 pounds 93 but I need to mention of course they will be dispatched from the 24th of July because the studio light is based abroad and if you want your one day special the item number is 537803 however you may want to uh, go for another bundle which is a smaller bundle but is the paper waste one now this one has got rice papers three of them look how beautiful now this featured more of the backgrounds ones but look at that botanical inspiration remember that the 
the, the inspiration behind this collection is the botanical, um, you know, figure that is Maria North, uh, that amazing woman who has got even a gallery at the Kew Gardens, as, Ma as Lou was explaining. She's a biologist. She was a biologist in the Victorian times, and of course, she recorded nature in that with that perfect you know, illustration, that botanical elements. Now, in this bundle, you are getting three rice papers, two A4s, double-sided, but you are also getting the chipboard with those kind of pre die cut pre-painted words in there. My journal smells like nature. My, <laughs> I like that you have got some quirky sentiments in there. You have got something a little bit more out there as, and as well as kind of my botanical plant journal. So you can, oh, happiness is to hold flowers in both hands. I absolutely agree. Now you have got here the die cut block with all those beautiful paintings, illustrations of glorious flowers. I love that vintage uh, tickets. I love the, fla the butterflies. Can you imagine? making a curiosity cabin with all those butterflies coming out. Maybe you went for the one that's special from Ali Reef and the, you know the one that went the cabinet of curiosities. And you want to incorporate your own beautiful botanical specimens. And this allows you to do that. Imagine encapsulating those die cuts between two layers of acetate or even laminating it. It's incredible. Bring your rice papers and, of course, tear it and make it into fabric. Isn't that glorious? Now, of course, you want to go to with this one. You have got a four pound saving. So 11 pounds and 93 pence is all you are paying. 107229 is your item number and then the last bundle from just look collection is again you have got the amazing chipboard elements not the same ones rice papers not the same as the previous and you can see that beautiful glorious look at that i love this that calligraphy those beautiful butterflies you know and then of course we have got those glories and we have got Marianne herself pictured in that beautiful you know a sketch in there with this gorgeous botanical inspired drawings and you also have got the clipboard in there you may want to go for this bundle and you have got a five pound saving 13 pounds and 93 pence is the saving now remember 11 pound saving 11 pound saving four pound saving five pound saving that is 31 pound saving now, if you go for the complete collection, you have got an additional £16 saving. And of course, that means that £47 saving in this TV, uh, TV debut of the Just Lou Botanical Collection. It is very busy. We are a third of the stock already gone of this magnificent collection. We are very proud of Lou. We are. But also, we are not proud because she is an amazing woman. And we are proud of that, of course. But it's the fact that she comes with a collection that we want to use. It's a collection that has got so much usability. I am as a clean and, clean, and, clean and simple crafter, immediately I'm drawn to those large flowers, immediately I'm drawn to those eyes, immediately I think these stencils are going to be my go to the stencils. Look at that, and we like the history, we like the research that Lou puts into, into that figure of Marianne North, that kind of inspirational figures from the past that I like she does it, delves into those incredible women to bring it to your crafting, and you can get inspired not only by the beautiful nature, of the flowers and of course that integral butterflies but also by women that have led the way with incredibly powerful meaning and of course one of those women incredibly powerful women is it's you. Love. no it's you it's you it's you Looking at me at the end. I um, love it. What's next, Lou? <laughs> right, well, the papers, like I say, I'm really pleased with the papers because I can create something um, like a tag in seconds with these. And I want to just bring your attention to, don't forget the little dies, uh, the little colour die charts there. That really helps you to bring out the colours in this. Now, I don't think, I think it's hard to choose because both will work. But don't forget... The packaging, I haven't got anything empty, the packaging is stunning. So any of the packaging that is, is well, excuse me, sorry. Any of the packaging, the backgrounds of in, in there, it's absolutely brilliant because it matches all this. So don't put that, throw that away. And then here, I would spend hours creating this with the card and the cardboard. 
I'd spend hours doing that, ripping back and doing. So I'm just going to show you a really simple way. I've got a really big tag and I'm just going to go for it and just show you how simple. Because I get a lot of people saying to me, um, I, I'm new to crafting, I don't know what to do. And I'll say, but this is for everybody. And I can create a piece of like shabby chic or quite vintagey feel piece tag in seconds so what i'm going to do is take that one piece of paper and i'm going to just put it to the corner there so i'll just show you the opposite side now when i'm doing there you go yeah so what i tend to do now is um a clean it is clean believe it or not clean brayer yeah. and i just squeeze out any of the air bubbles and then that way um when I put anything on it, it's less likely to... It's awful when you start trying to draw and paint on top of stuff that's going up and down, round. You, you can't paint on it, it's too bobbly. So if you use a roller and then not any glue that's too wet, and that sounds daft, I know, but um, it, it's easier to paint on. So all I'm doing, this paper's stunning as well. Look at, look at how easy this is cutting. And not only that, I've just rolled it when it's wet and it's done nothing. So, I'm more or less uh, finished. <laughs> yeah. no, I haven't, I haven't. By the way, we have had so many. Like, we have oh. had an email from Caroline uh, saying that she was like she discovered Marianne North uh, two years ago and she was right. so inspired. So she's thank thanking you oh, for really? bringing her also to the crafting world. Apparently, she traveled all the, over the world yeah. on her own. Yeah. She even drew a you know for a uh, Charles Darwin. Yep. Yep. I mean, Absolutely. it's an incredible woman. You, you go to Kew Gardens when you get a chance and you go and see some of the stuff. She's amazing. And then, you know, again, like Gertrude Bell, these ladies, they, they sort of cut sways through history yeah. and we don't, don't remember them that well. So it's my, it's my, I'm, my goal to go out and... Yeah, I had heard of Gertrude, but I hadn't yeah. heard of, of Mariana. So I think it's really good because what you are doing, not only is bringing that inspiration, that beauty from botanical drawings from the 18th, uh, 19th century, but also you are discovering these beautiful, these amazing characters to, to us. Yeah, and, and their style of painting or their style of working is really, it, it inspires your work. You don't realise, but it actually does when it, it cuts, it, it sort of, it cuts through a lot of the things that, you know, research and stuff that you wouldn't be interested in. You're just drawn to it when you're doing this. So, it, I don't know, in education, this is the way I learn. It's through looking at an artist and then I look at what they did and how they did it. And it's like an education, my sort, anyway. I want, just wanted to show you this. I've done the die cut, the fuchsias, and these die cuts are really, really beautifully done because there's a slit in them. And I've not been able to show you this before, or I might, or I might not, because I've not had the map. But if you turn them over, now I'm using this um, shiny card on the back. But the reason I'm using this is because it's really good for this. Mm. You know, we all sort of use card, we've got card at home, and you find which is good for die cutting and which isn't. So I've got these ball tools. Now I know for a fact Barbara's got a load of them here. I've got these here, and there's a small one, a bigger one, and you choose you know, like the smaller ones do have a different effect on them. So just choose what you've got at home. Um, don't You don't have to go out and get loads more. But some of you are doing the forming flowers, is it? Don't oh, know. Yeah. Yeah. All those. And the air-dry clay. I've got some to show you that one of the ladies did, Carolyn did. Um, right, so you just go over all the, all the leaves. And when you do it, you realise that it, that little line actually allows them to pop up. Yeah, it's so even better. And then you look at the fuchsia, and I'll just do this to show you. If you just run that over the fuchsia, I find the larger ball tools easier. They sort of bring, they, there's people out there who do this all the time, so they'll be like, you're doing it all wrong. Well, it sort of looks all right for me, but you know, I'm sure there's better ways of doing it. So I've just pushed through there to get that lovely feeling. But if you get one of the smaller ones, you can just pick up these and these are all ready to be pushed up so you can just push all those up and make them 3d so don't think that they're not they're they're made to sort of cut out they're not they're made to be stay you know stay in so i've just got them there 
Right, so I'm coming back to this. Now, I might not use it on here, but I was looking at it. What I did do was, no, you won't be able to see it on here. I stamped onto some fabric. You might, I know our Molly's on it. You might be able to see mm -hmm. the pattern. Mm -hmm. I might do it on this one. Um, and you can just see there, and I, I used a soldering iron, and I've done it on, so it works on fabric as well. But what you could do if you wanted to is layer and layer and layer this up with the stamp there, but I, I'm not going to do that today. But you can do lots, and you can see the stamp start to come alive. So that's another idea. So I've got this here. I'm going to pick out the colour. Now, this is where I get this. And I look and I think, which of the colours do I like? there i've got plenty of the beige i've got the browns here i've got the pink in the rose but i need I'm, I'm thinking a plum color so this is where you can either do paint it or you can just do this what i'm doing get your sticks on on your mat yeah. or paint or uh, pastel or anything you want I wonder if you could do that as well with um, the distress crayons absolutely perfect I, have, I, I didn't have them with me, but yeah. yeah, perfect for that. Any of them. And then these Faber-Castell ones as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, the gelatos. Use, yeah, all of them work. Yeah. Um, so a tiny bit of water. Don't, don't dip it in. And all you need to do is just spray yourself a little palette there. I'm not worried about this yellow mm. being there, simply because I've got that colour okay. already in my palette. So it won't be fighting with it. But I do want a proper colour. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit of yellow take that down I don't want it a lot and I'm just going to do and the reason I'm doing this is I'm, I'm, I'm sort of allowing the color to sink in because this isn't Bockingford so I get a different sort of effect with this and I'm just patting it on and I'm thinking right let's look at me yep yeah, that's not bad but I need to go a little bit darker that's sort of hitting that so then I go in with a little bit of me I don't use black this is a, like a gray um, it, I have got black, but it tends to overpower it because I, I, <laughs> I don't sort of do it subtly, so it ends up like all over the place, heavy black. So, got a tiny bit there. I'll see if this is enough. No, I'll put a bit. I'll, I'll use this. I'll get another one like that's better. Ah, right, okay. just a tiny yeah. bit here, there, and everywhere. And I wanted to show you how quick those people who've maybe new to crafting, new to creating or just new to a different style this is how quick you can make something really quite beautiful so then what I would do is just spend some time flicking them out I, I find that really what's the word therapeutic yeah, really. and all I do is just I'm not going to stick it down all over because I want if you do that chances are you, you're not going to get that beautiful movement that you've got so I don't put blue in the middle. I'm just going to get my tag and I'm just going to. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, forgot. Right, I'm going to scuff up the edges. Um, you can use your distress tool. I normally use, um, I've got one there, but I'll use this instead for a change. I normally use an emery board. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I want this pink that I've used on the flower to be introduced to this. And it is a really simple thing to do in this. It's so easy. And it doesn't, you don't need any, you know, you can use scissors if you're very careful. You don't need extra loads of tools or things. And I've got the colour and just, and it's the colour, the pink and the yellow together. And you might think, oh, there's not, going, there's not much going on. But if you look at the difference... I look at that. Yeah. And of course, uh, the dye, the paper, um, you know, the, all those elements are part of the complete collection. Yeah. Incredibly busy for the complete collection. Uh, everything that you're getting is in that beautiful picture. You have got dyes, stamps, stencils, four large stencils. Uh, you're getting four A4 papers, six A, um, A4 rice papers, block of die cuts. You have got chipboard, you have got a clipboard. Now we are very busy, so please do check out your basket and let us join the loader. All I've done now is I'm just going to stick that there. I'm not going to, like I say, I don't want it to be stuck too much. And when it's tacky, you'll understand what I mean. Let me put these, sorry about my gloves. Um, when it's tacky, if you hold it there and then push that up, 
You'll see what I mean in a minute. Yeah. Push that up and then just hold that. Then it'll, it'll remain more 3D for you. So it might not now because it's not tacky glue what I've got on. So, oh, well, it has. Right. Also, you get this wonderful, um, it's like a, a, a nameplate. And I was still there for ages pulling it apart. And I just love all the... I, I don't know which is the best part because it's all good. Whether that's spare or whether it's that or whether it's that together. Because it's all beautiful. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. It's yeah. like, and don't pull and these the out. Waste, isn't it? Yeah, this is like, don't pull this out because that's actually a flower. Oh, oh you're yeah. just like, well... And then this, which is the waste... I can't see how that is waste myself, but it is apparently, it is. So I'm just going to get the colour well, again. Well, it's not the waste because it's usable. Yeah, but it just makes me laugh when we have, we have to use a term and we use it's, the term waste. It yeah. just makes me laugh. So It's I'm, the negative. The negative. The leftover. Yes, the negative, you're right. The, so the bed, you know, is not the focal point. <laughs> no, that's trying to find waste. So yeah. all I'm doing is just adding a little bit of colour. I'm using craft, and the reason I'm using craft is because... The psychic. That's a good one. Yes. Mm. These colours here are all the craft colours, so cardboard. All these colours would be muted, but I don't want it this to overpower it. So it just fits it there now. You could have it there or there, anywhere you want, and then you could put this one. And now look at the difference. Yeah. When you put the, that one back in there now, I'm not going to fiddle around with it. Is that the right? Oh no, it's wrong way. Get it the right way with us. Right, but there. Yeah. Uh, is that the right way? Yeah, that's the right way. And then you fit that back in, and I will do it because it's like paper piecing. But just adding that colour, I really love that. I think that that. And then you can put any name you want underneath there, or you could put a piece of paper or anything. Just, I'm going to spend ages doing that. But put that. I won't give it a withers. Right, there we go. Bang. So, put that in there. What you could do then is pick any any colour card you want. You might have a bit of waste. Let's have a little bit of waste. Or a little bit of the packaging. Yeah. Excuse me. Okay. I've got packaging. Right. See the packaging? I wanted to show you it before. Right? You can use anything. Don't forget, use the words. Yeah. You can still use the words. And then look, see, right, which one. If you don't want to use a chipboard, you could use that. But I want to show you, just cutting this out, you would use a knife or something just to cut it out, whichever, to be a, a little bit more precise. But I would glue that to there and then chop that out. Uh, we have got about three minutes till the end of oh, the show. All right, I'm done then. Um, so the reason of why did I take it out? Well, I, don't want this, I didn't want the same colour on both parts. I wanted it to look slightly different. So having that there in in the raw state so to speak does look different to the color i've put on and then it all mingles now you'd spend a minute just letting it glue and get stuck and then what i would do is spend a minute just going cutting around that i'm not going to do it now because it's really tacky but i will finish them and show you push these back in you see i i spend hours me fiddling around putting that back in there and paper piecing yeah. i just love that and then i'm going to chop this out sort of now you'd be a bit neater with this but then your packaging is now totally yeah. everything gone of absolutely all goes together and then what i would do is i'd, I'd get some of my gold or silver or things like that and i'd put a little bit of, not silver i think wax i'd put yeah. gold on it Definitely. just to wedge the air but i have done what have i done i've used packaging i've die cut two things and i've stuck a bit of paper down yeah. anybody can do that yeah. anybody Anybody. Now, of course, if you have got to go for the complete collection, you can do it. But you need to have got all the dies and, of course, the stamps, you know, on the papers. Now, that is part of the one day special complete collection. Actually, no, the one day special is the kind of a smaller bundles. There is all the options for you. It's up to you with your budget, what you want to do. Now, if you are one of those ones that are what I call a completionist, that wants the full collection, yeah, it is a completionist. It, that, it exists. It's a pile up. A Words, um, you want to have the whole collection by just a loo. Now, of course, you want to have 
all the dies, all the stamps. You want to have all the papers, all the rice papers, all the die cuts. Oh, of course, you want that clip, clip, uh, clip uh, board. Now that you want it all, you can go have it all by going right for the complete collection. Now we are incredibly busy for that complete collection. Ninety-nine pounds and seventy-two pence is the price one of payment. Now you have got when you come with the whole savings that is, is covered for where you have got a 47 pound saving in total there now it's worth checking out those baskets to make sure that you can enjoy the rest of the one day special shows knowing that yours is ordered and underway thank you so much Lou. Oh, congratulations thank and you. amazing we'll see you at eight yes eight and yeah. tomorrow 8 a.m and of course 12 and final call at four if that is if there is a stock so check out your baskets and thank you very much I'll see you after the break. A jelly bean craft happy hour, so please keep me company. Then there's Studio Light, just Lou One Day Special, and then after that, a nine art and craft letter greetings. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. We also have a great little team of other artists, friends, who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitch Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on a chanda. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. 
We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. We have got, I don't know why I say that, that was sounded, anyway, I sounded a little bit wizardy. Anyway, I just say that. Um, now, of course, we have got an hour, a happy hour now ahead of us. Now, it is a Jelly Bean Crafts uh, happy hour, so we are going to see a lot of amazing car stock. But what it is a happy hour? Well, a happy hour here at Hotenda means that the prices are lower for this hour and this hour only. The prices will go back up at the end of the hour, so you have got about an hour to check out those baskets. However, uh, that is if stocks last. So a lot of the times what happens is that these amazing bargains, everybody jumps in the phones, on the phones or in the website, and of course check out their baskets. And of course it means that a lot of things go out of stock. So if you do not want to miss out, do check out your baskets. And you know what? Already some of you are doing just that. Now we are going to start with the first Jelly Bean Crafts collection. And we have got a 7 by 7 inches scallop edge ivory and craft uh, ivory cards and craft envelopes. You're getting a hundred sets, which means that you're getting a hundred scallop cards and a hundred of those envelopes. Now, me being me, I'm, I'm a car maker. Uh, I have been a car maker for, I would say, about 24 years. Um, now, or even more, actually, scarily even more uh, but what it means that is like I have been sending cards and selling my cards for a long time however nowadays I made more cards to keep than to give away I'm not going to be honest so what it means is these envelopes I am also thinking different projects because I'm thinking about making an album out of them because you can glue those tabs together and then create a little foldable album so there is not just as envelopes you can do maybe an you know a birthday calendar so every month every month has got a little note in here and then you take it out and you know whoever whoever your friends and family are born that month but of course the cards the cards itself you can see it here it fits about 270 uh, gsm or 300 even now in here you have got cool quality construction cards i would say it's more in the 270 gsm but you have got a seven by seven now i used to be very much of a square card six by six however in six by six it gets to a point where sometimes it's a little bit you know you want to put more layers you want to put more elements and six by six is a little bit too small especially if you have got a scallop edge because that takes away a little bit of the working space in here the real state of the card having a seven by seven, by seven scallop edge card it means that you have got a very nice decent size to play with you have got area in here to stamp you have got here an area to put a die cut you have got also the ability of let's not forget you can create a zigzag card in here as well so you don't have to just see it as cards. Now, maybe for instance, you have got a wedding coming up or you, you are planning a wedding for next year, like our, one of our tech girls, Hannah, is planning to get married. Now, this would make a fabulous bundle to go multi-border because then you have got a hundred invitations, a hundred order of services. So you could do that because an order of service, you could print it onto A4 paper and just make like a little album, it's, uh, not, not fold it, and of course add it to the center. Maybe put a cord in here and you have got an order of service. The fact that you have got the beautiful ivory, so it's more of an off-white than a true ivory, I would say. But what you have got is a smooth corset and then the craft envelope paper 
that con combine is kind of almost that rustic wedding. If you have got thinking of something like a barn, but also think about like, um, you know, think about those elements, the kind of happy, uh, happy birthday cards, those are standard cards that you want to have a little bit of an edge. These are ideal for you. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence for a hundred sets, so a hundred envelopes, a hundred square cards. You are saving eleven pounds. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence is the price. One zero six three six zero is your item number. Then we have got the vellum. Now this vellum is beautiful and is colored. Now this is 135 GSM. So you are getting 50 sheets in total so, and you are getting five colors. So you approximately going to get 10, uh, you know, you're uh, sorry, uh, 10 of each. Now this thing is about, think about groovy. Think about transferring those beautiful artworks into the uh, colored parchment. Think about that you are getting it here five gorgeous colors, including that vibrant, citrusy, you know, refreshing. It's almost like sunshine yellow in here. You have got that deep, beautiful green, that perfect for Christmas. You're also getting the blue, that deep, rich blue. And of course, if you have never seen vellum, vellum, it's that translucent uh, paper that you have got. So when you are doing a little bit of white work, so for instance, you put that over a groovy, you use an embossing tool that has got a ball end, and of course you press it down, it becomes a little bit white. And I'm going to show you, like by doing this, can you see that now that line has become white? That is basically, like, let me do it properly and you can see it better. Can you see there? There you can see it. So that is the effect that you're getting. That wide work it will create that, but by pressing down with the embossing tool. Now this is why I kind of like having vellum like this because it's not that easy to find color vellum, and certainly not 50 A4 sheets, 135 GSM for uh, 11 pounds and 19 pounds. Some of it might be a little bit thinner onto the 100 GSM, but but it kind of feels very much similar. Uh, I think this one is the 135, but still it kind of feels really nice and usable. Now, 8135144 is your item number, saving five pounds, 11 pounds, and 99 pence is the price. Now this card, I love, it. it's one of those ones that, I will be honest, I don't use a whole awful lot of a mirror kind of lighting car, so, but it always makes me happy when I see it. Why? Because how can you not a smile when you see something like this? You see confetti, you see glitter ball, you see different hues there. Now, this is one of the favorites of our director. Uh, of course, she loves a little bit of holographic rainbow in there. Or maybe she, pre oh, I think she prefers something like that. It's bigger, even glitter. She is just ra really excited. Look at that saving. Uh, it's better than half price because you are saving 11 pounds, you are saving 13 pounds and you are only paying 11.90 now. Now, now we are talking. Now this is like, yeah. I think this is a dance floor. Automatically, I'm thinking, Dancing, yeah, look at that. And I love how there is a degradation of sizes. It's like shattered glitter in that kind of, this is just incredible. Now also, can you see something? If you put it, I'll kind of, yeah, look at the light it has got. Yeah, it, yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Anyway, the things you can do with this, you can highlight, but look, I love this one as well. Look at that. That's like droplets. This is really, really, really cool. I mean, this is just, I'll be honest, I would kind of just get it and just look at it and be mesmerized by it. But I'm thinking maybe you are one of those ones that make jewelry, handmade jewelry, or make, um, you know, bath bombs and things like that to sell. And you want a box and you want to die cut, you have got a die, and you want something that kind of shows a little bit different. This is, of course, yeah, this is amazing. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence is your price. We are very busy for this. Approaching, uh, approaching. How much is it? How much is it? Twenty percent of the stock has already gone. And this is just a couple of those ones. But look at that. We have got the rainbow one, which I love because it's a holographic. It has got that gorgeous beauty. Look at that. How reflective is that? It's reflecting the other patterns in here. Now, and of course, it has got the beautiful sort of tones in here. And then you have got green, purple.
purple and yellow in there. Now gorgeous uh, uh, and really useful. Matting and layering, it makes it so much pop at whatever you put in top. And remember, it's better than half price because you have got a 13 pound saving. 928-347 is your item number. Now, I'm a very partial to chocolate and chocolate car stock as well. The reason being, uh, a lot of, and I think it was uh, uh, now, um, Lou was, uh, not today, but on the other day, was saying how sometimes, like, she's a stepping away from using so much black because, you know, you want to frame something with a dark color, but you don't want the harshness of, of course, black. Now, going for chocolate brown means that you have got that darkness in here. Now, of course, that means that if you bring no, look at that. Now, we can bring some of the holographic in here. And look at that. Can you see how then suddenly the contrast between the madness of the brown with that beautiful shine from the mirror card. Now, if you want to go, go for this bundle, you are getting 100 sheets, 300 GSM, and of course, that massive saving of 15 pounds. You are just paying 10 pounds and 99 pence. 735-390 is your item number. Now let's have a look at the website because you can jump ahead and have a look there. Of course, everything that we have seen so far, but is there is even more happening. And of course, there is even jelly bean crafts assorted ribbons and yes with that was a, a very discreet treat uh, way to for me to drink a little bit of water because I had something in my throat but that's clear and I have got water here so for later on. thank you everybody uh, now we have got a smooth high white stamping card 250 GSM. Now, a lot of people like a smooth card for stamping, and I'm one of those ones, but usually a stamping card comes in, or a super smooth comes in 300 GSM. Uh, a lot of people, you know, you want to stamp and then create toppers, so you want matting and layering. That means that if you are matting and layering, you are adding weight to the front of the card, and you do not want to do that in excess. If you were using 300 GSM stamping card to mat and layer, that kind of makes it heavier on the front. Maybe go for 250 GSM, which is exactly what we have got in front of you. That means that a little bit still is construction weight. Still, you will be able to die cut beautiful boxes and even create the smaller cards, uh, blank cards. But that smaller, you know, GSM means that it won't weigh as much if you wanted to do it for toppers or matting and layering. In this this bundle you're getting 125 sheets in total you're paying 12 pounds and 99 pence and this is it's a rim it's a you know you're getting like such a small um you know such as a kind of say for such a small price you're getting such a, a lot of for your money and now 12 pounds and 99 pence is the price saving eight pounds remember this is a happy hour deal which means please do check out your baskets to make sure that you do not miss out and i love as well the fact that you have got that stamping ability now you go going to go a step further and then we have got the super smooth now you were thinking what's the difference well there is a couple of things that there's difference first of all is this one is 240 gsm so again matting and layering even better here if you want to create toppers but also uh there is a sort of this one is a little bit more porous it feels the previous one this one it feels more satin although it's not it's a perfectly porous guy but it feels super super smooth some of you like alcohol markers. I, re I prefer to use Super Smooth with, uh, of course, my alcohol markers because it kind of gives it that perfect, um, you know, kind of element. To be honest, it's a question of grammage. If it, yes, um, if you like it thicker, go for the previous one. If you like it a little bit thinner, go for this one. Both of them are incredible value for money. Personally, uh, you know, I, I tend to favor Super Smooth just because. I'm a very big fan of alcohol markers, and I would go for this one as my alcohol marker kind of car So, 11 pounds and 99 pence is all you're praying, but paying, not praying. <laughs> uh, 13 pounds is the savings, so better than half price. 375986, and of course, you are getting 100 sheets of that one. Now, you are getting a sort of dream ribbons in the next bundle, and um, 
just, uh, yeah, I, I am a rainbow girl, so can kind of I see this? I kind of go like, I want to rearrange it. Uh, the reason is because I kind of like, and I do rainbows in a different way from traditional rainbows, but you have got in here purples, yellows, ginghams, you have got beautiful grow grain, you have got, oh, I love that color. Isn't that, but that is elegant. These colors are beautiful. Kind of rearranging them. Grow grain in beautiful corals and pinks as well. You have got, well, more light blue. Look at that. Oh, I love it. You're getting assorted colors and assorted lens. So some of them are 10, but over 200 meters, you're gonna get in total. And the, the orange, you're gonna put it in here. And, oh, I love these. And then, of course, the, those greens and those purple in here. And then I'm going to put those greens in there. So it might not be exactly the, um, the I think, no, I think you're getting this assortment. But it's a candy collection. You're getting 14 reels in total, 14 pounds and 99 pence. So just above a pound each, in fact, which actually, considering that some of them might have 10 meters, it's a phenomenal month, and some of them even more than 10 meters. So I, I think it's a phenomenal uh, saving there, uh, for, uh, saving of 22 pounds. And you know what? Ribbon is something that is unbelievable. Let's see, for instance, this one, you are getting, uh, I believe, 50 yards. So that 50 yards is roughly about 45 meters or something like that. So it is incredible. Now, you, you may think about the card at the beginning. Now that is an um, amazing thing because you could maybe create the ribbon of, to create the, um, the, the edges. Or maybe you wrap it around, make bows with it. The organza ones is kind of incredible because you can do like so. You can create a little organza in there. Bow, bow. I didn't do a very good job, didn't I? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's kind of... It's so cute, a little bit. Now, of course, it's a beautiful lilac, isn't it? It's a very soft, beautiful, pink, soft, uh, lilac-y colors. Yeah, so you have got, and here, of course, those 14 reels in total, that saving of 22 pounds, 971-756 is your item number. Now, we have got uh, one of my favorite bundles from Jelly Bean Crafts, and you might think, why? Well, it is really, really, I love this gray. It's a soft gray. It's an elegant gray. It's a sophisticated grown-up gray. Now here you have got 300 GSM uh, card and you are printed. So it's white on one side and of course that printed pattern on the other one. Now you are getting 80 sheets in total. The reason why I really love this gray bundle is because gray, again, like we were talking about brown before it, but gray is an understated color. It's an elegant color. This especially is great because this is a kind of, I would say, a neutral gray that tends to be a, which is tiny amount of warmth to it, tiny amount. Uh, you put here, look at that, look at that combination. Look at that. But you will see how any combination I put here, it's going to look amazing. And that's the beauty. I mean, even orange. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. I love this color combo. It's because it's a very elegant gray. Even if I put yellow, look at that. Isn't that like this? You can see 25 yards. You can see that that was in the previous one. I mean, even if I put bright yellow, oh, love that. Look at that. Isn't that just, and if we go even, let's go for green. Look at that, elegant. This is the thing with this gray, is that it's elegant, it's sophisticated. You have got the planer, but you, of course you have got the stripes, you have got dots, you have got gingham or plaid, plaid. You have got little dots in different sizes, so you have got ditzy dots and then polka dots, and then you have got Swiss dots. The fact they have been printed with the same color means that you can mix and match and it will be pristine. It will be one of those ones that you're thinking, amazing. Think about, again, if you are somebody like our Holly or our Emily or our Molly or our Charlotte, they all have got crickets now. Uh, they like to die cut, you know, they want to cut boxes and Rianne is going to get one, of course. And actually, Mo our Molly as well here has got a little joy as well. Yeah? 
Yeah, and she's just there. Now, this, imagine that those ones have got a, a ability to crook, you know, cut boxes. So, for instance, Emily's a baker, and Molly is, is uh, the other Molly is also. So, imagine create your own box of cookies or your own box of cupcakes. Our Holly is also a baker. Amazing. Uh, I think she makes a chocolate cake. Amazing. Uh, right. Yeah, not that I'm thinking of food or anything like that. But I'm just thinking about, and they are all youngsters. They are not. You know, they are, they are youngsters. I'm the mommy of all them. <laughs> Genuinely. Well, I'm not their mom. <laughs> I mean, I have been, suddenly I have got grown up children. Uh, no, what I mean is that they are these, the new generation of crafters in many ways. And what I love about it is that they are seeing crafting in a different way and they're kind of thinking, I see the value in this. I can make those boxes too. And they are very entrepreneurial because then some of them do, you, uh, you know, like they, they, I was going to say hire their services, but you know, kind of for baking and things like that. But of course, you know what I mean. 20% uh, of the stock of this bundle is in there. I need to stop talking because I'm taking a very big call. 132417 is your item number, 16 pounds saving. Um, you know, the thing is that we, Hochenda is, I, you know, we are a family. We really are. And we are very close knit behind the scenes and in the front of those scenes. And, uh, you know what, I just adore them all and I'm very lucky to have them as my friends and colleagues. Now here we have got, and with that, you know, uh, Dusky Pink, this is, I would say, 60% six, already, 50% of the stock has already got, uh, gone. I have got, you know, this is, I also would think that this is a wine color. To me, this is the Rioja or Malbec, uh, you know, or Tempranillo. Uh, that's what our red wines, and I think this is the sort of color. It's more of a maroon, burgundy sort of color rather than, uh, I would say it's a dusky maroon or a dusky, uh, I would say pink. I think the dusky, it's, it's more of a maroon or burgundy, dusky burgundy rather than, because that's definitely, but sometimes it's, uh, and then, look again, if you have gone for the gray previously, how beautiful does it look? They are, there is something about this collection. Um, and it's one of those ones that is a stash builder as well. The fact that you have got all those different patterns means that you can bring them up. And of course you can uh, look, you know, bring them up in different ways. Now you have got a 16 pound saving, which means that it's better than half price. We are incredibly busy for this one. So remember, it's a happy hour deal. And you know what happens at happy hour deals? Well, they last until the end of the hour or until the stocks last. So we are extremely busy for that one. If you do not want to miss out, you need to take number a note of the number 458-846. You can, can give us a call here at Hochanda. The call center is upstairs, or you can check out our website website or app and of course hochanda.com the website is the easiest and fastest way to order the app is also I do watch a lot of hochanda on my, the app on the phone I know on my days off even, even now we have got here the paper craft bundle uh, this is the collection now this is a paper craft kit uh, it's a bundle that is full of goodness you have got an amazing 27 pound saving and this is one of those ones that Again, it's full of different elements of craftability. Oh, now I need to tell you, sorry, I need to, to go back to this one because uh, we did say that we were very busy. Now it's single figures. If you have it in your in, in your eyes, like in your eye, like in your eyes, if you want it, check out those baskets. I'm sorry, I have had a very long day. One day I will explain everything that happened today, but it was a long day. Good, all, all very good, but it was a long day. So please, um, you know, forgive my non very good explanation of things but limited the stock so if you want to grab it you know what to do check out those baskets uh yeah it was a very good day you know wasabi did so well i'm so proud of wasabi my old cat uh just, just saying that anyway yeah now of course here we have got the jelly bean uh, crafts a uh, paper uh, paper crafting kit you have got ribbon gems pearl washi tape and more 20 packs in total you have got the eyelets you have got tissue a uh, tissue paper by santoro which is an amazing company you have got uh you know you have got dove crafts accordion stickers you have got you know enamel dots you have got Baker swines, but in different sizes as well. And I love Baker swine because it adds that texture, that color, that kind of elements of interest. You have got gemstones in here. You have got the fabric brass. You have got 
you know, those gems again in different colors, pearls, a self adhesive, ribbon, you're getting cl uh, the tiny cloth specs which are adding that dimensional if you want to add elements. You are also getting, of course, raffia, is it raffia ribbon in here as well that you are getting? Oh, that's true. That kind of with the craft, the chocolate. If you, t yeah, when the first item, that when it, we, we were looking at the scallop cards, and you wrap around the raffia, that looks amazing. Uh, right, this is an amazing bundle. You are getting 20, 27 pounds saving, 12 pounds and 99 pence is the price, 335004. And then, right, I'll have to say, uh, you, people laugh about my excitement when it comes to cellophane bag, bags. Uh, but the reason is, and I'm glad because this is clearly I did this. Um, you are getting uh, eight by eight at uh, 200 pieces in total. And I should buy this for my dad actually because he sells his artwork. And my dad is a, it's a fine artist now. And he does a lot of prints in eight by eight pieces of cards. Now, what he does is then, of course, he wants a ceiling bag, and then, of course, you can see he likes sometimes A4 sizes or eight by eight. Now, seven five six five one one is your item number. What you can do, of course, is sell your cards, sell your artwork. Maybe you uh, you are a knitter. And you have got little, you know, yarns, and you kind of you want to keep to keep every ball with a different color, like different colors, so you don't. Or maybe you are like me, um, somebody who has got paper. You have got, you know, a little bit of soft crafting, and you don't want to mix the bit, the bits and pieces, or you want to to maybe put all your bits of say for instance a beautiful fabric uh, with the yellow stones in one bag and maybe you want the red one that helps also you can create an album because you glue them all together and that creates like an album can you see that kind of creates like an album you can offset them as well so what you do is you just take one of them and you every and then you can create an 8x8 album. If you are somebody who, for instance, like our, uh, one of our Molly's, Molly, um, uh, the original Molly, Molly director, uh, I'm not going to say what the other director has said about it. Uh, she, she said, you know, the glorious uh, Molly that is going to be 21, I know, 21 years old next week. Uh, you know, she does illustrations, by the way, it's Molly's illustration on Instagram. So if you look at it, she does amazing digital. So she can have, print them out and have like a little album of her illustrations that she has done in here. Things that you can do, or for instance, Andy, who is the uh, boyfriend of our director, Holly, I'm telling we are a big family here. Uh, he's an excellent photographer as well, amazing photographer. So he could have a little album with all his photos as well this way. So this is a way of using it not just to put cars in there. There is so much more that you can put in and use those bags. Twelve pounds is a saving. Twelve pounds is the price. So half price, uh, of course, uh, it's a half price deal, and of course, it's a half price price deal because it's a happy hour hour. Now, 756511 is your item number and I need to tell you everybody that this bundle has sold out. That's Keep Hank is the color, but now if you have got it in your baskets and you check out, you might get it, but if not, you will miss out. Remember, it has got a massive savings, so do check out your baskets for that one. And then, of course, if you want to even make more of a saving, well, there is freedom and here is Janice to tell you more. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. 
over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quote the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hochanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hochanda family. I'm just rearranging my cables. Yeah, I just realized that there, there was one was poking out. Anyway, and that's not a good idea because then you can cut it into things. That's what I've been told by the tech department many times. Just health and safety. Now, I need to tell you that 30% of the Jelly Bean Crafts uh, 7x7 scallop edge ivory card with craft envelopes now has already gone. So if you want yours, uh, do check out your basket. You have got an £11 saving. You are getting 100 cards and 100 envelopes. I love the combination. I love, uh, you know, it's a very kind of a rustic kind of element, but it has got that sophistication as well. You know, it kind of it has got that classy look. Think about the stamping and embossing into gold in here. And then having the envelope in there. It's just gorgeous. Also think about mixed media. Also think about your joining those envelopes together. I always like to see envelopes. Oh, I just see that I had some wording on my sleeve from the wording, you know, from the uh, final call from, mm. sorry, I don't, when I get tired, I don't have a filter. So it's like, I should have done it discreetly and not said anything, but should I? Yeah, just a little bit tired, yeah, anyway. But I'm loving it because you are loving these amazing prizes as well. Also, I love these craft um, envelopes because allow you to create different ways of creating albums as well as, uh, you know, they use it as envelopes. Think about as well, you could do, I know I'm going, to, I'm going to say it's boring and it's not what you wanted to hear, but you know when you want to have like these organizer of bills and things like that, you can do this as well. And what I would do is, this size is a really cool one, is what I would do is I glue fold it backwards like this and then fold it backwards like this so you can glue them together like this. So you can have, this can be one month and then you do all, you could do it one upside down like that so you can glue them together as well so you can do like kind of a different ways of putting your uh, reminders of oh you know in this month I need to pay this or I pay that in this month or you know a budgeting way and I know it's not that very exciting but it's another way of using envelopes I love I love projects that are useful for the household and hence the plan and movement I kind of really like because everything planning and make it beautiful it makes it more fun and, and when you make it more fun it's more enjoyable and then of course you have got the cars in here again you can think about it you know glue them together side by side so you create that zigzag you could then create as well that sort of element like this like um as kind of you know what i mean it's one of those ones that okay so maybe so it opens this way then it opens this way then it opens like this so you kind of have like kind of and that would, and then imagine that is, for instance, I used to do that to my late grandmother. Um, so uh, we used to send Christmas cards. I always used to make a Christmas card in which there was pictures of all the family. So then you could display it and there was like a Christmas card with, it was a traditional Christmas card as we understand it with the front very ornate, very handmade, and then all the pages every time it was like pictured and then what we would do is write a message from each of us in each of the pages with different tags so it was like a mini album in itself and yet it was just a few cards and, and just the pictures in them uh, now you could do that with uh, these cards because you are getting a hundred one of them and sometimes when you have got 
you know, these ideas of how what to make, you don't make them because you think, well, that requires a lot of cards, and I don't know, card is expensive. Well, it's not expensive if you get it in a happy hour, because it means that you are getting amazing savings, like 11 pounds in this bundle, 14 pounds and 99 pence for 100 sets in total. It works out. And why, uh, so, so we, uh, uh, is it 14 pen, for, uh, 15 pence per set? So that means that it's seven pence fifty. Seven, seven, uh, no, sorry, seven pence fifty, or you know, or so let's say eight pence, yeah, per card. Eight pence for the envelope, right? under eight pence. It is a pretty decent deal, isn't it? Because this is construction. And yeah, I don't know why I did maths at this time of the, uh, you know, phone lines are busy. You are seeing the value, you are seeing, you know, all these amazing bargains and you are calling us. Now, if you have got access to the to the internet, of course, ahochanda.com is easiest, the easiest way to order and of course the fastest way. But you might want to also go to your, uh, you know, like the, the mobile phones that we have got an app. Uh, and if you search Hochanda and then it comes to this app, it's fabulous. I watch it all the time. Ordering is so easy there as well. Now, we have got vellum. We have got vellum for you. Now, this is a color vellum. It varies into 100 to 135 GSM. The 135, I think, is the yellow. If you are a groovy fan, this is a must for you. If you are a parchment fan, this is a must. Uh, the reason being is because you can create that white work and you can see it by folding like this. You can see that white line. Of course, you don't do that when you're doing parchment. This is what's just to show you how when you put pressure through it, it becomes white and hence that you can transfer and you can see the beautiful patterns from groovy or other kind of parchment types of elements into that glorious uh, parchment. Having volume on five different colors, it's, it gives you, a, you know, a choices on how, what the work is going to look like. You're getting 50 sheets in total, five different colors, so 10 of each, and of course it's A4 in size. 11 pounds and 99 pence is the price, you're saving five pounds, your item number is 813. Five four four. We have got mirror card legs, and it's just, it's just, it's, it's, look, even it's even there here. It's just like you can see it. It's just like there's, you know, it, it, it's just not like that light. It's just like almost like, can I, can I work like this all the time? Yeah, look, can they, because you can see it, that it's just like the light, magical light, um, and all things considered. I know I make a joke, but. Bringing light into your creations is always a good idea. Sometimes you want to be that sparkle. Sometimes you want to bring that accent. You want to bring light and color. And these holographic mirror cards will do that. Also, you are getting, I mean, I, I'm, I just go, I just adore this one. I just think it's different. Uh, it is a little bit more subdued, so it, it's not a holographic. This is more of a silver with a, but it's just, I just think it's waters. I think this is, you know how maybe a card, a silver card, and it has just kind of drain, rain on, and you have got those droplets of water. Uh, it has got also, now if somebody is into music, if somebody's a musician, uh, I have got a couple of friends that are musicians and family members as well. Uh, think about using that and die cutting out circle, like if it was a CD player, you know, CD, because they are the kind of tiny, deal. also a gamer, uh, things like that. And I know that nowadays they don't use CDs and DVDs and things, whatever. Yeah, I sound quite cool, don't I? But it just have got that kind of sort of elements to it. I just think it's just kind of a little bit different. Also, it makes a very good base. If I bring the uh, bottom, oh yes, can you see? Can you see that you still can see the bubbles in there? So it creates something a little bit different, isn't it? I love that. And of course, that is because it's parchment on vellum, so it kind of, kind of shows it through. Uh, now, you are getting uh, the um, standard traditional gold silver as well, the green, the, the kind of that beautiful uh, color as well in here, that kind of purple. I think it's an overgene purple there. And then, of course, the traditional green as well in there. I think they are fun. They are, some of them, I don't only see them from Jelly Bean Crafts, especially this one. And that is what makes it a little bit, you know, unique and, and take advantage because, yes, we do have it sometimes on our home channel, but it's not, if you are one of these people like me that is thinking, oh yeah, I'll order it, um, you know, I'll order it next time. 
and then there is never next time. And therefore, when it's a happy hour, you never know what the deal is going to be next. So you want to grab it when you have got a 13 pound saving. You want to buy, pay less than half price. You want to pay just 11 pounds and 99 pence for 50 sheets of 300 GSM of assorted colors and with that rainbow mirror card, with that gold glorious colors. Uh, and of course, you want to, if you want them, you need that uh, item number 928347. And remember, there is 21 minutes until the end of the hour. I pointed in the right direction. I'm very, very proud uh, to the end of the hour. That means that you have got about 21 minutes to check out those baskets. Or remember that we already had had one sell out. So it, you never know if things are going to sell out. Now, here you have got chocolate brown car stock. And this probably is going to be the next one to go. I, you know, I'm not a betting woman, so I wouldn't bet on anything, but this is three quarters of the stock has already gone and 100 sheets in total, 300 GSM. We like a little bit of chocolate, don't we? Oh, I had so many truffles today. I, I needed them. Hazelnut chocolate vegan truffles, really dark, coated in a dust of cocoa. It's unbelievable. And this reminds me of that. And this is why because sometimes working with cars like of that beautiful, rich, rich uh, chocolate brown, it, it just makes me happy because it reminds me of the chocolate. It also reminds me of a dip, you know, Arabica bean ch um, coffee, maybe that sort of really <gasps> mm, chocolate ice cream. I'm just lost now. I'm in another world. Uh, and this is the joys of uh, crafting with gorgeous car stock as well, that it brings you to another crafting world. It brings you to that sense of I'm creating with this. Uh, and of course, brown will give you matting and layering, for instance. If you are a friend of matting and layering with black, but you want something a little bit softer, well, there is two ways to do in that. Is one is with gray, and another one is with a beautiful chocolate brown. It's deep enough that you can bring other colors into it. So I kind of bring a green, but you can see how gorgeous as well and if you bring it in here you can see how gorgeous that looks gorgeous doesn't it with that beautiful emerald green I like emerald uh, now look as well yeah you could do a Christmas tree but you can also bring it with the brown the, the ivory as well also the one day special from Louis those you know just Louis that kind of botanical uh, of course the sort of tones go, work very well with us botanical illustrations black would be a little bit too harsh for rice paper that brown kind of gives a softness that kind of but at the same time dark enough that we have got some contrast 735390 is your item number 10 pounds and 99 pence is the price you're saving 15 pounds now if you want a stamping card we have got that we have got two choices and I will be very very clear from the beginning we have got the super smooth which is coming up uh, that's 240 GSM and then we have got the smooth high white stamping card this one is 250 GSM and you are getting 125 sheets in total uh, the super smooth is going to appear at the bottom and that you are getting 100 sheets for 11 pounds and 99 pence. So basically here is a choice of do you like your car to be super smooth like kind of it feels almost like glossy it's not but it's kind of has got that sort of satin feel then go for the super smooth if you want it a little bit more porous so then think about more watercolor mediums think about mm, water markers think about more of a mixed media sort of surface because also you have got a little bit more gsm i would go for the one on the uh, left hand side of your screen the high uh, white stamping card that's 250 gsm which means that you can throw a little bit more mediums acrylic paints of course you can uh, watercolors but also it's a smooth so you your stamping will be nice and crisp 12 pounds and 99 pence is a price for 125 sheets and you are saving eight pounds it's one of those essentials, isn't it? 580149 is your item number. Now, the super smooth is 240 GSM. It's about 100, you are getting 100 sheets in here and you are paying one pound less. So it depends. Sometimes I find it that I'm the sort of person that likes to have a little bit of everything or a lot of some things but um, you know white card is always you know you use something that you need in your stash and sometimes take advantage of having the super smooth and the high uh, white stamping card because they give you a slightly different results definitely this is the one that I would go if I wanted my alcohol markers which I often do because that super smooth with the alcohol markers kind of always gives me that 
you know, the result I want. Eleven pounds ninety-nine means that you have got a better than half price uh, saving there. You have got thirteen pounds uh, savings, so you are only paying eleven ninety-nine. Uh, Three seven five nine eight six is your item number. And remember, all of these are happy hour deals, which means at the end of the hour, the price goes up. And we already had had one sell out. We are very busy for the chocolate uh, card. We are very busy across the board, in fact. Now, we are also busy for beautiful ribbons. Now, if you looked at it, some of them, uh, I said, well, you're getting 14 reels in total. One of them had 50 yards, which is approximately, it's, you know, it's just let's say 40, 42 meters. I don't know exactly the conversion, but I know the yard is not far off from a meter. You have got these ones, for instance, are 25 yards, so say 20 meters. You already have got so much ribbon for just 14 pounds and 99 pence. Also, um, the, the fact is that you are getting glorious grain. You are getting po uh, polka dots in here. You are getting gingham. You are getting a beautiful selection of colors, organza ribbon. All that means that you can make bows, add decorative elements. Ribbon for me adds that texture that's color, as that softness that a, a piece of fabric would bring into your creations. It adds, in, fa in actual fact, as long as you are, if you add ribbon to your cards, it's technically speaking, it's mixed media. Because anything that is like, it's too much, like if you are using anything on top of card, that is not just a stamping on it because that's ink into it. But anything that you bring, even if you just put a layer of a, uh, of a die cut, is technically speaking mixed media. And this is, you know, confirmed by artists, not not museums. You see art and it's a mixed media because there are mixed elements in it. That is, it's not just a flat painting. That's what it is. But that also the texture of having ribbon in it. It means that if you are like what we in the craft uh, industry we call it mixed media, it means that you add those ribbon to add texture and you layer them, and you add a bow. So if you want to go for them, you will have a twenty-two pound seven. You will just pay fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Your item number is nine seven one five seven five six. I'm really struggling now to see those numbers. I don't know why. Well, I'm not seeing them perfectly. It's just my brain cannot compute them. Uh, great cards. Uh, I love great cards. Remember that you have got beautiful colors in here. Uh, well, beautiful color that is that gray, that, that neutral, slightly warmer gray, which means that ew, any color that you put in, I mean, really, seriously, any color. Look how elegant that looks. When I put it like this, isn't that amazing? And then also the bright yellow. Look at that. I just love it. Now, if you want to go for this collection, you are getting the gingham, the stripes, the dots, the polka, the Swiss dots. You are getting the ditzy dots. You are getting 80 sheets in total of 300 GSM. It's printed car, so it means that you have got a white uh, uh, back. And you have got 40% of the stock has already gone. You have got a better than half price uh, in this happy hour. You are saving 16 pounds. You are just paying 13 pounds and 99 pence. 132417 is your item number. Now the the brown ch uh, the brown chocolate brown car stock now is limited stock, which means that 90% of the stock has already gone. If you want yours, please do check out your baskets. Otherwise, you will we will sell out and you will miss out on this amazing card. Now, if you want a paper crafting kit, you are having here uh, a lots of different elements in here, including tissue paper. You have got baker's twine, a washi tape. You have got those amazing accordion stickers, enamel dots, eyelets, brass, uh, crystals. You know, so many items. A massive saving of twenty-seven pounds. You are paying just twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence. I remember when I passed pay like you know something like three pounds for uh, you know self adhesive jewels or three pounds for uh, you know uh, a baker swine you know it was incredibly and these baker swines I will use it all the time right three three five zero zero four is your item number and twelve pounds and ninety nine pence is the price and of course you're saving twenty seven pounds now we have got also for you those eight by eight cello bags now I'll go of course we are earlier. Now uh, we have got of course the eight by eight cello bags. You are getting two hundred of them, eight by eight self adhesive. So they have got that side in here. Let me see. I just went for the one that is closed. So you cannot have this film in here. You remove it, and of course the self adhesive element 
What am I doing? I cannot peel it off. Uh, then you have got the self elusive element. Twelve pounds is your price. You're saving twelve pounds. Seven five six five eleven five. 11, yeah, is the item number. Right, and we have got a way also, if you add elements into your basket that go over a certain amount. You know what? Let's have Leon explain to you how it all works. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for a Flexi order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Right, uh, of course that makes it much easier. Now we have got a news about the chocolate. Um, chocolate card of course and now it has sold out I also have eaten all the chocolate truffles on my eyes so sorry I cannot share uh, now if you want uh, well okay, well done to everybody who has uh, got them uh, it is beautiful card so thank you as well now we have got a seven day savers now seven day savers are a little bit different in the sense that they are launched on a seven uh, on a Sunday and then they should last until the following Sunday at 8 a.m. however sometimes it, they do sell out and whenever you see a seven day saver please don't forget to, to, to order because don't you don't want to be disappointed like me it has happened to me several times so it's even though they should last seven days sometimes they don't either now here we have got a 12 by 12 uh, paper pads designs will vary they are uh, from you know you will you will get in different ones so this one is rest my craft there is some that might be from um, craft treat as well so you what you are gonna get is two pads in total now the thing is that you may want to have those gorgeous papers and you're thinking sometimes you you want that you want a specific thing but if you are a beginner or you are somebody who you want to use to expand your stash of papers this is fabulous maybe you are a kind of thinking uh, maybe I want my you know my kids to start crafting this is fabulous because you have got a 23 pound saving you are getting you're gonna get two pounds and of course designs will vary but you you just pay 14 pounds and 98 pence you're gonna get papers that are 12 by 12 24 sheets or 200 just um, and of course that means that you might get maybe this glorious one I love this love is in the air can you think it yeah the song of it but it is uh, I don't know why now I kind of only think of the song no. Yeah, that one. I'm sure you can think of it. Now, if you want it, 660091 is your item number. 14 pounds and 19 pence is the price. If you know that song, yeah, this is what is going in my head. Well, I actually want to listen to it now, properly sung, because I sing very badly. Even imaginary, even my mind cannot sing well. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, my, I need to sing, like, listen it properly. Anyway, if you want to go for a stencil set, we have got, of course, uh, this bundle that stencils will be, but you might have some of these ones. So this is some of the possible ones that you are possibly going to get. You are, uh, you know, your price is £11.98, and designs may vary. So they are A4, you're going to get three of the um, glorious stencils, 202369, and that's saving of £5. Now, it's a seven-day saver, so do check out your baskets for that, although the price should stay that low till the end of uh, until the Sunday at 8 a.m. There you have got more seven-day savers on the website. If you want to have a look at uh, them, there you have them. You can see them, how they work. And you can see them all. There is threads as well. There is beautiful grey board sheets as well. And of course, you have got that mixed media collection as well. Uh, right. I just, it's funny because uh, now need to concentrate. Uh, there's people in the floor and I kind of went, social distancing, don't worry, you worry. But, um, you know, yeah. 
Anyway, Lou Withers is getting ready for the, uh, the second hour of the one day special of her amazing I uh, Just Look collection, the botanically inspired. Uh, and of course, she's getting ready. And of course, I want to see what she's doing because she's all very inspiring lady, isn't she? She might want to have some scallop HK ivory card. She might, 60% of the stock has gone. Now, do, would you like some envelopes, craft envelopes? We have got them for you. Yeah, oh, she's like, oh yeah, if they're going, yeah. Uh, 14 pounds and 99 pence. Sounded German there. Um, no, I'm not German. Maybe I was German and I fooled you all thinking that I was Spanish. That would be fine. Oh, by the way, I got an email the other day. It was, I want to mention it. It was a lovely lady. She just said that her husband thinks that I come of air and I talk like Keith Lemon from Leeds. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wish I could, but I don't. This accent is, is yeah, is, is the only accent. Yeah. Yeah, Louis kind of <laughs> She's laughing. I wish you could hear. Check out your baskets. Yeah, she's like proper laughing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's crying now. Look. I mean, <laughs> I remind somebody of Kim Lemon. Uh, that's the reality. Oh, but here at Hotanta, we are a family, and we, you are part of that family. Yeah. And of course, if you do not want to miss some bargains, whenever there is a happy hour deal, do make the most, uh, take advantage of these amazing savings by checking out those baskets. It is a family here, and we are continuing that, you know, those shows with, of course, Louis, this, with amazing inspirational demos after the break. Now, of course, any of these items would be perfect to craft, to stamp, to die cut. And this is what uh, Lou is going to show us uh, what to do with her collection after the break. Do check out your baskets for these amazing uh, deals. Remember, the prices will go up at the end of the hour. So if you don't want to miss in bargains, you know what to do. Thank you so much for the company for today. Keep watching on Hotchanda for more inspiration of crafting abilities. Oh, I love Lou. I really do. She inspires me and she kind of inspires us all with amazing, amazing, beautiful, botanically inspired collection. Then we have got art and craft glitter greetings after that. Now, it's really good to have your company and to let you know that there have been a few little changes here at Achanda. For a short while, we weren't able to ship over to America, so that meant that you were missing out on all of those wonderful goodies that we're able to bring to you here at Achanda. Well, good news, we have resumed those orders coming to you overseas. COVID-19 meant that we couldn't fly them out to you, but of course that has changed. But something I do need to let you know is that sadly we've had to increase that post and packing per item. So it's gone up to $12.95, unfortunately. But but good news, Freedom Membership has remained the same at $19.99. What that means is you can place an order as often as you like during that calendar month. You could even place an order every single day and there's no minimum and no maximum to those orders either. So it gives you the opportunity to take advantage of all those fabulous deals, those wonderful opportunities that we bring you here at Chanda. now shipping again to you as in America. So take advantage of that. Make sure you become a Freedom Member though. Take advantage of that saving. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Hachanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are very excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout 